Welcome to my full playthrough of Harold Halibur, a game that was 14 years in the making and where everything that you see is handmade. The people are puppets and the environments are literally sets that were built and then rendered into the game. Make sure you hit like and subscribe for more indie games, cozy games and games you've never heard of. And if you would like me to read you a bedtime story, you can find my podcast, my Instagram and all of my socials below this video. So let's begin our adventure with Harold Halibut. It's funny that this game is like space, but underwater, like space and underwater, because I always think of underwater and the ocean as being like space. There's still so much undiscovered and crazy things down there. I'd probably be more comfortable floating in space than under the water, to be honest, but I have a bit of a phobia, the thalassophobia. In some ways, I think, to some extent, a lot of us kind of pine for something like this to happen so that we have a simpler and closer feeling of community, right? There's something in all of us that does want a simpler time. Whether it's a post-apocalypse or a new start somewhere. Wow, this looks gorgeous. Uh, Harold, I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Oh, hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can you settle it now? Uh, no, but wait. I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You surely recall that since last week, the Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the Social District is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. We but only last month, it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now let's get you over to the fine secretary so we can all get on with our day. So what you're saying is we've ruined everything with bureau bureaucracy and rules. Is that what I'm getting? When will humans learn? Fell foul of the end user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. I guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. But who benefits here? Why is there even a currency? We're all just living here. Why can't I just use the tube, man? Wow. This is me now in control, moving around. And you can really, really tell that it's like a render of an actual handmade puppet, you know? So everything is handmade. A game 14 years in the making. I don't think they were literally making it for 14 years, but it's 14 years in the making. Um, and it looks great. Adrian Brody Sim. I like puppets. So, what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for Allwater? What? No, I meant because it was a joke, doofus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Could you let me wait in peace now? Oh, sure. We'll do. Have fun. 
perhaps known more commonly when you take everything Felix? too literally hi ma uh look before you say anything whatever your excuse is it'll have to wait busy busy times mr secretary please charge whatever felix's fine is to the company tab please of course mrs van der vaart have a pleasant day you too master van der vaart freedom have fun harold and we hope the recent local waters probe will get that up to 90 we reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important, <coughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Dear people, crew, and company, we seem to have discovered something super cool. Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to, for some important information. Think next time. An announcement of an announcement. Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. Your homework is to use the word consternation in the following week after seeing this video. Mr. Halibut, you'll need this before you go. A ticket home? Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. I can't wait. I actually got fined once for riding the train without a ticket. Um, back in my college days, and I used to go to college on the train and back. And occasionally, just the gates would be open. It wasn't something I did all the time, but I did just, I mean, it's just, the train is there. It's not, I'm not costing anything by sitting on it, am I? I haven't done it for a long time, but I did get caught, because I got there and the gates were, um, closed. And, um, the lady there was, like, giving me a ticket and getting my information, and I ended up kind of just, like talking my way out of it, because of course I did. But, um, yeah. Every time I need you, Harold, it's something else. What's wrong with you? I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time... This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I remember when you were still in school, and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. It's like you've never snapped out of that daydream. What if I just stop and daydream? Will you call after me? <laughs> it's funny because when it comes to dealing with people like customer service and stuff, I feel like if I was an RPG character, my charisma would be like a nine. But when it just comes to talking to anybody for any other reason, I've got like a three. Like my dice rolls are all terrible. But if it comes to, you know, calling somewhere, customer service, getting help with something, I think I'm just so polite and people that used to being treated really poorly, that they then help you if you're just, you know, genuinely nice. I'm just, I do try to be really kind to everyone if I'm calling customer service or dealing with someone. I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. Oof. Oof. I'm sorry, Professor. If you're bored, then you're boring, as the song lyric goes. Oh. Okay. Going in a shower of goop. Where do I go? Central Station? Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. Like a Nickelodeon award show. You have arrived. Is the Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. Temporarily we hope you travel with us again soon. But why isn't the line active? Like the fact that this is an actual set that someone made. Like this wasn't created. What you're seeing, all of this background, wasn't created in a digital thing. Like this is an actual model. Is kind of nuts, right? Everything's handmade, and then like rendered into the software. Where, where do I live? Where am I going? 
This location is not accessible via your the lab district. Decided. Enjoy the view. It's giving rapture. Bioshock. But Harold, I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. Hang on. What's a butterfly? That sounds silly. A butterfly is an insect from Earth. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. I suppose you could say they often appeared in uh, extra natural moments in life. On the other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting and delicate. Ergo, you never take responsibility and I never know where to find you next. Bye. I had a really beautiful experience with a butterfly last year. I saved one from a spider's web that was on my window, so it was like all tied up in it, and I plucked it off and then slowly unraveled it from the web, and very gently. And as I like got that last little bit off, it flew up into the air and was immediately joined by another one, and then they were like flying around together in the sky above my head. It was like that one must have been watching and waiting and being like, my friend's stuck in a web. And then seeing this massive giant come save it, they're flying around together happy. I was in the garden for a bit longer and they like just flying around next to me and resting, probably just resting, but like the whole time was near me whilst I was in the garden. I then went on a walk. They go with me like around the front of my place and like flew alongside me whilst I'm on this walk. I walk for like, I'm like, oh nice, the butterflies are still there. I walk like 10, 15 minutes. I get to the pond where I go and visit the ducks. I look down and on my shoe is the butterfly. And I'm like, did, did that like follow me this entire way? Like a 10 minute walk to the pond and then land on my shoe. As I looked at it, it just flew up and went away and then I couldn't see it anymore. And I was like, that was so crazy, it's so weird. I can't wait for all the butterflies to come out. Um, now I just saw like one the other day, so now I really now I like butterflies, and I tried to like plant loads of stuff for bees and butterflies, but none of it grew. <laughs> so maybe I'll try again this year. I should probably get on that and start planting stuff. Sorry, I won't talk over dialogue. I'm just gonna. I know I drift between. off a bit sometimes, but but all water raised the tube fares again, and they never announce it properly. This time, it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who. Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh yeah. Have you checked the blockage in the filter station yet? And did you need to feed the fish too? Ah uh, yes, those two. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. Aren't you forgetting <laughs> something? Oh, uh, I'm sure those are all Thank my tasks you. for the day. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. It really is a wonder you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it, and I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see, uh... So, I access the list, it'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay, um, where were they again? The upper right of the pad! Ah, uh, yeah. Top of the four buttons, right? Why is this, this is literally me doing anything that I haven't done before. <laughs> cool. Then I use the navigation nub to highlight and then hit the bottom button. Precisely. This is key. Okay, great. And it's the rightmost button to go back, right? Indeed. Now hop to it. The rightmost and button, and it's literally Agora that on the controller. When you're done. That's so cool. Fantastic way of doing it. So we've got to feed the fish. Is this a fish feeder? What's it? Oh, okay. Bit of a storeroom here. Ah, here yeah, this looks like a fish feeder. Frat, it's out of food. Damn. Better ask Cyrus about this. Okay. Ooh, vibrations. Ask Cyrus about fish food. Clean the filter. Oh, I can zoom in. 
cool. Is there like a sprint? There is a sprint, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh Harold picking up some pace there. We've never seen you move so much, have we? <laughs> Bleep test. Beep. Beep. The worst day at school. Used to bunk PE if it was the bleep test. It's the one where you have to run back and forth. I guess they call it like shuttle runs or something. In America. Lungs absolutely b -b 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 burning. Okay. So we're going to clean something and see someone about fish food. say where this person is. Sai is the guy to ask about fish food. Well, do I have, like, a map? Can I have space toast? <gasps> Wait, what? Toast, toast. What am I... Toast, toast, toast. Okay. Is there a map? Let me look at that for the map. I'm guessing I can't leave the lab district? I hate being railroaded. It's better than Moreau having to bail me out again. Yeah, okay. So I'm not allowed to leave here yet, so he must be here somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. Perhaps in the lounge? Or just get a menu ah, Harold! Perfect timing. Oh, Senor Tenenbaum. You too. I was just <coughs> hoping to watch some Sun Tzu's Ashk. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Yeah, I think it's one of those all-water ad-only models. Ah. Should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You're really gonna watch that? They'll just announce another tube price hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. Ah. What brings you to the lounge? What brings you to the lounge, anyway? Would you guess that the tubes to the utility district and the social district are down again? Strangely, yes. I can believe that. Does that mean school is out? Yep. The bambinos are happy, and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes on much longer, they'll forget everything. Won't they do their homework? Maybe. The whole social district is off limits right now, so at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here, though, you know? I suppose it is. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. Level one. Mer? Burn. Look at my legs. Wow. That is, I mean, going down the stairs <laughs> that two at a time is dangerous. I mean, I go up the stairs two at a time, but to go down them? You crazy, Harold. With how everything moves when you bump into it. It's great. Filtration pump. Oh, wait, I meant to clean this, I believe. Is there a tentacle at this window? Waving to us. 014F. <gasps> okay. Maybe I need cleaning stuff? What's this? So I'm like pushing buttons. Wait, do I hit it when it gets to here? Um, sure. Very clever that you can just kind of work that out. Clean as a whistle again. With an understanding of like mechanics and stuff. Where 
where is this Cyrus person? Perhaps in botanical concepts. Beautiful silhouette. Hey, Cy. Oh, hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? I, I mean, uh, how's up? Just doing my <laughs> usual rounds. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. I've been wondering if, you know, given fish blood is such a good fertilizer, what does slow release phosphates and nitrogen? But we don't want to hurt fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the- Sai, Sai, that sounds very interesting, but what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm? Oh, yes, sorry, rat. Didn't I restock the other night? <sighs> Must have just thought about it. I'll have to formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. But I mean, can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it. Promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, here. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Uh, you should try some too. Uh, thanks. I'll let you know what they think. Cute that he has a number one dad hat. We're free oh. out here. Did you see that? Was that fish real? Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. Mm, I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull next. Me too. As long as I don't have to clean it up. The fish? Do you remember their first messages? Ha, huh, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? Yes, on all those little flyers. Handwritten, too. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm, I guess something about exploring the planet? Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the uh -oh. ocean is a conspiracy too? What if it's people putting stuff on fish and it's not the fish? Maybe that explains why we're being charged so much. They're keeping us here. Capitalism! Um, so we want to go back up and feed the fish now. Nice. Get your cardio in, Harold. Whoa! Excuse me. There we go. It's like the, the run for the bus. It's the I'm running, but I'm not really running. I'm just kind of <laughs> casual with it. Little fishy, your little dishy is now served. Great. Okay, Herald bot diagnostic report. Scanning, scanning, all tasks completed satisfactorily. <laughs> Enjoyment evaluation, minimal. Energy levels depleted. Recharging required. Next destination, Agora Arcades. Harold's adorable. Oh. <clears throat> Back to the left. So I'm guessing the adventure we're going to partake in and go on will give Harold a bit of a zest for life. It seems like he's, you know, a bit downtrodden. Ah, a bit. why isn't this working? So typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. A little unenthusiastic. So, how do I... Ah, watch the announcement on TV. Right, I'm not allowed to go to the arcade. Bum, bum, bum. 
Uh, I think it means like an arcade of shops and not like a game arcade. My brother actually texted me today asking me to go to an arcade with him, like a game arcade though. Are we going to watch it on here then? Hello again! Hey Chris, ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Well, be my guest! Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. We chose the stars. Not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess. But our ancestors <clears throat> did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Uh, left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. And then we made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation, over all others, helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenna Castletrop. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenna Castlechop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. Okay. Everyone's hair in this is... It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlippmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness, and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. And of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere. Hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could, that they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Wasn't that a wild ride? Actually, clap. Huh? That was so cool. We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. And, wait for it, yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right, the boy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. Pick up all sorts with that antenna hairstyle, That mate. was some announcement, huh? Sure, makes for some nice gossip. But I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? For this fancy boy drama, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. Fancy boy. What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo. We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. 
Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Que claro. At least I brought some homework to Mark. Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch. <laughs> yep. We've gotten to know each other well. Okay. I'm gonna get some sleep. <clears throat> Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Harold. I feel like his outfit is silken. Don't you? Good evening, Fedorans. The all water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Please attend to the necessary travel arrangements. There's a curfew. Get home safe. I think my bed was down here. Sleeping in the basement. What's this picture? Can I look at it? Time to sleep. <clears throat> oh boy. What a day. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. All this running back and forth for people is tiring, man. But, mm. Agent Harrelson, that's what they pay you for. Don't let us down now. It's probably going to be an even crazier day, Harold. You got no pajamas? Day 18,251. After the crash. Harold wakes up from a restful sleep, listening to the podcast Down to Sleep, where I read books softly to help you get the rest that you deserve. Available on YouTube, Spotify, and everywhere you get podcasts, Harold. That's my podcast, by the way. I'll tuck you in and read you a bedtime story. Morning, Harold. Hello, Professor. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. Yes, it did go on a bit. The boy seems cool, though. Indeed. I'm sure it'll make a great source of distraction. Now, if you're quite ready... Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. You remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? Oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Just remind me exactly how that thing works again. Harold, are you fooling me? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. I just know you she need got a to open the hand. hatch first. Arboretum. I was wondering how to pronounce that because I was looking recently for somewhere to see magnolias and this arboretum came up uh, like a train away from me. And I was like, arbitrarium, 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 and like trying to work out how to say it. And I still didn't know until this very moment, even though I'm like planning to go there um, to like see the plants and stuff. I guess it means a place where they grow plants. Now activate the switch next to the bore to open the sample shelf. Just uh, me and pronouncing words, you know, it's kind of a thing. Oh, but next to the shelf? What? Sorry, I was literally being a herald. Oh, over here. This is just me, the game. People screaming at their <laughs> screen for them to like not miss stuff. The rock you want is in the container on the lower right. You're the old lady. You remember your left and right? Bring it to the microscope and insert it into the hatch. Yes, I remember my left and right. Don't be mean to me. But what's a rock if there's an if there's an arbit arbitrium? Why is there rocks and not like plants? I need to look up what an arbitrium is. Oh, 
Arbitrium. Et voilà. Check the microscope, and finally, you'll see what I mean. Place where trees, shrubs, and herbaceous plants are cultivated for scientific and educational purposes. Hmm. Comes from the Latin arbor for tree, and etum for place, meaning a place of trees. Now you know. The one you're looking at now seems to have picked up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. I can only see one mark? That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one. For... Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yes. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap between flares. Flares cause the solar winds. A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. I need you to look into this, Harold. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured. Yes? But if we're not going to be able to catch one, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations <clears throat> spit out, and then sells them at an outrageous markup. Good evening, Jean. Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. Mm -hmm. So I gotta go to the shop. I did a little doodle. Search for the blue rock. I was like, kind of worried that this game would be too much of a slow burn. And when there's stuff that Harold, it when you see Cyrus, could you give him a message for me? Sure thing, Professor. Just ask him, how are the details coming along? Okay. I will ask him, but, um... Yes, yes, I know. I could ask him myself, uh, but didn't you stop to wonder why I don't want to? I just did stop to wonder. It's complicated, okay? We go back a long way and don't always see eye to eye, especially on matters of categorization, nomenclature, and subsequent archiving methodology. Huh. Not that he ever saw fit to delineate his preferred... <laughs> don't mind me, Harold. I just mean... Cyrus has his stubborn phases, and I just can't talk to him when he's in one. Okay, say no more. Your message is safe with me. Actually, Harold... No, it's okay. Nothing. Run along now. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, I was worried about it being too much of a slow burn, especially games that are story heavy and have a lot of dialogue where I don't get to talk as much because I do like to be quiet when characters are talking so we can enjoy it like a show or a film together. Um, that I might not get into it, you know? Like if something's going to be dialogue heavy, it's really got to grab you, otherwise you can very quickly get bored. But I have to say, so far this is doing a pretty good job and definitely, like, the aesthetic, the kind of art style and everything is helping with that because I feel like I'm watching the kinds of shows that were around in the olden days when I was a kid or something, you know? Like, it feels, um, it feels old school. It does all feel handmade and just for that reason, slightly more interesting. And the dialogue's good and characters aren't going on for an age and a day. So we're getting nice little bits of gameplay in between. Okay, so they're not here, so I'm gonna guess that I do just get the train and find them there. Mm -hmm. Wearing the same outfit every day. to the arcade. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. Thanks. You may now exit the tube. Utterly Thank unconcerned you for your own safety. No respect for authority. Wanton disregard today. for the future of humanity. Harold, good timing. You can explain things to the major, can't you? Harold, come here and explain things. And yourself. Major, I'm just passing through. I really don't know what this is about. 
Hi, Felix. So you're not here to make excuses for this diminutive delinquent? Hey, I'm not diminutive. I've just got longer to live than you. And Harold, tell him about our plan. Harold! I thought I told you to stay out of trouble. I should have known you'd be wrapped up in this. Uh, I've got, I, I've got no idea. I'm not in trouble. There is no plan. Are you questioning my authority and or organizational merit? What? No, Major. I... If I find out you're a bad influence on young Felix here... Not me. Major. Whatever Felix did, I'm sure it was meant innocently. And how would you know about that? Unless you're in league with him. Uh, he's just a kid. I just meant... I mean, I can just relax. Relax? Harold, you're really starting to tweak my beak. Uh, but, but, what did Felix do anyway? Utterly unconcerned for his own safety, no respect or authority, wanton disregard. Anyway, Major, under whose jurisdiction is Harold in trouble? Mine! I'm the law here. Felix, will you be a witness to this? Absolutely. And can you testify to Harold's involvement? Only if he's willing to testify to mine. Harold, tell the truth now. It'll be easier in the long run. I don't... I just let it go. I haven't witnessed anything to testify. Damn it! Then the case is in danger of falling apart. I'm sure Felix's parents will deal with this. Good point. They should really be present while you question me, Major. I'm only a minor. Don't you throw the book at me, son. Where are they anyway? I don't know. And... Good luck finding them. Oh no, no, Felix, have you lost them? Harold, leave this to the professionals. Felix, do you mean to tell me you've neglected to file a missing person or persons report? Shouldn't we look for them? Don't change the subject. But Major, what is the subject? That's right, Harold, know your rights. If, and I mean if, you're acting as some kind of heroic big brother figure to this young man, I expect you to be a positive influence. I, we, there's no... Come on, spit it out, man! Just leave me alone, Sandstrom. I've got fish to feed. Okay, Harold, but your fish won't save you if I catch you red-handed. Now, Felix! <laughs> Where is Felix? Oh, no. Felix? Harold, you've lost him! Ugh. I'm honestly not sure if I missed the f like a dialogue option there and that's why he shouted at me because I'm gonna be real in full Harold fashion like I absolutely drifted off elsewhere in my, in my head for a second and then he like shouted and that like brought me back to the game. Hello Mr. Secretary, uh, eight, right? I'm afraid not. You must be thinking of my brother, Secretary Eight or Secretary 24 of course. Oh, sorry. I always get that mixed up. There are just three of you, right? Well now, uh, three of us work for Old Water, yes. Oh, so there's another who doesn't? Hmm, yes, Secretary Eight is the man to ask about that. He remembers it all much better than I do. Remembers? Okay, sounds serious. Anyway, I'm neglecting my post. Welcome to the Agora Arcades. Would you like to partake in the monthly all-water raffle bonanza? Oh, sure. Wait, is it free to enter? Certainly. The raffle is a generous gesture of frivolity from all-water to you, the citizens of Fedora. Him and all of his brothers are attached at the butt like some sort of snake, and they just pass through the tubes, and that's why you only see the top half of them like some sort of um, cat-dog creature. I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. I'll just spin her up. Drum roll, please. And... Looks like you were unlucky this time, but oh. that's life. Try again next month. Okay. Do it again. The arcade. Putting a lot of faith in these windows. What if just a, a space whale came along? Huh? A message. Yes, Slippy's double black diamond deals are now on for one day only. Don't sleep on Slippy's exclusive new campaign launch event. So we want to... Give a message to Cyrus and search for... 
in Tommy's General Store. Where's Slippy's? Gertrude's Beer Zone. Oh, walking into a lamppost. And there's the General Store. And it's closed. Oh. <gasps> games. We're playing games? Oh! Games within games is like my favorite thing. I feel like it all started with Shenmue. When you could play Sega games in the arcade. Now, whenever there's a game within a game, I get very excited. Can we crash? Love that. What else have we got? Rapid Force. Oh. Star Fox. Oh. <laughs> Is there another one? What's this one? Oh, it's a person. What are you guys playing? It's about to be a Back to the Future reference. Hey there. The name is Eve, not there. Oh, sorry, Eve. Can I help you, mister? No, just came to visit Rafi. What you playing? Oh, some game. I'd rather be reading, but here we are. What do you like to read? Anything really, you know. At the moment, hegemony and the pan liberalism agenda of agnostic psychopolitic, mostly. What? That's a book? Yes. Say, did you know Captain at Large Burnhout holds the high score in this game? No. That's cool. I always wondered what those initials at the top of the leaderboard meant. Yeah. Well, see ya. You have to use your hands. Oh, hey, Rafi. Hmm. Harold. Is everything okay? The tube route to the school in the social district is out. Oh, right. Makes sense. Annoying. That's not what's annoying. Oh? Kids. Everywhere. All the time. <laughs> no school means no peace. They're just hanging around. Me on Easter break. Taking space. Playing all the arcades. Oh, dear. But isn't that what this place is for, kind of? Oh, I see. Good luck. I was literally at the pond like, where are these kids here screaming and hanging out? Ruining my tranquility. Well, what do I do if this is... There's the blue oh. rock, the bane of my day. Where's Tommy when you need him? Ah, maybe he's like having a beer or something. This is open. Could be in there, but I bet that's him having a beer. Sim, what do you think about the announcement then? I think it sounds exciting, Alon. You think everything sounds exciting? Well, that new boy thing and all. Might give us something new to natter about. A new boy, Sim? What's it gonna pick up anyway? Why does that sound like what Alien people think drama? British people sound like, sure, but they're not British? Shout me in that about Shout me to ever chat to in a bit of a banter in a biscuit. Hey, I don't suppose you'll be back in the shop soon? <sighs> or, I mean, I can come back later? Oh uh, no, what do you need? It's just that the professor and I need some sea rocks. I mean, filter rocks from older times that have come from the filters and I feel like you might have one? Shh, quiet! Don't be mentioning Filter Frankie! You know that every piece of my inventory is legally obtained or, or legally found, right? Right, sure. That's why I'm here. To legally acquire an item of yours that you may have. Okay, look and listen here, Longy Long Pants. I shut the store for a reason, you know? Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you Longy Long Pants just then. You sure you don't want me to come back another time? It's fine. I'm just feeling sorry for myself. 
I've got this gut feeling that my beautiful angel wife don't care about me no more. Oh. No, I know I'm oversharing again. Tommy, you gotta stop oversharing. Look, kid, either way, I'm not gonna be of any help to you today. Ah, uh, if you're sure. Yeah, you just caught me on a blue note, that's all. She's been spending so much time with that beautiful chunk of marble. You know, the guy in the silk robe and the flowing locks? Uh-oh. Yeah, she don't like you, dude. I gotta say. Um, right, check on Bridget. Refuses to open up the store because of relation st stuff with Bridget. Go to the energy district and see if there's anything I can help her with. Ah, and Cyrus is at the energy district too. Perfect. I like the vibe. I like the music in here. I feel chill, you know? I feel settled in. And I hope that you do too. And if you do, hit that like button and subscribe for more playthroughs just like this one. Someone put graffiti on the wall. It's an eyesore. Clean it off. Oh. I love all the sounds of that thing when we pull it up to, like, see. Destination determined. So beepy now, and boopy. Relax. Fuzzy and fuzzy. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Inspecting. Inspecting. Contaminant detected. Oh, shower. Please do not panic. No oh, there they are, spending a bit of time together. Oh, there's Bridget. And Chris? What are they doing in there? I can't hear them, but maybe I can lip read. Hmm, seems like Bridget is pretty excited about something. It looks like she's saying... Hmm. It's unacceptable. Tommy would realize... It's just not worth the risk. Ooh, Chris is replying. Let's see. Maybe you're right. It could go so wrong. Anyway, we should get back before people notice. Hmm, pretty mysterious. Now I wish I'd never skipped those lip reading classes. It's the way you could, like, read it one way or the other, but also I feel like they're probably doing something, um, innocent, and then it's just like, or they're, like, working on something secret that's not schmexy times. Hello, Sai. How's it going? Oh, it's been tough, Harold. Every detail has a detail. It's like this filigreed... Oh, uh, it's good you're here, actually. Yeah? What do you need? Well, I'm having a bit of difficulty with a 3D printer. It's leaving gaps everywhere. Oh, okay. Shall I take a look? Yes, please. But I hope you're better with technology than you are with the ladies. Um, I hope so, too. What a thing anyway, to say. Anyway, see if you and your screwdriver can get this printer its third dimension back. Hmm. You have to undo the screws first to remove the front panel. Oh, cute. Wow. The art, dude. Okay, can you, like, move that then? I don't- I think this was supposed to fall off and it hasn't. I can't see anything. Gotta do all of these. Ah, there we go. Physics, baby. What are these stuck on? Ooh, I think you're nearly there. Was I supposed to like work out an order to this? Ooh, something happened then. Uh, keep going.
Being so handy, I'm a handyman. Oh, there it is. You see that hole? Mm hmm. This one? Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Harold. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Could have died. Sorry, was the printer even broken? Maybe, maybe. It was a prank. If it's any consolation, I discovered this little trick the hard way. Ow! Why didn't you just fix it then? Well, where would the fun have been in that? I'm not sure I like your idea of fun. Hmm, funny. Sunny says the same thing to me. But I guess she didn't like your idea of fun either, eh? Ow. Think of it as a wake-up call, Harold. Yeah, a little extra juice. Oh, that reminds me. Moreau asked me to ask you... How are the details coming along? Oh, thanks, Harold. Just like her to ask that. Huh. Is it? Uh, anyway, see you next time, Sai. You jerk. Uh, Harold, uh, one more thing. What is it, Sai? Could you take Maro a message? I suppose. Is it just going to be like hers? No, 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 nothing like that. It's something definitely unrelated. So, what's the message? Oh, okay, fine. You got me. Happy? Just tell her procedure smeager and that she puts the why are you in Cyrus. I don't know that's such a good idea. I mean, what is this whole thing about exactly anyway? She started it. Back in the days, we were both part of the Archive Club. She was always so darn keen to throw away all the rules and invent new archiving procedures. She called it a healthy distrust for calcified mental models. But all it did was stop us ever getting anything done. So, you disagreed about archiving? Precisely. But it was fundamental. I mean, we respected each other's work, but there was this deep difference. And I guess neither of us was willing to budge. So, what did you decide about the archives? That's not important anymore. Come on, man. Sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Okay. So, no message for her? <sighs> Just tell her I say hi. She'll know what I mean. Okay. Catch you later, Sai. When I was a kid... We did a school trip to the farm. I mean, like... Eight or nine? Like, kid kid. Like, primary school. And they did a dis demonstration of how electrical oh, current works. And they had us all Inspection. in a circle holding hands. Inspection. And then had the person... At The person at the top of the circle touch the um, like battery for the electric cow fence or whatever at the farm, like an electric fence for the animals. And obviously the shock went through all of our bodies around this circle. Du -du 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 all along, we all go like, oh my God, like electrocuted. Um, and the more that I think about that over the years, the more I think A, super unethical, B, super unsafe, wouldn't happen today. C, they probably just liked, like that was like a prank. They just wanted to electrocute some kids. They're not teachers. That's not science, you know? Um, let me check where I'm going. But at the time, we and all of the teachers, even that were there that day, were just like, this is fine. Cyrus said hi, say hi to Moreau, reconnect with Tommy. Okay, so let's go back to the arcade. Location no, that lighted. was the wrong... Journey yeah. commencing. All water the controller thanking you. popped. <clears throat> Thank you for traveling with all water. Is there a random little kid here? What you doing? Hello there, little miss. Are you lost? You could call me Lise. And no, I'm just waiting for someone. Oh, is Lise like a combination of little and miss? No, stupid. It's my name. What's your name? It's Harold. Nice to meet you. Is Harold like far and old combined? Well, I suppose it is, actually. 
Can you just leave me alone? I'll yell stranger <laughs> danger if you don't. Okay. Bye, Elise. She got bored of you real quick, Harold. Okay. To the oh, arcade. Water. Moving people every day. So we basically get shot through a tube in goop every time we travel. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Would we just be pruny all day? How do we dry off? There's no like drying moment. Am I just wet all the time? Back into the beer zone. Here's him. What do you know about Filter Frankie? Filter Frankie? Yeah. Fra I'm I'm sorry to bother you again, but I went looking for Mrs. Vandervart, and she was at the harvest office. Not news. It's her office. Where else would she be? I know, but it's more who was there with her that I thought, you know, I should mention. What? Who was she with? It looked totally professional. I didn't see anything bad. Just Senor Tinnerbaum. Ah, what? What's he doing in her office? There's no way he knows enough about energy. If I still had my own hair, it would never have come to this. Tommy, I'm sure it's not like that. I just... You don't understand, Harold, what it's like to get old. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna take this lying down. Tommy, I don't think you should, uh, get angry. And you're in on this with me now, Harold. You did the right thing bringing this to me. I'm really sure it's nothing, just a lunch chat. I've just been so busy working on this damned store sign, thinking Bridget would love the ambition, you know? See me as a real go-getter again. But maybe this whole time I should have been showing her signs of my love. I'll bet she knows you- You're absolutely right. We'll modify the sign. Tonight, make it into a great big sparkly neon proclamation of my, nay, our love. A sign she won't be able to miss. A sign to blind that glossy maned Casanova. I mean, I'm not sure that's the sign. Don't doubt it, Harold. This is gonna work. I just feel it. You're in, right? Will you help me save our love? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll try. Knew I could count on you. Let's get to work. All right. T e and B, Tommy and Bridget. This is this. This will convince her. All right. That's what I'm every, gonna go freshen up a little. Every woman wants. Might even put on a different outfit now that I think of it. Will you go and look for Bridget for me? A neon sign. My dear Bridget, I'm sorry we haven't been able to spend much time together recently. So I get how you might be attracted to the man-machine with the flowing looks of an angel that you call your friend. But I do beg you to give me another chance. Please, Bridget, will you let me back into your heart and take this monument to our love as a sign of my great affection? Tommy, of course I love you, and I would never betray you. I just wanted to give you some space. I saw you working so hard on your new sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Couldn't tell me what? Oh, what the heck. The ship's facing some issues with the energy budget. I knew you would need a lot of light for your sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Ha! No way we've got an energy problem here. That was it? No helping Tinner Bomb with his spray tan? That was it. No spray tan. I'm so sorry, Buttercupsy. I love you. I love you. Buttercupsy. That's a new one. Thank you for your help, Harold. I was hoping you'd accept this stone as a thank you. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Roro won't be happy to hear about Someone this. Someone stole it? Blue rock stolen. The hell, man. We gotta go back. Oh my god, I love the sign of the beer place. 
the like beer down the, the neck of like sort of a punk looking thing. It's so cool. I love the kind of, you know, culture in stasis retro future that some games do. Like Fallout is obviously that kind of like, what is it, 1920s, 30s kind of old sort of americana -y stuff. Harold, but it's got your message. Oh, thank you, Miss... Zoodle, pleased to make your acquaintance. So, it's from Felix. He says there's something he wants to show you and to expect a secret message soon. Oh, what? Why? I mean, and why couldn't he just have said that to me himself? I don't know. Go ask him. My work here is done. Later's, mister. Thanks. Or is Fallout like the 1950s? I'm not good with dates. So I don't know when that... I think it might be more like the 1950s or something. I love that aesthetic, though. And this feels like 70s? Cold War. Maybe it's the 80s. I think it might be the 80s. But we're kind of like frozen in time, but we're in the future. I, I like that. What other stuff has that? Let me know in a comment. I can't try to think off the top of my head, but Fallout was the first one that came to mind because I just watched the show, which was really good. And I love the Fallout games. I like the first uh, two more than the Bethesda ones, I have to be honest. Um... Where are we going? Uh, lab. All water compliments you on your choice of destination. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> I started replaying number All one. Water. We get you where you're going. After watching the show. It's so funny seeing on TikTok and socials, like, everyone's going back to four and New Vegas in 76. And the first thing I did was reinstall number one. Like, no one's, like, play the old ones. They're so much better. Oh wait, I've got a... Where's home? Ugh. Graffiti. What good is asking <clears throat> where is home anyway? Where else are we gonna go? Could they just leave some notes around? I wonder if this is the light keepers again, or just someone copying their style. Will they ever reveal themselves? Home is where the heart is. The light keepers. They reveal themselves. Wait, were they joking when they were saying that they thought it was the fish? I, I thought they were being serious. That they thought it was that the fish actually put the sign on itself. I guess they do know that there's other people. Um, this is cool. I like this little <laughs> wax on, wax off little mini game here. That's cute. I like the way it's moving. Good evening, everyone. Please remember, the all-water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Get snug, not stranded. Get snug, not stranded. Professor, you're not going to believe this. Why does that not surprise me? The blue rock. It's gone. You found it? You lost it? It was stolen from Tommy's store. This is utterly vexatious, Harold. I know. Oh, and I also got a message from Cyrus for you. Out with it, then. He says... Hi. Hi? Just hi? Yeah, just that. He said you'd know what it means. He's a sly one sometimes. I'll give him that. Stubborn as a mule. What's a mule? Oh, don't start, Harold. I've got to think of a comeback. I mean, get some important work done. What should we do? We? I need time to think. Madam CEO, you're going to want to hear this. <clears throat> I'm listening. It's the new boy, ma'am. It's picked up a signal that we have reason to believe originates from Earth. Earth? Have you reverse dated the transmission? We have. It was sent in 2102. So 126 years after we left. Things would have been pretty rock bottom back there by then. Let's hear what was important enough for them to call after us. Maybe it was their final farewell, huh? <laughs> I hope it's nothing too awkward. Okay, I'll send a copy via... Well, just play it to me. I've got a 1205. But ma'am, it's only 10... And one of those. Okay, playing back now. This is Earth. Earth to the Fedora.
sure. Boy, he was sure hope you're all okay. Whoever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. John Stan! Cut the damn line! You're live! What? Oh, fudge! Professor, did you hear that strange message? Tell it was hard what. to miss. It's the first message from Earth. Ever? Certainly in my lifetime, at least. I wonder, what kind of message would a dying civilization speculatively send to a ship that can never return? What do you think it means? It means that the fact Allwater haven't shared it publicly yet means they're thinking about how to turn it to their advantage. What if it's not the first message? Don't be paranoid, Harold. What reason or authority would they have for keeping messages from us? Still, even if they had planned to share it immediately, they look suspicious now. Gosh, that message could be anything. Maybe they've got information for us about our mission. Hmm. Well, what could that information be? If we presuppose... I would riot. I would need to know. Yes? Oh, it's you. Yes? No. Indubitably. Fine. What? 15%? Out of the question. Okay, sure. See you shortly. Harold, I want you to come with me. Huh? To where? What? Who was that? Why? It was the CEO of Allwater Corp, of course, asking me to jump. What for? How high? Indeed, Harold. Indeed. Well, unfortunately for my bath, she was adamant we went there immediately. She even unlocked our tube tickets for emergency night travel. Night travel? But why? What does she want with us? Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Come on, let's not keep Her Highness waiting. Night travel, night travel. Crisis control. We need to get out there ahead of the turn in public sentiment. First move advantage and get this working for us, not against us. Oh, I love this song. Yes. Come in, come in, come in. Now, as you both know, time is of the essence. Sorry. Where are my manners? Would either of you like something to drink? Ah, I suppose I might like a coffee? There's really no time for coffee. Time is of the essence. Professor, would you like to sit? No, thank you. I prefer to stand. Oh, a woman of action, I love that. Anyway, we must act. Due to the unfortunate communique incident, we've been forced to move up the schedule. It's imperative we deliver some good news about the start procedure. Hmm. I suppose that wouldn't hurt. To that effect, Professor. And, um, you there. I'll need you to supervise Cyrus directly. We can't afford for any unforeseen delays. Cyrus? He works best undisturbed. The man is a stubborn buffoon, but there's no doubting his thoroughness. Professor, please. It would do this old heart good to know that you were keeping a watchful eye on him. Or maybe your, um, protege here could do it. I'll hang out with, I mean, watch Sai, sure. If it makes you happy, Madame CEO, we'll make sure Cyrus delivers. Great. Music to my ears. Thank you both. You've done all water and the ship a great service. We're ready. Go live and stay on schedule. It's so jarring. It's my privilege to announce to you all today that our new boy program has already <clears throat> proven an unmitigated success. We present to you now the full and unedited audio that represents the first incoming message we've received in our lifetimes. Now, before the message plays, I'd like to take a moment to reiterate just how proud we should all be of progress on the new start procedures. It won't be long before we're ready for the first attempt the latest in a long line of steps on the road to a greater, brighter future for us all. Please enjoy this message, brought to you by the All Water Corporation. This is Earth, Earth to the Fedora. Boy, we sure hope you're all okay, whomever is still out there. We're not quite 
quite sure how to tell you this. And things were pretty rocky here when you left, of course, and, you know, that was a brave move. Probably the right decision at the time. We didn't know whether to even tell you this, but we figured maybe it would give you some comfort way out there in the freezing clutches of deep space. What? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess. Or, I mean, even better, the comforting, warm embrace of a lovely, habitable new planet. Well, we just wanted to let you know that we pulled together down here. The sparrows calmed down and things pretty much worked themselves out. Life still isn't perfect. Bananas died out. And you've got to be pretty careful around water. But by and large, we're back on track. I've survived. Wish we could send you a postcard. Anyway, be safe and maybe one day we'll get a hello from you. We'll be listening. Earth is still there. What are you all still doing here? Don't you have work or something to do? Scram! It still exists. Retreat to the lab. Where are you going? Where does this go? Large Baronhout? Ah, uh, hello. Uh, how are you, uh, um... I'm Harold Halibut, sir. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you are. Harold, tell me, have you ever felt lost? Oh, I always get lost around here. Uh, no, Harold, I mean, feeling like you have no purpose. I know my purpose, but sometimes it doesn't seem very important. You heard the leak, I presume? Yep, of course. That leak? That one message, it's undone me. If my whole family, this whole mission, the ship, my captaincy at large... <laughs> what if it was all a mistake? Oh, I see. Well, maybe Earth didn't get as bad as people thought it would. But we're still us. And you know, it wasn't us that chose to fly away. I suppose. Speaking of which... Have you ever lost someone, Harold? Have you? Yes. Someone important. She's gone, Harold. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. What happened? Coco has taken an... unscheduled leave of absence. Oh, so she's not lost forever? No, I'm sure she'll return eventually. But every moment without her, I spend in longing and despair. Is it anyone I might know? My beloved? Her name is Coco. Oh, not sure I've ever met her. Do you want to see a picture? Pet Coco is a bird. Harold, you're such an understanding sort. Could you try to find her for me? I'd look for her myself, but in these uncertain times, I think it's best I don't leave my post. Okay, so we'll find a bird. Bye. Bye. Can I, um... Excuse me. I've got to get back to the lab now. Very important business. I'm guessing a lot of this is like side quests, optional perhaps. I don't think it's like stuff you have to do. Travel in style. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest... Uh, uh, and all water <laughs> will make it up to you. Uh, contact your nearest... <laughs> Just totally not even... Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. 
You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Back to the lab. Let's see what's occurring. Hey, Professor. Oh, are those the new teacups? Come and see for yourself. Oh, I promise I ordered them. Harold, just look. Oh, maybe it's the rock. Oh. When you are lost in the dark, you have to go deeper to find your way out. The light keepers. The fish sent this? Most intriguing. I'm irregular. So, if the light keepers could get the rock and they knew we wanted it, that means that uh, they must be someone who. Harold, it's late and we've had enough excitement for one day. Let's leave the theories until tomorrow. Sure. I'm just happy that whoever they are, they're on our side. So it seems for now. Good night, Harold. See you in the morning. Okay. Night, Professor. Hmm. Night. Guess we're wrapped up in some sort of conspiracy. And the revolution. Gosh, whoever made that leak must be feeling pretty terrible right now. I'm glad it wasn't me messing up for once. Let's see what tomorrow brings. What a sad little life, Harold. You won, Jane. looks mad uncomfortable. Can I change my outfit? Nope. Didn't think so. And what time do you call this? Uh, good morning, Professor. The time is... I know what the time is. There's lots to be done. How are we going to find out who the light keepers are? I'm just as curious as you, Harold, but we have better things to do. I suppose you're right. How can I help? You can start by taking the rock to Bridget. She'll make the necessary preparations for analysis, which you should be able to handle. Okay, great. I'll get right on it. And Harold, try to remember that whoever the Lightkeepers are, our jobs here are to make life more stable for the people here, not less. I know. I know. I'll get going. Live in my clothes, sleep in my clothes, waking up in the same clothes. Thank God that thing's showering and spraying me every time I go through it, because I'm a stink. Right, take the rock to Bridget. Me, 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 mo. I wonder what that out of order one is. Enjoy the view. Probably you something have arrived. for Vita. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. Please halt for your Don't exit disinfection. Do not try to taste the disinfectant. Mm. Mist commences in three. Three. Wait for it. Zero. Okay, thanks. Dude, I lo just love how the camera angles and everything works. It's so cool. Hi, Bridget. Are you ready to rock, Harold? I have it here. Ready with rock. Oh, Harold, you can be such a killjoy sometimes. Anyway, it's going to take a while to analyze this little guy, so I'll send for you when it's ready. Oh, okay. 
Great. Thanks, Bridget. Oh, Harold? While you're here, maybe you could help me with a little something? Uh, maybe, but don't you think... Now, now, you'll do quite well. There's a little experiment I've been wanting to run. The remote control of the conveyors isn't working right now. My theory is Cyrus and his mugs of tea that he always forgets about before knocking over. So I need your help to manually control them. Can do. I'll be in here recording and analyzing the data. Right, see that button over there? The big one next to the conveyors starts and stops them. I think I can handle that. Yes, well, don't get cocky. I'll give you more detailed instructions of the loudspeakers as we go along. People kind of put Harold down around here. What do you want me to... On this? Okay, so, there are three different types of organisms on the conveyor. Each is a different color. Are they pretty? See, don't I make life easy for you? But I want you to focus on the red ones for now, since we're comparing their data to past readings. Red ones. I got it. I'd be worried if you didn't. Anyway, pop them under the green machine next to you and stop the conveyor, please. Right, so I just stop it every time it's a red one? Okay, great. On to the next step. Now, you see the analysis machine? Go start it up. The machine's UI is pretty easy. There are just two buttons. One to chop the sample, and one to coat it in our lovely space bacteria mix. Chop and coat. I see. Right. I'll be prepping the actual data recording in the meantime. I'll let you know exactly when to start the process. Wait for my command. Just like comedy, timing is everything here. Okay, now. so... Great. Time to coat the sample. Satisfying. Harold, how much smaller are you intending to chop it? Oh, sorry, I thought Now coat it. Oh. Nice. Let's see what we have. Ah, I see. I see. Okay, we need two more readings to have a representative data set. <laughs> it's, dude, it's just, it feels real, you know? Nice one. Now, on to the next step. Stuff has weight to it, rather than just being, like, cartoony, animated stuff. Harold, what did I tell you about timing? The sample will be useless to us now. Oh. You'll have to repeat the first steps. But, okay. Okay, great. On to the next step. Right. So I wait for you. Right? Now. Squish. Great. Time to coat the sample. And... Nice. Let's see what we have. Ah, I see. I see. Just the one left now. Okay, looks like it's the very next one. Nice one. Now on to the next step. Now. I almost hit it instantly again. I was like, Great. no, it's not. Time to coat the sample. Okay, great. Now show me what you got. Hmm, intriguing. Nice one, Harold. That's everything we need. Meet me back at the control room and we can look over the results together. Oh boy, look over some results together. I can't wait. What an exciting day. These results. It looks like our catalytic bacteria is starting to have diminishing returns on the energy output. That's not good, right? No, but it also doesn't make much sense. Why would the bacteria have been fine until now? I'm not the best person to ask. 
what could have changed? I'm not sure. I've run the tests. The key variables, pH level, density, etc., are all stable on the bacteria. We're using the same organic matter for it to convert. And I've been double checking the filters. They're filtering at the same levels as always. I mean, could something outside the ship be to blame? It is possible that somehow the organic matter is being affected before it hits the filters. But none of the tests we've run on the matter itself shows any key variants. Hmm, strange. Oh, sorry. Are the energy returns diminishing very badly? I'm not panicking yet, Harold. It's just a trend we can't let continue indefinitely. Unless we can miraculously find a whole new system for producing energy. Not panicking at all. Oh, oh dear. I should get back to Moreau, but just let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I'll keep you posted, Harold. And thanks. Okay. Message. Harold, the filter station is clogged again. Unclog it properly. The filter station. That was back at the lab. Oh, not this way. Mm -mm. It's just extra immersion having someone that drifts off and is kind of ditzy play this game, right? Inspection. That's all. That's why you're here. Inspecting. Inspecting. Hmm. Inspecting. <laughs> no contaminants it's part of the shtick, you know. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. It's like occasionally you get a comment when people are like, oh, you're like not paying attention or you're really bad at this, blah, 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 blah. It's like, now exit the tube. people aren't here because I'm good at games, okay? Water Corporation for choosing to and I am good at today. games. Some. Uh, wait. A filter is down here. Yo. Pretty good at competitive shooters, just whilst we're uh, being braggadocious for a minute. Clean the pump. Clean the pump. Cleaning, fixing, cleaning, fixing, running around and fetching stuff, doing stuff. It could be worse, but there must be more. More to life. To life. Cleaning, fixing, running all around. Wait, what's that sound? Isn't there more to life? I clean and I fix Till my legs feel like bricks My best friend is a mop I work till I drop And for what? No medals or treats I don't get silk sheets But oh, I'm the first guy they call for a leak There must be more to life I could be an artiste, my name would be fetid, or a chef whose every dish was celebrating. But maybe this is my destiny, trouble and strife. And perhaps that's okay. At the end of the day, what more could there be to life? Okay, is this character literally me? <laughs> what? Hey, Harold, I too break oh, into- Oh, sorry, Harold. Ah, hey, yeah, oh. hey, Tommy. Sorry, you startled me. I'm a bit startled myself. What brings you to the filter station? Just, you know, I should probably be going. But you just got here. Anything I can help you with? I, I was just looking for filter Frankie. But I guess he's not around. That guy can be slipperier than a jelly deal. Yeah, I've never even met him. Righto, I'll be going now. See you, Harold. Oh, okay. 
by Tommy. Hmm. Interesting. Is he Filter Frankie? Our sample has been prepared and is ready for analysis. Our sample is ready. Now things are steady. We got. Sorry. <laughs> Harold got some pipes on him, huh? Harold can sing. He was doing more of an opera style. I never, I never go opera. Alright, back to the energy district. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. Just gooped on all day long, man. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Taste the disinfectant. All right, let's see what the results are. The results are in, survey says. Hey, Bridget. Oh, hey, Harold. Done with the sample already? Hmm? I'm here for the sample. You silly goose. I messaged you saying I sent it to the sample shelf. Oh, sorry. I missed it somehow. That is what the conveyor system is for. To save us from running all over the place the whole time? I know. I guess I just... Did you really think I'd make you come all the way back here to pick it up? No, I mean, I probably... It'd be madness. People running around, fetching stuff by hand. None of us would get anything done. Yeah, my bad. I'll go get it from the shelf. Although, while you're here... Thanks, Bridget. Sorry to bother you. Bye. Wait, did she say that? Sample's been prepared. I got a good feeling about this one. She didn't say it was on the shelf. Send the sample to the sample shelf in the lab. Hmm. Thought I was being called out for not paying attention. Please halt for your Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. Quite literally, a tube. Because in London it's called the tube. Where the trains go when they're underground, it's called the tube. Or the underground. And if a train is on top, it's called the overground. Let me use a sample. <laughs> Open. And then... The sample shelf. Get the right one. Right now, let's take a look what all the fuss is about. Hmm. Three. Oh, yes. I see. Very big marks. A dense rockiness. Troubling, uh, strata. Implications huge for origin of it. Possible comet fragment. Judging by the composition, could have been from... Far away. Mm hmm. That is. Ah! Professor, you scared me. This is. We've been thinking all along about. This data suggests. Hmm. But. Huh, that would contradict. Hmm. The potential implications. What is it, Professor? It's these readouts. I think I know what they mean. Oh. What have they told you? The rock strata looks like carbonaceous chondrite. Rare, but the aminos, backdating. It's a countdown. Great, for what? Our relaunch window. Oh. The sample finally reveals a pattern. 
And it means there's a two-year gap between the otherwise constant solar windstorms. We're approaching that window fast. And if we miss it? We wait for 80 years. Most of us won't get to see the next one. Wow. Uh -oh. So can you work out how long we have? If my calculations are correct, we're fast approaching the end of the current two-year calm period. In fact, I make it exactly 89 days we have left. Do you think we'll make it? Hmm. Not unless we find a miraculous source of energy to properly power the ship. I doubt it. I need to double-check some of this data urgently. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay, Professor. I'll leave you be. Hmm. Hmm. Now we gotta get ourselves out of here in time. Harry, it's Felix. I've got some big info. It's sensitive. But you're kind of cool. If you want to know more, meet me at the arcade tonight. Uh, if you tell anyone, I'll set your fish free into the ocean. Tub shopper. Felix. Meet Felix at the arcades. Alright. Then why do I always go this way? Don't set my fish free. Mm -hmm -hmm. Keeping an eye out for that bird. I'll kinda just let the side quests come as they may. If we see stuff, we see stuff. I wanna focus on the story. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Hey, Felix. I'm here. What's with the secret? Shh. Wait. I can't tell you anything with all these people around. Uh, okay. We have to wait until everyone leaves? Yes, that's the deal. Okay. Well, I wish I'd known I would have brought a book or something. What are you reading? Oh, just the latest in the Fedora 4 series. Is that the beast from below? Oh, no. It's Persephone's Lament. Oh, I thought the beast from below was the latest one. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, look. Is that Cherry Bafflesop? Who's that? Come on, you don't know Cherry Bafflesop? The food critic from The Chronicle? I'm a kid. I don't read newspapers. Well, the cartoons, obviously, and I quite like the Agony On column, actually. I think that might be Cherry, too. Oh. So, do you ever think it's strange? All these people, all their own homes, lives, thoughts? Maybe they don't even know we exist. Well, I mean, they can see us. Yes, but that's not always the same thing, is it? Oh. I suppose not. So, how's school? Why? Did Mr. Tenenbaum ask you to spy on me? Chris? No. I was only wondering. School, school. I try to concentrate, but it just seems... pointless. I mean, what do you need to learn to do what my dad does? And I'm sure they're not teaching us about what my mom does. But you need to just learn in general. You can't just know what you need to learn yet. Huh. I just feel like I learn more by exploring myself. Well, can't you do both? You can always explore, but you can't always get someone like Chris, I mean, Mr. Tenenbaum, spending all day helping you learn. Uh, I suppose it would be cool to know everything. Good evening, Fedorans. The all water tube system will show you time again. Okay, it's time. Please I hope it's worth the, the wait. Oh, it is. Coast is get clear. Follow me. This, my friend, is the Tunnel of Secrets. Oh. It looks like a ventilation shaft? Harry Potter and the... A small, dark one. Sure, that's what they want you to think. Come on! It's pretty cozy in here. Just follow me, and trust me. So you promise you won't tell anyone about this? Promise. I mean, who would I tell? Moreau? She'd just say I'm making up tall tales again. Well, 
I think you'd better tell me a secret anyway, just so we're even. Um, okay. I guess that's only fair. Well, one time I dropped something into one of the filters, so I had to... Wow, ew. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that'll do. Little Nightmares vibes. Back in event. Little Mouse. Felix, come on. Can't you tell me where we're headed? Good things come to those who wait. We call this dieharding. So, how well do you know these tunnels, Felix? We're not lost, are we? Okay, trust me, I've been exploring these for ages now. Whenever my parents are away, or, yeah, I need quiet space. There's so much of the station people don't know about. I mean, could they even fit? <laughs> Probably not. And I'm glad they don't try. They can't be that bad. Oh, they're fine, just so busy, always. And they let me get away with a lot. You could try not getting into trouble in the first place. Oh, come on, don't tell me you're a goody two-shoes. <laughs> I doubt the professor would think I am. She's not your mama, right? Nope. But she's been kind of like one. Hmm, so what about your... Are you sure we're not lost? Not long now, don't worry. Oh, kind of... Getting a bit glitchy there on the pen. Come on, Harold. Do it for the hell of it. He like, hell, hell of it. Harold, hell, Harold, hell of it. <clears throat> Harold, why are you so slow? Sprint doesn't work in here, huh? way before. We only had the same stuff to look at, mostly. Gotta try find new angles. Huh. Did you read that somewhere? No, I don't think so anyway. Here. Uh, not for me, thanks. And not for you. Relax, it's just gum. Smoking is a dumb adult thing anyway. Oh. Okay. I'll take one. Thanks. They call him... The Scout. A man who dared to go where others wouldn't, or couldn't. He wasn't one for the limelight, but he was good at his job. He mapped out new lands. The Lightkeepers made him an offer. Work for us, they said. A lesser man would have taken the money. But the Scout works best alone. He can't be bought. Only the Scout sees things for what they really are looks to the watery horizon while everyone else stares at their shoes. If only they understood. The Scout is a legend. We've been trying to track him down for years. If anyone can find him, it's you, Agent Harrelson. So, what do you think is going to happen now that Earth is okay? Everyone wants to go back, but... Yeah, it'll take a while, right? Too long. Let's move on. Pretty. Am I like pointing the wrong way? Why are you pushing into the thing like that? I feel like I might be, but I'm like, I'm just pushing to the left, but it, yeah, a bit weird. Oh my God, I thought we were gonna fall in. Oh! oh! <laughs> Harold, are you okay? Uh, I think so, but everything is going cold. Ah, uh, you probably landed in a condensation puddle. 
Where am I? You're dying. How do I get out of here, Felix? I I'm not sure, but good luck and we'll meet up later. I don't let anyone see you. We can't blow our cover. Okay, Felix. You take care now. Ha! Says the man who dived into a shallow puddle. See ya! Get out of the shaft. Well, what manner of secrets will we discover in here, Mr. Halibut? Yes, yes. 100%. And let me circle back to you on the... Oh, Slipmire. Please do sit down and come in. Ah, uh, Madam CEO, have I got news for you? I should certainly hope so. Time is money, and I can't spend time on empty chatter. With so perilous a palpable public perception problem. Well, now you've had a chance to test my new super chill aircon system. Have you given my start procedure idea any more thoughts? Surely you don't want to rely entirely on Cyrus. Yes, about that. I can still hear those blasted mice in the vents. So it can't be that cold and therefore not that efficient. If the system can't scare some mice, how's it going to form the basis of a relaunch? Hmm, I don't want to presume, but did you turn it up to max? Yes, up to 10. Ah, I thought so. You see, this one goes to 11. But why wouldn't you just make 10? <sighs> Whatever. Will you do the honors? Of course. You just gotta click the dial past the little bit of resistance. Like so. Give it a few minutes to kick in, and those mice will be micicles! Good. Perhaps you should work on a prototype. We're going to treat people to a little public demonstration in 10 days. Get the public buy-in, perhaps even a vote. Hmm, it seems like there's hope for your aircon yet. Those mice are feeling the chill. Yes! I think, I mean, I'd love another day or two to tweak the cooling coefficient. No extra days. This has already gone on long enough. We need to be seen to act. You know me, I'm all about moving fast. But not too fast. We can't cut corners on this. The stakes are too high. I'll keep it on the straight and narrow. But if you can, find a way to speed it up. Say no more, Madam CEO. Just wait until that demonstration. You'll see. Now about those all-water co-branded mm. mixes we discussed. I can't stay in here any longer. Or I'll, I'll become a herald sickle. <clears throat> Heraldsicle. Oh. Ooh. Is this the bathroom? Uh, I guess the aircon really is efficient around here. Actually, so what cold today. Time for bed. Well, at least shut the thing. Is, 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 is bro blind? Like, how does he not? Hi. Hello. It's me, Harold Halibut. Why <laughs> is he not like, hey, Harold, what are you staring at me like that for? You know? What was the message? Oh, no, it was a to-do. Go to bed. Okay. Go to bed I shall, then. Oh, excuse me. Betty, 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 bye bye. Goodness, Harold, where have you been? <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. Come on, let's get some tea in you. Thanks, Professor. That does sound nice. It does. I'm so cold. I'm like hugging a hot water bottle right now. It was all sunny for a week and then. What? We have another little... This is your bedroom? We have a little tea room? This is so cute. So, where have you been? And don't say you got stuck in the filter pipes again. Uh, no. Well, there was a puddle, but... It's okay. You're here now. That's the important thing. <laughs> oh dear. Do have some tea. It makes everything better. Ah, yes, I think I will. Ah, warm. 
You that need to remember plan. to look after yourself. A stitch in time saves nine. I do. I just... This was, um, extraneous circumstances. Extenuating circumstances? What exactly have you been up to? Well, it's hard to explain, but I was with Felix. He showed me the vents. They were nice. But then I fell through a grate next to the CEO's office. From what I could overhear, I think something pretty serious is going on between Slippy and Mrs. Kesselchop. Slippy? I hardly think he's her type. No, 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 not, not romantically. It sounded like Slippy was working on his own relaunch procedure. What? That would be most vexing. Why would Castle Chop have told us about this? I don't know. Maybe Slippy himself wants to keep it secret for some reason. Well, I don't have much hope that Slippy would solve the problem, but it could be disastrous if he convinced the CEO that he could. I wonder whether those light keepers are aware of this. It seems probable. What I can't deduce yet is what their agenda is. Yeah. Things have been crazy, though, with them, all the all-water news, the rock, now this. Yes, very irregular, not at all fitting with the usual models. Perhaps it's all connected somehow. Oh, could be. Did Slippy or the CEO say anything about what the procedure would be? Not really. All I could tell is that it somehow involved Slippy's patented air con system. Intriguing. Well, if this baffling pattern keeps up, I'm sure we'll find some new perplexing puzzle pieces soon. I'll keep my ears to the ground. Yes, you do that. Just watch out for puddles. Ha! Huh. I'll do my best. Well, let's sleep on it. You look like you could use some. Sounds good, Professor. Achoo! Good night. Night, Harold. And don't catch a cold, please. I'll try not to. Night. Cute. Time to say goodbye. Don't you think them singing that at the Oscars in memoriam thing was like a little bit too on the nose? They're like, here's the everyone that died last year. Time to say goodbye. You've died and are no more, no more. You know, it's like, just sing a nice song. Well, that was not how I imagined today to go. Hopefully tomorrow will be nice and normal again. No surprises, no excitement, just good old routine. Hachoo! Ugh. That darn aircon. Hachoo! Ugh. I better not wake up with a cold. You got allergies. <clears throat> Me whenever I get a sniffle. I mean, like, literally my job is my voice. 90 days left until launch window close at 89. Excuse me. <sighs> What's that? Oh, that darn alarm waking me up from my swim and dreamies. What's happening? Maybe it's just a test. Uh, seems like something is up. Better go check the lab console and see nothing has exploded. Definitely, that seems important. Can I look at your pictures? No. No surprise. There seems to be something wrong with the filter station again. This thing loves getting me out of bed. The filter. I've got a little flashlight, like, every time, dude. Remember where the door is, Harold. Me. Um, down here. Cool red lights. 
Colored lights are nice. I changed like my bulbs to ones that I can change the color of. And then I recently changed this one back to just a soft warm color because I didn't like the white color of it, but I still have a colored bulb in the bedroom and I can make it like red and blue and stuff. It's chill. Uh. get like shape of water vibes from that what if the alien is a love interest be down for that. Wow. Feels like now the is real adventure okay? is going to begin. Is breathing. We should be hesitant to ascribe deterministic gender terms to fishy here. Their race may not even have gender, biologically or culturally. Oh, uh, sorry. Yes. Sorry, fishy. It just feels unfair saying it. Perhaps when Fishy wakes up, we'll be able to exchange theories about the formation of gender identity and its sociological impact. No doubt it'd give us some fascinating insights into the anthropological and biological imperatives of their society. But is... are they going to be okay? Let me see. Essential life signs seem stable. Surface moisture looks acceptable. Keep an eye on them. If they look to be drying out, give them a spritz. And what do we do next? <laughs> Just let me think for a minute. Should I go get more help? Let's not be hasty about telling anyone else yet. There are all kinds of ways someone, namely Allwater, could get this all so very wrong. Makes sense. There would be so many questions. You'd never be able to concentrate. Exactly. All those things will get in the way of us taking good care of this. Yes. Yes, and when they wake up, it's all going to feel pretty scary. We'll do what we can do. We just need to keep them safe until I can finish conducting the tests. I mean, you know, health tests. What about keeping the secret in the storage room? I could keep the boxes in my room. Hmm. Yes. Proximity to the lab. Humid environment. No other access. Yes, that should be suitable. Good idea. Let's move them in there. Gosh, I'm no expert, but they look really poorly. Don't worry, Harold. You did well to bring them to me promptly. They're in the right hands. Now, let me concentrate. Okay, I'll get to clearing up the storage room. What if they need to be in water, though? An alien fish. I wonder if they'll be able to talk. Are you really going to make me, like, one by one? move things really Harold one box at a time we can't come on there's no way 
<laughs> There's no way it's going to really make me do this. Like, get a bigger box. Oh, hello? What's this? Oh. Oh. Tetris. Okay. Swing that onto there. Nice. Another one. Oh. Um, Harold. idea what that was. That seemed like a really weird cut. Like, why was I suddenly grabbed by a robot? But I'll take it. Oh. Storage room decluttered. I wonder if some of the stuff was, like, too hard to animate or they didn't have a set for it, because it also felt like a weird cut that we didn't see us picking up the fish guy... Sorry, fish... them... And bringing it to, like, the doctor, it was just suddenly we were there. Like, it was like an odd cut, you know? Okay, I think I'm done with the box room. Wait, let's move them in there. Harold, can you get that? Hold it up and put it on speakerphone for me. Will do. Enjoy your new home, Fishy. This is Maro. No, it's Cyrus. What? Cyrus? I'm Maro. Yes, I was trying to call you. You've succeeded, perhaps unfortunately. Yes, well, just for once, listen to what I have to say. I'm listening. Good. You sound faint, though. Am I on speakerphone? Yes, I don't have time to stand still every time you need me, Cyrus. What is it? So, Slippy is here. One moment I was all alone working on the hydrofusion coefficient machinations and thinking how interesting it was that... Sigh. I really do hate to interrupt you, but not as much as I hate not interrupting you. You were saying about Slippy? Yes, well, the next moment he was here. He's rootling around, asking me all kinds of questions I don't want to answer. Can't you come and, I don't know, scare him off? I'll see what I can do. Give me five minutes. Okay. See you soon, I guess. Thanks. What was that? Nothing. Bye. Hmm. Harold, as you've heard, I've got to go and babysit. I've taken a blood sample from Fishy. Can you rush it to the pharmacy? Get it analyzed, then get some suitable transfusion based on the results. Can do. I'll go right away. Is it looking okay for now? Just fine. It's stable, and hopefully the results will help us with the missing pieces of this little Fishy puzzle. I hope so. Thanks, Professor. Good luck. You'd be like, I don't want to run errands. I want to stay with the alien fish that we discovered. And perfectly on schedule, we might add. What do we have? Deliver the blood sample to the pharmacy in the utility district. The social district has reopened. Please do not all try to go at once. Thank you for your understanding. New districts have opened. Was that the out of order one? It was the social one. Well, where's the utility district? Do I have to go to central for that? All water compliments you on your choice of destination. Trying to work out London tubes be like. Oh, Piccadilly. We get oh, there it is. VIP one. Travel in style with all water. The next stop is Piccadilly. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just they think Piccadilly is like. And all water will make it up to you. A hilarious name. It's like those meme TikToks of like what people think British places are like, but literally like it is, you know. Off to Piccadilly. 
Oh, wait. That's the... Uh, oh, no. Sonny's here. Pharmaceuticals. Hi, Sonny. Harold! Well, hello. It's been a while. So how's life after Sonny? What have you got for me? Oh, it's... Uh, different. Are we exes? But okay. Uh, same old. Uh, just this you... Uh, j <laughs> and just this... Can you run an analysis? I mean, an, an... I don't know, no. An analysis. <laughs> same old Harold. Sure thing. Hand it over and I'll take it for a ride in the QT. Uh, the what now? The QT. The quick test, silly. Uh, yeah. So... You still hanging out with my dad? Yeah, sometimes. Same old Cyrus, huh? Reckon the QT will be much longer? It only takes a minute. How long has it been? Like a few seconds at the most. It only takes anyway, a minute, Anyway, don't you have something you want to ask me? Um, okay. What have you been up to since then? Oh, I must stop you there, Harold. Looks don't like the QT's all done. Let me just see... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm sure it's nothing. Really, just... I'll be going. Hey, not so fast, Sonny Jim. This sample has definitely been taken from something odd, cool, or on a very radical cocktail of drugs. Spill the beans. I really can't. I have to get back. <laughs> to your new alien friend? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> nothing like that. Just uh, an experimental fish. Cyrus. Cyrus made a new fish. But it lost some blood when uh, it accidentally got its fin trapped in a filter. Ah, oh, Dad is always so boring about hybridization theory. I don't even want to know. So, you need an aquatic craniate blood replacement, huh? Yes, exactly. It's a valuable specimen. And... It was kind of my fault. I'm thinking a solution of granulocytes and sodium chloride rich plasma should do the trick. I think we've got some left in the cooler. Yep, here we go. Thank you, Sonny. No worries. Peace. Peace. What else is here? Pick up and delivery. Poppy, poppy the poppy the post. Oh, that's it. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. It only takes a minute, girl, to fall in love, to fall in love. Back to central. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water chips. I mean, if it if it takes a minute, you need ther you need therapy. You've arrived. It's a lot to unpack there. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Let's go uh, bother this kid that showered at me. But with Felix, I think. Can't quite see from here. Oh, they're asleep. Can't do nothing. I wanted them to be like, stranger danger. Um, let's get this, the blood back to the lab. I do want to check out the social, but I assume it'll be a mission that will send me there. Enjoy Very the view. assuredly. You have arrived. This is Piccadilly. Please mind the gap. Please mind the gap. That's what you hear on the tube all the time. Because you're an idiot and you're going to fall in the gap. You're not looking where you're going. Please mind the gap. I mean, it's weird, isn't it? That Good evening, everyone. Please remember, the all-water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. That it has to say that, but not in a way that it actually thinks we're going to fall in, but in a way that if someone does fall in, it can say, well, we did say, please mind the gap. You know? We told him. Um. Hello? Fish person? Okay, let's get you rehydrated. Ah. Oh. Fishy, Sunny is so tiring. Why does she need to know everything? And why does she make it so hard to answer? I should just ignore her or make stuff up. 
She's so clever, but she doesn't really listen anyway. Does she even care what I've been doing? I know. I'll bombard her with questions. She won't expect that. I'll ask her what she really found out after years of traveling. Or I'll ask her what she ever saw in me. Aw, Harold. Or I'll ask her whether she's finally impressed now that I've discovered a new species. Well, maybe not that. <clears throat> anyway, enough about me. How are you doing? How are you finding that new blood? Too bad you can't tell me. But by tomorrow morning, we should know. Right. Time to get some sleep. Night fishy. They seem exceedingly chill about this, but I suppose, you know, that us and our ancestors for 200 plus years have been hurtling through space and then here for a while discovering all kinds of new species and things like the fact that we said oh yeah he like made a new species of fish she didn't really bat an eye at that you know so it's what exciting but also i can't believe this is happening not crazy and to me I guess. tomorrow i'll get those antibiotics and i won't let sunny get to me right or it's just Harold night, night, being night. Harold that he, you know, night fishy lacks enthusiasm outwardly. Surely there's going to be a time skip somewhere, and we're not really going to play 88 days worth. Not a chance. Check on Fishy. How are you doing? Hello again, my alien fish butt. Let's see how you're doing. Fish butt? Oh. Not so good, huh? You're starting to run a temperature. Maybe the solution was wrong. Or something is infected? Or maybe you need some special kind of fishy food. I'm guessing the stuff Cyrus makes isn't going to work on you. If this temperature keeps up, I'm going to need to... Trat. That means another trip to see Sunny and her questions. I promise you, I won't get so flustered by her this time, though. Stay calm, Harold. It's just Sunny. You don't have to worry about impressing her anymore. You see, Fishy? I'm okay, aren't I? You're a good listener. Maybe that's why. I wonder if you can hear me. Not that you'd understand me. Maybe the sound of my voice is calming. Or terrifying. Oh god, I hope I'm not freaking you out and you can't tell me to stop. Twitch if I'm freaking you out! Okay, good. Uh, off I go. What about the air con if they're too hot? He kept saying how cold that was. Okay, I guess we gotta... Ask Sunny for help. For the fish person. Your first thought would 100% be they need to be in water, right? Where were they? Utility, right? Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. And a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for I'm choosing sleeping. to travel with us today. The guy with the tickets is just like, what is this guy doing? Back Destination and forth, back and Now, relax with All Water. I wonder what that candle one is. You're here. Thank you for choosing All Water Tubes. Deep breaths, Harold. You've got this. Um... Sunny? I need some antibiotics. Uh, what for? Me? Oh, yes, your strange life form. <clears throat> How's the condition of it? 
Has it undergone any unexpected metamorphosis? Uh, um, not that I've noticed. It really is just a fish and... Displays of aposmatism? Not lately. Sonny, I don't have long. C- can you please just... I'm not just supposed to hand these out, you know. I know, but the professor and it has a fever. Hmm, well, take these. They should reduce temperatures and fever symptoms. And I hope you get better soon. Not that you should be taking fish medication. I appreciate it. <clears throat> so, what are you reading? Oh, this? It's the new novel from Montmorency Spangler from the Physical Expression District. It's an allegorical treatise on the Fedoran post-scarcity politics. Is it good? You know, it's better than his last one. Oh, Harold, we should start a book club. Um, maybe? Anyway, I'd better get back. Yes, yes, do keep me posted, Harold. For old time's sake. Thanks, Sonny. I will. They seem to like us. <clears throat> that poster on the wall of the um, plant stuff. I was thinking I kind of want to know what plants are what when I'm looking at them with my walks. With it being spring, I'm sort of seeing plants. I'm like, what is this? I feel like I'm going to have to Location get like a little book or a guide. Journey commencing. And then Water, thanking you. you'll have to like look it up, you know? Thank you for traveling with all water. Because I've been doing that with sort of the birds and the ducks. Like a total nerd. <laughs> and I want to do it with the flowers. Uh, lab district. All water. Moving people every day. I bet there's an app where you can like point your camera at the flower and we it probably goes, This is a bluebell. You're welcome. Daffodil. I kind of want to learn little facts about them. This is how you know you're getting old, by the way. This is a thing that just happens. For all you young and watching, you reach a certain age and you're like, I need information and knowledge and I need it now. This is why all the old people you know are like sat watching World War documentaries and stuff. Like people just reach that age where they're like, what did happen in 1942? I'll just sit and watch a seven hour series on it. I need to know. Or start looking at flowers and going, what is that? What does it mean? What's its place in folklore and history? Hi, Fishy. I've got something for that temperature of yours. <clears throat> Sticky situation you're in, huh? Choose your obsession, I guess. Let's hope these do the trick. You might be an alien, but how different can you be? Can't be as different as me and Sonny. <laughs> At least I managed to ask her a question or two this time. And I don't think she suspects that you're in anything more than a strange experiment of Cyrus that I've somehow got involved with. I guess the fact that she doesn't trust me to do anything too exciting has come in handy for once. I'll check on you soon, pal. I really want to know if this alien's going to be able to talk. I I'm going to guess no. It's kind of going to be like uh, through... It would be sort of more powerful for it to be like transcending language, right? Hey Harold, Bridget here. There's a little something I don't quite have the energy for that I'm positive you could help me with if you catch my drift. Come see me in the energy harvest. Sample's been prepared. Oh wait, no, hang on. Captain Zoya. I'm at the Agora Game Arcade if anyone wants to play or hang out. Zoya Baronhound. So our main task is to help Bridget, and there's also the arcade. Okay. Well, let's go to energy. I want to keep this train rolling. I don't know how long the game is, but I, I don't want to get too distracted by side stuff. I do want to just focus on the story like we're playing a movie, you know? Just hanging out, talking about it. Having these little chats and stories in between. Um, what's actually been kind of compelling, as slow as it has been, I'm into it. I'm really enjoying it. Water compliments you on your choice of destination. 
So we'll see if it can... I mean, I feel like it's only going to get more interesting when it's the alien wake, so... Get you where you're going. Welcome. Please submit to a gentle disinfecting. Close your eyes. Oh. Are you going to... Procedure will begin in three... Two... Thought I was going to get a little disinfectant ASMR there. Close your eyes. Huh? I'm sure you two will figure it out together. <clears throat> Play nice. Ah, oh, Harold, what are you doing here? Just walking by. What's up? I was just leaving Slippy and Cyrus to get on with things. Shouldn't you be looking after Fishy? Am doing. Do you want to keep your voice down? Your crone? Thanks for swinging by, Harold. You remember the drill? Yep. What's the test we're doing this time? It's basically the same procedure as last time, but we're adding two new variables that Cyrus suggested, in the hopes they'll have a positive influence on the bacteria's energy output. Great. What were Cyrus's variables? Playing music to them and giving them some sugar. Before you say anything, I know, I know, but Cyrus has measured both as having positive effects on his herbs, so why not, eh? Herb, <laughs> this bacteria is lucky to get so many treats. Yes, well, I'm not sure they have much awareness of enjoyment, but fingers crossed. Oh, before I forget, there are two new buttons on the console. Got it. Ready when you are. Is that like a little dig at Harold, like, or some sort of symbolism because he doesn't really have any enjoyment? <laughs> He's like a bacteria. He's a little plant life. Okay, start preparing everything like last time. We'll start with the sugar test. Chop it, coat it, and then put some sugar on it. I'll let you know once I'm ready. The... Sh wait for the sugar? Or just, like, stop any of them? Nice one. Now, on to the next step. Why are you suddenly so loud? Sugar. Now! Wrong order! <laughs> Chop first, coat second. Sorry. Now! Great! Time to coat the sample. Wrong order. You said sugar. Top first, coat second. I did. Now? Harold, how much smaller are you intending to chop it? Well, you told me to... Now coat it. Okay. In this stuff? Now the sugar. Okay. Great, now for the next one, this time with music. Okay. Um, did you mean to stop the conveyor belt there? I did, you, you didn't say that they had to be red. Okay, great, on to the next step. And if you did, I didn't hear you. Now! Great! Time to coat the sample! Now turn the music on! I did the thing. Knew I could count on you, Harold. We're all done. For now. Join me back in the control room, and let's have a look at the results. Okie dokie. Science. I'm a scientist. Okay, are we all done? Yes, thank you so much, Harold. I mean, neither classical music or sugar or talking softly to the bacteria per Cyrus's plant-based advice helped its mitosis ratio, but it still helped me narrow down a few variables and factors. Ah, good. Glad I could help. You know, Harry, you've helped me a lot recently. 
Let me treat you to dinner. Oh, it's okay. I just try to be helpful. No, I insist. How about some nice fusion food at that new place? Well, it would be nice to eat somewhere other than the fish, fish, fish hut for once. Okay, it's settled. I'll meet you there tomorrow evening. I'll ping you in exact time later. Great. Thanks, Bridget. See you then. Have you tried playing The Plants, a podcast of softly spoken stories? Time to sleep. Man, maybe really, really are going to live through 80 days. <laughs> Inspecting. I like this, my favorite one. Inspecting. 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 Travel in style with all water. What if we wake up and the aliens just on our bed? Just straddle us. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact just your a fishy nearest alien button. looking down at you as you your wake up in the middle of the night. It oh. It's gills just <laughs> waving at you. Remember, the shortly be closing for the night. Get snug, not stranded. Can I check on them? How are you holding up, champ? Ah, same old, same old, you say? Well, hang in there. Anyway, good night. I'll be back to check on you in the morning. Don't go anywhere before then. Kind of cute that it's like it's an ill kid. Hey, champ. How you doing, kiddo? Good? All right, I'll check on you in the morning. Mm -mm -mm. You know my Patreon has a shop for digital audio. I'm just saying. Many things have crossed my mind to sell on there. <laughs> what a day. Poor fishy. They'll pull through though. I know it. But does Sunny suspect? Probably not. She's too wrapped up in her own world and whatever crazy new idea she's reading about next. I'm cruising for snoozing. Patreon.com slash down to sleep, by the way. Just in case you thought it was a mad morph thing. Caring father tucks you in whilst you're ill. ASMR. What's his poster? Looks like it's sort of the solar system or something. But like that, it's not our one. How you doing, fishy? Hmm. No change. I'm no expert, but I think they'd have kicked in by now. Like when I got so sick after secretly eating that filter fish. Ugh, those were bad times. Never been able to look at fish the same way again. Must be something else we can try. Should I ask Moreau? No, she's too busy. Sunny? Oh, fishy, can't you just get better right now so I don't have to go see her again? I mean, I will. For you. I gotta go see Sunny again. Oh my god. Oh, okay. We are really in the back and forth thing that they joked about at the beginning of the game now, aren't we? About running back and forth, back and forth. But I guess without that, if you think about it, without the running back and forth, what are we really doing? You know? It is kind of an interactive movie in that way. Uh, central. Destination chosen. We 
hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. And again, not mad at it because I get to talk to you in the in-between, but one of those you things where if you're playing on your own, you're like, Can oh you my god, just send me leaving. that. Utility District. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. It's hard to tell sometimes what it's like you to enjoy arrived. games without the talking in between because I, I don't play a lot of games without recording it now. We hope you travel with us again soon. It's kind of rare that I'll sit and just play something just for me. Hello again again. Hey, Sonny. Listen, those... Still struggling with your secret life form and or bizarre personal health issue? Yeah, a bit. I mean, the life form. You know, Harold, there's no shame in admitting you need help. I mean, sometimes it's a spiritual illness. Sonny, I'm sorry, I can't tell you. But it's urgent. Didn't the antibiotics work? They didn't seem to. Nothing works like it should with this. Hmm, well, I'm not a doctor or a vet, but there's one other thing we could try. Does your pet have antimicrobial proteins, any autoimmune disorder, or any kind of history of compromised transferring levels? Uh, it's hard to say. Harold, think. I can prescribe this floxifen, but it'll only work on a totally non-compromised immune system. I get it, but I want to try. It might help. Okay, are you sure you're sure? I mean, I also have isoderm, which is similar, but it's really dangerous to use on anything with high histamine levels. Ah, uh, um... Just take a minute to think carefully. I'd hate for anything to go wrong. Oh my gosh, I have to choose? We can't just dose this thing up. We don't know what, the, what, it, what it is. Would it have high histamine? Histamine. On a fish. Floxifin. Isogerm. I feel like it might have a compromised immune thing. I go with the histamine. It sounds... Um, let's try the isogerm. That sounds safest. Okay, Harold. Here you go. Let me know how it all goes. Hmm. Will do. Thanks again, Sonny. I don't know. Why am I a doctor? Destination I'm just a handyman. Have a pleasant journey. A simple Have handyman. A, fantastic day. a jazz handyman. Skip it up 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 up. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Destination determined. To the lab. Now, relax with all water. Actual runtime of the game You're without here. running around. Thank yeah, you for choosing all water tubes. I mean, Harold getting those steps in. You know, walking's really good for you. And just on the daily, he is getting those steps in. He's going to be shredded. Let me jump. Professor? Ah, Harold, just in time. Hold this, would you? Sure, but... Oh, what is that? It's just a swab. Samples are important. Important to us or them? One and the same. I know you're feeling protective of Fishy here, but the more we know, the better. Hmm. So what will that Fishy swab tell us? Understanding of their biology could shed light on our own human physiology. Mm. Advance philosophy. Tell us how alien life came to be. Oh, okay. That does sound kind of cool. I just hope it tells us how they're feeling, too. Knowledge is power, Harold. Keep an eye on them. I'll be back soon. Roger. Hey, Fishy. Moreau is a bit obsessed, but I'm sure she won't forget about making you better. And I'll be helping for all the good that will do you. Hang in there, buddy. Okay, let's see if these help. The things I do for you, Mr. Fishy. Well, 
Sunny was confusing as ever. Do I miss her? No, not really, but you know, we had some good times. She taught me a few things. Oh, about life and stuff, I guess, and what culture is. Do you have someone special? Do your kind even have special people? I wonder if you all look the same, or feel emotions. I wonder what it'd be like to not feel emotions. Harold! Huh? Oh, Professor! Oh, beeping! Professor! What are their vitals? Uh, very squiggly. I... What's happened here? Speak clearly now. I, I just... I'm sorry. The antibiotics weren't working, so I went to see Sunny, and she asked me a bunch of weird questions, and then gave me something else to try on them, and... What did she give you? It was... I think she said it was called Fluxiderm? Did she mention antimicrobial proteins or histamine levels? Yes, those things. Okay. Well, there's no such thing as Fluxiderm, but I think I know what we're dealing with. It was Fluxa, or a germ, something. Oh, Harold, move. It's going to be okay. Just let me... Okay, they're going into anaphylactic shock. Harold, there should be some adrenaline on the shelf. Hand it to me quickly. Okay, this should stabilize them. Professor, fishy, I'm so sorry. Harold, I know you were just trying to help, but fishy isn't a duct or a filter you can just whack around until it works again. I know, I know. Harold. Look. You told me enough information for us to save them. No harm done, it seems. Fishy is stabilizing. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, Professor. There's no point in beating yourself up, Harold. You live and learn. Go and settle your nerves. Yeah. Okay. Harold's just a bit simple, I'll try. isn't he? Bless him. Harold, time for that dinner we talked about. Maybe at the arcades at the second level plaza. Bring your appetite. We're gonna go have dinner with Bridget. Isn't she with um that guy? Guess it's just a friendly dinner. You could at least change your shirt, Harold. And leave the tool belt. Soundtrack. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. I have a hot water bottle between my thighs and it just feels so good. Thank you for traveling with all oh, water. It's so cold tonight. That is nice. Up to the second level. Professor Moreau. Some pesky troublemaking youths left more graffiti on the lab wall. Clean it off. Is that an optional? Because going to dinner. Welcome to Water Wieners. Sorry. I bet you've never seen a meaner wiener. Excuse me. Hello there. No, I haven't. They look great. How long have you been here? Oh, I'm not sure. I just live for the day. But I'm here now. After a long tour of all the culinary innovation the Fedora has to offer. Oh, cool. So what made you decide on wieners? An astute question, my curious Epicurean friend. I have concluded that wieners and their accompanying toppings and trimmings are the most perfect balance between taste, convenience and nutrition. Oh, wow. Okay. By the way, you look familiar. Are you related to the Allwater Secretaries by any chance? By blood, yes. That's about where the relation ends. So, which wiener will you be wanting? I'm about to go to dinner. I feel like um, the All Secretaries thing is probably a plot point, but also a really smart way of avoiding from having to make even more puppets because if everything is handmade then that one puppet can serve for all of these characters for the staff rather than having to make um so many 
But then there's loads of others, so maybe not. Everyone else seems to be pretty unique. Ah, Harold, there you are. Look, I got us the best table in the house. Oh, hey, Bridget. <clears throat> Thanks, it looks tasty here. Sit down, sit down, come on. What are you having? I hear the fish is very good. Which fish? Actually, I'm not sure I feel like fish anymore. Oh, you had a bad experience with it? Um, kind of. So, Harry, how's life been treating you? Uh, you know, keeping fishy. What? Uh, you know, keeping busy. Okay, that's good to know. Moreau treating you well? Sure, she's very Moreau. Yes, Thoreau should be her middle name. No, no, I said she's very Moreau, like, she doesn't change much. But that's nice, too. Ah, yes. I've always admired that about her. Does she have a real middle name? I don't think so. But when I was younger, I thought it was Jeanne and that her first name was Professor. <laughs> Adorable. Anyway, if you do ever want a change of pace, you can always come and work for me, you know? Like a little sabbatical. Oh, thank you. If I ever get the time, that'd be fun. You like algae, right? Is that on the menu here? Nope. At least, I hope not. You know, actually, I did kind of make a mistake. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I mean, that I did something dumb recently. Silly mistake, but it could have been really serious. We all make them, Harold. I mean, look at Felix. Um... Oh god. No, I, I don't mean he was a mistake. He's just a bit... wayward. But that's probably my... I mean, our fault. I just sometimes wish I could know more about stuff. Ah, uh, knowing stuff is overrated. You think you know <laughs> something, then it's wrong in another context. Or you realize you were looking at the wrong thing, and before you know it, you're an all-water energy consultant. But how often do you do things that could be dangerous? I work with energy, so all the time. But there's a difference between knowing loads and being wise. So being wise is... I think it's being kind and knowing what you don't know. And seeing deeper than just what something appears to be. Hmm. You know, everyone can make mistakes. But not everyone can learn from them. Mm. Thank you, Bridget. If we're not winning, what are we doing? The learning. We keep going. you can get hit and keep moving forward that's how winning is done passage of time montage how long has it been Then we're going to wake up and it'll be like 10 days till time or something. Cute. Man, soundtrack is great, honestly. <gasps> What's it going to be? Oh. It was a week? Was it? Room's a mess, man. Clean your room, clean your mind. Hmm. Gigantic energy implications if handled correctly. Exposed to the right level of radiation. Hmm. Or oh, heat activation potential. Hmm. Uh, Professor? Yes, Harold, yes. These glowing particles I swabbed from fish's skin might not be that spectacular on their own but they do have their own kind of beauty. You see? 
Please slow down. I don't see it all. You will, when you inspect them under a microscope. They seem to give off an inner light, and since I've been looking, it's not dimmed at all. So, they're a light source? More than that. They might be our miracle, our only hope of relaunching on time. Whoa, so they're a power source. Quite so. Light is an energy, so I thought about testing their effect on our bacteria cultures. Watch this. Look, when the particles interact, the cultures undergo massive mitosis and give off enough radiation. Ah, it's growing. It's going to outgrow the dish. What if it never stops growing? <laughs> Not to worry, it does. And you can, uh, discourage the growth, like so. Ah. Whew. Okay, that's very cool, but isn't it dangerous? Only if someone much less meticulous than I tried the same little experiment wrong. Ha! <laughs> yes, you'd be chasing down rogue bacteria for hours. So keep this to yourself for now. You don't have to ask me twice. So, the particles clearly have fantastic proportional kinetic potential at even a moderate temperature. And crucially, their rate of radiation is highly regulated. Now we need to know more. Okay, well, soon as Fishy is awake again, I'll ask. See that you do. Now, let's get over to the arcades. We don't want to miss the new start procedure presentation. Why do I feel like chasing down rogue bacteria is in my future? Assembled Fedorans, it is my almost incalculable pleasure to introduce these two demonstrations today. Each will explore a different potential relaunch procedure in model form, giving you all a realistic look at the science behind it all. Not that it will affect our decision on which to prioritize in any way, but please do cheer for your favorite. Without further ado, please welcome Cyrus, Soleil, and his representative computer model simulation of the factors involved in a relaunch to the stage. Okay, hi everyone, thanks uh, for coming, I mean, to watch this presentation. Uh, there's a lot of science, so I thought I'd just show you the computer model. <clears throat> so, uh, here it goes. Ah, clonks and dances. A vortex. Oh, yes. Contagenic clonk scale. Rocket. This is not supposed to. Uh, but you see, in a way, this proves the importance of considering every angle. And with just a few calibrations, Boo. I'm sure. That's quite enough, Cyrus. Thank you. Moving swiftly on. Slipmeyer, will you please present Blow and Go to the audience, please? Absolutely, Madam CEO. Please witness the future of Fedora. A launch plan not just to the stars, but for the superstars you all are. Side note, he looks like the dad in Lake when he played the Lake DLC. He looks just like him. Putting trust in humanity's dreams for hope. Ginger. In partnership with All Water Corp, making life flow. And sponsored by Slippy's Winter Sports Goods. Chill times all year round. The Fedora, our home, trapped together, all of us, underwater, but no more. It's time we grabbed Destiny with both hands and say, Destiny, meet Project Flow and Go. We begin by rolling up our sleeves for some good old fashioned hard work, starting with making the Fedora whole again. Once we're back in one piece, and good as new, apart from a few seaweed stains and a little rust, we'll utilize the awesome power of Slippy's patented aircon technology to freeze the ocean water around the base of the fedora. Why? 
Well, did you know ice is 9% denser than water? That's what makes those ice cubes float on the top of your soda. Are you catching on? Here comes the kicker. The giant ice flow attached to the fedora will rise up from the depths and help us go back into the atmosphere. Once we're airborne again, we'll have to say goodbye to our flow, but we'll never forget it and reignite not just our thrusters, but also our hopes and dreams. The stars await. Let Slippies and the Fedora, powered by Slippies Aircon technology, take you there. Well, I think it's fair to say the people have spoken. But I thought you said it wasn't a vote. It's not. I just happen to agree with them. I'm not convinced your uh, model is quite up to the rigorous standards we need. Slip Meyer's model shows a lot of vision and attention to detail. It didn't show any attention to detail that matters, just sparkles and... I think it's best we um put a freeze on your project, Cyrus. I'm sure you have much more important things to do for the station. No hard feelings, eh, Cryus? Mmm, no, it's... Wait, what did you call me? We all want what's best for the fedora, eh? Wish me luck! I mean, I was kind of sold. It was hmm. a pretty fun little flashy Something video. Something's afoot. Too many things that don't add up. And you know how I hate bad arithmetic. Right. Like why my model failed. And why all water went with a patently observed option. And why the tube fares keep going up. Yes, and why... Wait, Harold, I really don't think that part is connected. And why did they want us to keep going without letting us know about Slippy? Now that I think about it, there was something weird about his presentation. Yeah, 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 he seemed even more infuriatingly self-important than ever. Okay, name-calling isn't going to get us anywhere. Let's look at the facts. There's the energy shortage that Bridget told me about. We know which star procedure is most popular, even though it'll never work. Oh, maybe they're they planning on that. Hmm. Are you positing a secret all-water plan, shielded by a deliberately untenable public one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, you mean Slippy's right? Yes, I mean Slippy's, but yours is clearly missing something too. I, I know, but the foundations are sound. I just need to pinpoint what went wrong. Did you double-check the velocity correction? Uh, of course, but the power differential... Yes, yes, I know, but that doesn't mean anything without a variable energy diffusal. So you keep saying, but unless we run the model enough times, if I could just... All models are false, so... All very good and well to say, but we oh, have Harold. to base our tests on like, something. Huh? A waste of huh? time without more information first. We'd be the blind leading the... Every new step opens up new vistas. What is that huh? supposed to mean? That if we just... Meet start, us in the toilet. We'll have more information with the which to... I don't know why you're bringing philosophy into this. It's a matter for science. Hey, philosophy is a science of the mind. Well, do you mind focusing on the science of... Yeah, the variable energy diffusal. Hey, can yes, you guys? Yes, I'm trying to read my messages, and you're rabbiting on in my ear in a most unpleasant fashion. Thank you. Hola, Harold. I've been thinking long and hard about what you asked me last time, and I've made my mind up. The cutest fish is a splendid speckle belly. Hey, Harry. Just thinking about your ill friend, sending them positive vibes. Harold, it was great to see you again. Been too long. Don't be a stranger. Oh, these are all texts from Sonny. Okay. Cyrus says, did I leave my oscillator at the lab? Shea says, Shea, how have you been? What's new? Moreau says, I notice you still haven't fixed the leaky tap like I asked you to. Okay, well, let's go to the toilets and find out who... But light keepers are. With great power comes great responsibility. Okay, Spider-Man. I'm not gonna clean that off. Who is it? Psst. Ha! Ah! Who? What? Don't panic. I'm a friend. Well, friends shouldn't scare other friends. What's this all about? Can you go into the shower and close the door? This is a strictly off-the-record conversation. Okay, I'm in. What's happening here? Okay, okay. Listen. 
We need a man we can trust. Who is we? Oh, right. Yeah, the Light Keepers. What? The Light Keepers? Uh, yeah, that's us. Whoa. So, how many of you are there? Well, it's just me in here. But, I mean, there are lots of Light Keepers. We are Legion. I'm one of them. An important one. Wow. So, how do you know you can trust me? I mean, you can, but how did you know that... I guess you have eyes and ears everywhere, secret informants and... and... Yeah, all of that stuff. You can recommend it by a secret source. Right. Wow. Okay. So, what do you need? What we need is proof. All water are planning something. We know it. We just can't prove it yet. Yes. How can I get proof? I am not very actually a uh, detective. Actually? When? Oh, just listen. The shaft above here leads to the CEO's office. But we know there's going to be an important meeting happening there shortly. Ah, uh, yes, that shaft is freezing. Thanks to Slippy's new and improved AC. We know, but we planned around it. First, you'll need to procure a small camera. Our intel has narrowed the location of one down to Moreau's lab. You'll need to distract her, steal the camera, and make it back to us undetected. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. Good. Time is of the essence. Meet me back here as soon as you have the goods. <laughs> Will do. How do you know about the meeting, by the way? <clears throat> A network of hidden informants? Ah, uh, no. We just snooped in the CEO's diary during one of our open-door policy days. Oh, okay. I suppose I'd better get to it. God speeds the briefish. Wow, I get a call name? Yes, and good luck. I feel like it's the kid, right? Because they know about the tunnels and the vents and everything. And they kind of like, when we did that little story time with each other and we were like, and then da 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 da, and like making it sound all cool. Are they still arguing? Looking for something, Harold? Uh, um, uh, I am looking for the, you know, the little video camera. Ah, uh, yes. The Pentasonic Mark II. If you say so. Have you seen it? Of course I have. What you mean is, do I know where it is now? Yes. Do you? No. Ah. I really need a professor. I'm too busy to help you rummage around. Anyway, didn't you have it last? Oh, did I? I'll check in my room. I'm sure it's not in there, though. All models are full, so... All very good and well to say, but we have to base our tests on something. Look for the camera. Hmm. Let's take a better look at this doodad. Oh, Doodad. Doodah. The camera. Excellent. Oh, that was easy. The variable energy diffusal. Yes, yes, I know. Then why can't we model it first? She said all models are wrong. Turn of phrase. Love the Spider-Man movies. Okay, here you go. Let's see. Yes. Perfect. Let me just make a few quick modifications. Uh, what's all this? Model cam. Huh? What's it going to do? Mobile secret reconnaissance, of course. Come on, let's get going. We don't want to miss anything important. Okay, so what should I do with it? Start by placing it in the shaft. Then you'll need to use the remote controls to navigate it to the CEO's office. Then you'll need to find a good view to record it all from, drive it back out of the shaft and into our welcoming arms, all in the name of truth. Right. Okay. I think I can do that. You don't want to drive? Uh, uh, I would, but uh, I'm not so good with remote spatial awareness, and, you know, someone like you has experience with control panels. Oh, well, if you're sure. Righto, Motocam. Let's take you for a drive. Wouldn't you so, like, peek 
and just like see who it is. I so would. Oh, this is cool. I love all the little mini game stuff. And it just looks great. It's so smooth. Careful, little mouse. You roadkill. Careful. Cute man. Okay, Madam CEO, I'll be going now. Yes, I believe you shall. Godspeed, Slipmire. Godspeed. Slip yes. Is that Dr. Computer? What? It's me, Castle Chop. The password. Oh, for goodness sake, must I? Okay, fine. It's Kutsu Hung Shiny Prize. I'm just calling to say you may commence stage D as discussed. Do you have everything you need? Hmm. Very well. Keep me in the loop. Time is of the essence. Yes, yes, okay, okay. Goodbye, Doctor, and don't let me or the fedora down. Doctor. Right here. Eight R three M N four. Open. <gasps> oh, hello, my lovelies. Listen to your beautiful purring. So nearly a perfect harmony, but just missing that one last voice. I'll find you one eventually, wherever you are. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, gee. What can you see? Don't shut me out here. I'll tell you later. You gotta get to the lab. Slippery fish, wait. What about the mission? Uh, wait, wait. What did you see? Wait, do I do I need to debrief? They're like I don't know. No, I gotta go. Sorry. Ah. Professor, sigh. Oh hey Harold. What's got you more jumpy than a caffeinated frog, hmm? Wait till you see this. I'll just get it hooked up. Okay, I'm waiting. Phase D? Dr. Computer? This opens a whole box of questions. And if you ask me, it's more of a parcel of intrigue. I wasn't and won't be asking you. Anyway. Only one thing is for certain in all this mess. We must continue with the alternative start sequence post haste. How on Fedora did you get this, Harold? It's a long story, but it all started when I... I'm sure you were very heroic, but it can wait. We've got to act fast. And we should be careful who we trust. Quite so. In fact, Cyrus, I think you should continue your work in the small room downstairs. It's out of sight and should have what you need. Okay. The really small one? Don't whine. Anyway, I have to see Bridget to tell her about all of this. Harold, can you take the box of computer stuff downstairs for Cyrus? We'll do. Great. Okay, everyone, let's get on with it. Bring the box to Cyrus. Wait, which one? Maybe downstairs here? Ah. 
Hmm, but if that equals x minus 1, what about... But that would change the square of... Um, Psy? Hmm? Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hmm. I've got this box of computer stuff for you. Oh. Uh, thanks, Harold. Uh, just put it on the table. Sure you don't need me to stick my screwdriver in anything? Hmm? What? No, no, I think it's fine. I was just... Remember when... Anyway, what are you working on? Well, this place isn't exactly my usual setup. I need to expand the filter station control system with these parts. Then I can run the tests I need and access the thrusters. Drat, this is going to be tricky. Different gens of Servotech. The old Fedora firewall is blocking me out so that the connections might not talk properly to each other. Oh no, that'd be lonely. Yeah. Reckon you could go ask Rafi if they can help open a few ports and maybe disable the firewall? I've not a moment to lose. Sure. What should I tell them? Uh, just that I need their system protocol expertise. Appeal to their vanity? Can do. Back soon. <laughs> Ask Rafi for help. Beetle. In the arcade, disable the firewall. All right. Back and forth we go. Back, back and forth and forth. Back, back and forth and forth. Arcade. All water. Moving people every day. <clears throat> Wonder if that goop keeps you young. Good for the skin. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. All right. It feels kind of wrong going through there on the left. I feel like I'm going in the wrong place. Should be going on the right. And exiting on the left. Sorry, wrong shop. Rafi. Rafi? What is it now? Cyrus needs help with some pretty important research. So I came to ask, is there any chance you could help disable a firewall for him? It's stopping him from accessing the systems he needs. For the research. Could you be any less specific uh no but of course i know what you mean anyway oh how i mean great so you'll help afraid not any system cyrus is struggling to access is old that stuff isn't my responsibility anymore i know but it'd be a huge favor plus messing with that might have knock-on effects might even mess with my cabinets here oh I see. Well, um, any tips for doing it ourselves? Have you tried turning it on and off again? Oh, I'll suggest it. Thanks anyway, Rafi. <laughs> like, the captain's right there listening to us talking about... ...firewalls and stuff. What's happening here? Performance. A mime. Fun fact, young me used to go to a mime festival. Not by choice, my dad took me along, but I always liked mimes and clowns and things like that. It was all kinds of uh, different performances. Cirque de Slay kind of things and Slava Snow Show and all this kind of jazz, man. It's great. Compliments you on your choice of destination. A festival of mimes and clowns. We get you where you're going. For the young jester that was me. Bird. <gasps> Hang on. That's Zoya's bird. 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 
Come here. Come here, bud. Oh. Spider Woman? Good shot. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Now, do you have any idea what <coughs> this feathery menace is doing here? He could have damaged all sorts of sensitive equipment. <sighs> yeah, I think I might have an idea. I'll deliver her back to her rightful owner. Okay, if you say so. Just see that she doesn't get loose in here again. It's funny that bird just shows up there, because what if when I got the side quest, I was like, I need to find that Captain bird, at large and I like, Sawyer? looked everywhere. Hello again. Uh, Coco! Yeah, I found her in the lab. She seemed very excited about something. Is she okay? Yep. I think so. Moreau had to help me catch her, hence the net. Ah, oh, Coco, you mischievous little thing, you. Causing your captain to worry and making trouble for everyone. Don't ever change. Well, I'm glad you're back together. Thank you, Harold. If you ever want to come and visit, please feel free. You should see her peeling a nut. It's hilarious. And the way she dances when I put music on. Thanks, Sawyer. I might pop by another time. See you, Coco. Ah! Well, mission success. Although, I did just go in there unprompted, so I suppose you probably actually don't get that mission unless you explore. And then you just probably find that bird and it's like, whose bird is this, you know? And you have to find out. Uh, tell Cyrus, okay. The Rafi will not do the hacking. Travel in style. With all water. Mm, 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 mm. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make uh, it uh, up to you. Uh, 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 uh. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system. Do you ever just like make random noises to yourself? I mean, I realize I was copying the uh, tannoy You've system. Arrived. Right have you checked your pockets before leaving? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta make some noise. Oh wait, you're down here. Sorry. Ugh. <laughs> it's just so absent-minded, dude. What's it called if you have like uh bimbo slash himbo energy but like you're not good in good looking enough to like be a himbo or a bimbo? Like are you, are you just dumb? <laughs> Hey, Sai. Bad news. Are you just Rafi annoying? Help. Good news. You're not like cute and ditzy. How? Uh, yeah, typical right after you left. Uh, uh, sorry, I forgot to message you. I got distracted verifying part one of my double checklist uh, by testing the velocity of a plant stock in a variety of energetic states while varying the atmospheric pressure. Harold? Mm hmm. Yes? Well, uh, thanks for asking him, though. That's okay. Good luck with the rest of the checklist. Yes, I'll get back to it. Okay. Message. Hey, Harold, what do you say to a drink or two? They're on me. And that is my task. Drinking buddy Tommy. Can't remember the last time I even had a drink. I do not really drink. And I haven't for a very, very long time. 
any time for me having a drink was when I was much, much younger, like very young. In this country, people do, you know, they're drinking young. Obviously, the age is uh, 18 as opposed to 21, like in the States. But I mean, to be honest, even though it's 18, we're all buying drinks at like 14, to be honest with you, at least in my day. Probably still the same. Um, and me being the tallest... Like, I was always the one that was sent to get them, so we'd be, like, hanging out by the river, you know? And then it'd be like, oh, let's go get some alcohol. So everyone would give me their money, and I would go into somewhere and have to be like, uh, hi, uh, can we get, uh, getting these ciders or not? You know, and, like, buy all of the alks for everyone. Bum, bum, bum. And looking back on it, like, there's no way I looked 18. There's, and, and we all thought, like, it was this big thing of, oh my god, like, you, you look the oldest and you're the tallest, you've got to be the one to go in. And honestly, they probably just didn't care that kids were buying drinks, you know? And honestly, by the time I got to 18, I was already over alcohol. I was over drinking by that point. By the time I had gone to college and university, I was pretty much sober. Didn't really drink from that point on. Never never really have enjoyed it that much. Occasionally I would have some if I'm at a party or if I've gone to like an event or something, I might have a couple of drinks, but other than that, the only times I would drink to any extent would have been streams, celebration streams, when it was like a year thing. So I'm like 10 years on Twitch now, but I haven't streamed for a while, but whenever it was like, hey, seven year celebration, I would have um, like a bottle of something. It's the only time in many years, so, you know. Um, no judgment if anyone does enjoy it, but yeah, it's just not really been for me in recent years, honestly. Hey there, Tommy. Oh, Harold, you came. Sit down, let me get you a drink. Thanks, Tommy. Never been a I'll let's go for a drink, have. you know, a man type of, of fine person. taste. So, how's life? No interest. Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary whatsoever. Definitely just the same as always. Okay, then. So, hey, I wanted to say about that blue rock. Ah, uh, it wasn't your fault, Tommy. I know, I know, but boy, did I feel like I had egg on my face. Those darn light keepers, eh? Always messing about in other people's business. Yeah, but I don't think they're so bad. I'm sorry they smashed your window, but they seem to have good stuff in mind. Well, you've got good stuff at heart, and you didn't need to break my window. But hey, what do I know? How is the shop going? Ah, uh, just fine. The sign has given things a bit of a boost, but new stock has been a bit slow. I'd love to scale back the time I spend there a bit, you know? Spend more time with Bridget, especially now she's working so much again. Yeah, it must be hard. Life has definitely become more busy recently. You got that right. It's good to have someone to talk to. Someone who doesn't mind my grouching. No way do I mind, Tommy. Grouch all you want. Thanks, Harold. I'll get back to grouching soon, but hey, how about you? Those filters keeping you on your toes? The filters? Why? Have you seen something? What? No, no reason at all. I got no special interest in the filters. Just making conversation. I haven't heard from Filter Frankie in a while. Guess he's taking it easy. Oh, sorry. Well, is the filters the fish are also filter totally Frankie? normal, just like always. Okay, good. Well, here's to the filters, eh? Long may they remain at optimal capacity. Cheers. Cheers. So, come on. You must have something you want to grouch about. Well, sure. But I try not to, you know, focus on it. Come on, come on. It's your turn. Don't make me do all the grumbling. Okay. Well, the tube tickets are pretty annoying. The rules change faster than I can keep up. I swear they do it just to confuse you into making mistakes so they can fine you. And it's not like they work all the time anyway. So what are you paying for? I just wish it was easier to get around, you know, without worrying all the time. Montage? Time skip?
Tony? It's gotten late. I, I think I should... I think I should get back home. Okay, Harold. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for sharing a few drinks with this old grumbler. Are you drunk, get Harold? Safe. Oh, Harold. Oh, I don't get to... I was hoping I'd get to walk him all drunk and stumbly. That would have been fun. Little drunk puppet. Check on Felicia. You hung over, bud. You need some bacon and eggs. What's up, Fishy? Long time no see, huh? Hope you're having fun, Fishy Dreams. <gasps> Did I just... Did I hear you just wheel? It's okay. It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. God, of course they don't understand me. What can I use? A pineapple. A pineapple. Uh, no. What else? <laughs> don't panic or die. Please. <laughs> just wait. Come on, Harold. Think. What's on these papers? Ah, just Burroughs notes. Nothing I could use. Harold, what are you dithering over? Awake! He said, we you. What? They're awake and attempt to communicate? Yes, I'm trying to tell them what's going on, but... We... They seem to have fainted again. Harold, you said they said we you. Anything else? And some skis? Skis? Pineapple? Notes? Professor, I've got it. Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Harold, are you feeling okay? Maybe it's something contagious after all. No, Moreau. I could use a picture book to talk to Wii U. I mean, communicate with Fishy. I'm sure Chris will have some at the school. Hmm. Not a bad idea at all, Harold. I'll fetch some recording equipment too, in the meantime. We're going to need plenty of samples if we're to decipher an alien tongue. What? You can't take their tongue? You klutz. I mean their language. Okay, but what if they wake up again? Life signs are stable, and I don't think they're going anywhere quite yet. Go on, go! Hmm. <clears throat> Taking a lot of stuff very literal, I wonder if, um, Harold might be on the spectrum. So where is this picture box? Chris in the school social district. A teacher. Okay. A children's book. Cute. Spot the dog. Why did I come down here? I think I just go left, didn't I? Man, my brain. To be fair, it is now midnight. Not that that really means anything. I'm not tired. I got a bit late on this, but, you know, just as an excuse. The social district for the first time. Let's get a look at a new environment. You may now exit the tube. Exit. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation Exit. for choosing to travel with us today. School. Read a book. Oh, Harold, what brings you here? Chris, I need some pictures. Uh, of anything in particular? And you do know I'm not an art teacher. I just need a book. Uh, a kid's book, like Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Well, I'm glad you asked, Harold, but maybe you should be challenging yourself a bit. Ah, uh, yes, I will. But I just need to relax. 
Please, Chris. Hmm. Okay, Harold. I'll bring you one later tonight when I'm done. Ah, no. I really need it now. Harold, uh, are you okay? You seem so stressed. Maybe you do really need a nice book. Okay, I'll get you one now. But you'll have to watch the Bambinos while I'm gone, okay? Yes, sure. Thank you, Chris. Thanks. Bambino. Okay, okay. You sure you're okay, Harold? No, uh, whatever happens while I'm gone, just don't let them under your skin. Okay, Harold, must dash. Don't let them bully you. Uh, Chris, what? Uh, wait. Ciao, Harold. Ciao, Bambinos. Don't cause them any trouble, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, kids. Are you a teacher? Where's Mr. Tinnabob God? No, I don't know. I'm just doing Chris, I mean, Mr. Tinnabaum, a favor. I have a question. I'm probably not qualified, but I'll do my best. Where do babies come from, Mr. Harold? <laughs> uh, just Harold is fine. And, um, they come from two people. Then who are my parents? Uh, I don't know if we should be tell uh, two, two people create a, you trying to tease me? What? No, I don't mean the two people disappear. They become your parents. So it could be any two people? I think it's like uh, two people grow you and they give you to whoever's assigned to be parents? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I mean, the growing part, not not the... When will I grow up, Mr. Harold? Ah, uh, when you contribute to society. Felix, you'll grow up soon, but don't rush it. I, I mean, enjoy your youth while you... Why aren't you a teacher? Oh, uh, for many reasons, but mainly because... Why does flammable and inflammable mean the same thing? If you're not a teacher, you're a stranger. And I've always been told not to talk to strangers. Is today's lesson going to pick up from Cartesian dualism or move straight into Neoplatonism? Everyone, please slow down. Okay, now, who wants to learn about filter maintenance? There you go, Harold. Thanks for holding down the fort. Thank you. This will do great. Hope they didn't give you too much trouble. No. No trouble at all. Great! Everyone say ciao to Mr. Halibut. Ciao, ciao Mr. Mr. Halibut! Halibut. Mm -hmm. So what else is in this area? <gasps> Can I write this? What else is here? Hello? Can't get in. Oh? Ah, Corporal Flounder. What am I going to do with you, eh? No one can ever know about you. You're a living, floundering breach of all the rules in the book. My book, I might add. Oh, the things I do for you. Anyway, Chapter 3, The Merry Band. It was a dark and stormy night when the four intrepid explorers left the fedora in search of the riches that would make their name. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, uh, hi, Major. It's me, Harold. What in the blue blazes are you doing here, boy? I'm sorry to interrupt. I was just passing, thought I heard, but then... Well, whatever you heard, or most definitely didn't hear, if you get my drift, is your invasion of my privacy. So perhaps we should just both forget this whole messy incident ever happened, hmm? Oh, yes, of course, Major. I understand. Good. Let me write you a ticket as a reminder. Oh, okay. Very good. Now, if you'll excuse us, I mean, me. We both have a secret fish. Don't write me a ticket. I mean, if anything, I should get out of all of the tickets now because I'm keeping a secret for you. Unbelievable. Nice tone, man. I need to dig my guitar out. I haven't played for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's 
so funny, like the things that we go through and used to do all the time and then don't. I used to make music every night, you know? Every night, literally every single night for hours and hours and hours. I would be on my computer making songs, tracks, working on stuff, experimenting. Not just guitar, like electronic stuff, everything, just sitting with all of the synths and software and everything that I had. And then uh, getting into other stuff, getting into streaming and content and everything, and just haven't done it since, you know? Um, where are we going? Back to the lab, right? Destination determined. Oh. Now, relax. it just takes so much time, you know? You gotta get in, you gotta practice, you gotta remember how to use everything, but. I've thought about um, when I You're get a new here. PC, maybe I'll set this Thank one up somewhere as like a music station so it's all just there and ready to go, but who knows if I'll have time. Like at that time I was pursuing like making music, so it made sense, you know, like I was working on that. I had grown up always wanting to be in a band or something and I was making stuff and then it was like going to be like doing composing stuff. Um, and then, so when I moved into like, oh, I'm going to do content now, like, that's my thing, that seems to be going well, that's what I'm going to do, obviously, that kind of fell off. You have to kind of prioritize what you're, uh, working on, you know? It was like, once the kind of, the goal was gone from, I'm going to do this with my life, it kind of lost a little bit of its, like, drive, you know? As much as I enjoy it, it was just, let me dedicate my time elsewhere. Anyway, sorry, I thought this was therapy. Jeez, right now. Hello? It's Rita Bach. Uh, they've gone back to sleep. Okay, just stay calm, Harold. Radiate calm. Show them the book. Show them you're friendly. Start teaching an alien how to speak my language. Fishy? Wake up. I'm back. Wake up. Professor, I'm sure I'm starting to understand. No need. The translation device is ready. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's see. Does it work instantly? Will they understand exactly what I'm saying now? Oh. I can understand you. <gasps> I can understand you! So where am I? Good gosh, I'm glad you're okay. What are you? Oh, you're on board the Fedora? It's a ship. We're from Earth? Well, the ship is. Oh, sorry. Um, what's a ship? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're humans. Well, I see you're getting along just fine together. I've got some things I need to take care of urgently. I'll leave you two to it until I'm back. Play nice. Why does she not want to talk to the alien? I have so, so many, many questions. questions. Oh, I love it.
somebody. A bestie. Cute. How long was that? 61 days left. How exciting to have like a sort of alien friend or something, you know, in your life. That's probably how it feels to be my friend, to be honest. So, it's a community based around the energy-giving properties of the particles. Ah, Harold, join us. Hello, you two. Hello. Will you go on? Uh, yes. Uh, we get warmth in the air from them. And other things. Like food? Materials? And where do the particles come from? We aren't sure. There is a big glowing hole in the cave that feels very nice to be around, though. Harold, you didn't tell me this earlier. What? I... Oh, Moreau. I didn't really tell him. Not much changes back home. So I suppose no one thinks much about them. Oi, Faye. We need to see this hole. I'd love to see it, too. But how do we get there? Hmm. Uh -huh. By the way, Professor... Did you tell Wii U what you told me about the particles? I did. I suppose I owe Wii U here a thank you. My pleasure. I accept. Uh, Wii U, it's more like she means... I mean, let's retire for tea. No great plan was ever made without it. Wii U is such a cute name. Wii U. Tea with Wii U. Tea. Thank you. It smells great, like flowers. Yes, don't tell Cyrus. He's stressed enough as it is without worrying about me stealing from his herbarium. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to keep track of. Like, whatever is going on with all water. Well, we don't know for sure. Only that they're hedging their bets on the launch procedure, and the CEO is acting strangely indeed. And then there's the Light Keepers. What's their plan in all this? Who knows? I'm wary, but at least they seem invested in the truth. And that means for now, they're on our side, whoever they are. I guess so. Be nice if they stop with the graffiti, though. What's the latest with our start procedure, by the way? My, my. Tea does make you talkative. Cyrus is working hard. I'm sure he'll iron out the problems he's having. It's just whether he'll iron them out in time. How do you feel about all this, will you? Oh, great. So much is going on. It's very exciting. And how about you, Harold? I'm just relieved we could help Wii U. Yes, you two clearly have a special bond already. Oh, uh, what is bond? It's something that keeps us close together. Oh, okay. Are you holding it? No, Wii U, it's an invisible, emotional thing. Great, nice to carry. Wii U? Do you miss where you came from at all? Not really. I'll go back eventually, and that's okay. Well, I quite wondered if maybe you'd take Harold with you. Me? To the cave? Yes, to investigate the source of the particles. Of course, I want to go, but I can't just drop everything and people would notice me gone. But... me? And me. Don't worry, my boy. I'll be in close contact, and after all, haven't you been craving some adventure? Oh, sure, but what if I get the adventure wrong? You'll just be observing, taking readings, letting Wii U show you how things work. You trust him, right, Wii U? Sure. There'll be lots of Flumilim to meet, plenty of Malgaraha to see. What are Flumilim? Oh, that's a hard one to translate. It means things you can talk to. Like everyone back at the cave. But I suppose it also means people like you. Oh, so it's the name for your kind? Well, it's all kinds. We've not needed any more detail before. And no one will mind if you don't call them Flumilim. Cool. 
It's just a bit confusing otherwise, don't, don't you think? <laughs> Not for us. We all have so many classifications for everything. Even a person can be male or female. Now that's confusing. <laughs> I suppose that's true. So, do you not have, uh, two kinds of person? Not like how you're thinking. Don't worry about it. Just call us friends. Or our names. Okay, we will do. Great, then it's settled. Will you? You'll take Harold to explore the cave and meet the rest of the Flummelim. I can't believe it's gonna be me that sees it all for the first time. Yay. Oh, but I can swim. How will Howell come with me? Ah, just follow me. I have a little something to show you both. I like how in the subtitle it was Howell. <laughs> Howell, Howell. Um, I wonder if we're gonna get... Oh, wait, what? Right. Um... Okay. I'm wondering if there's like an... I'm wondering if there's an element to it that may be like that kind of feeling we're getting of Harold being simple, being a little bit of a, it's like a reverse fish out of water, doesn't quite connect with his surroundings, you know, um, if he may end up liking it there better with them or something, and it's kind of like a he was the kind of uh, alien in this world and finds a better place for himself, finds his people among the flumlum. Who knows? No idea at this point. Because surely there's some ending here with whether the ship takes off or not. Maybe the ship won't take off. Maybe everyone will make the new home here. Oh, little submarine. Granny kept that one hid away. Whoa! Oh. I'd like to introduce you both to Jetsum, a little hobby project of mine. Used to be a space buggy meant for short-range planetary surface analysis. And now, it will be your means of visiting a very different kind of world. It's amazing. I'll look after it, I promise. Now, before you go, I've uploaded new firmware to your PDA. Oh, what does it do? Well, I developed an update to the translation software based on your discussions with Wii U for use with the PDA, so you don't have to schlep that huge machine around. Oh, neat. I call it Omnicom. Also, you should both take one of these. Where does this go? In your ear. It's an earphone. It connects to the PDA, so you can have real-time translation. Plus, it allows me to stay in close contact with you. Very cool. And it'll work at long range? It should do. I developed a super-efficient transmitter and new batteries for it all using some of Wii U particles. Glad to help. It'll mean that whatever happens, you can stay in contact with me in some shape or form. And Harold? Yes, Professor? Do. Not. Lose it. Unlike that toaster, these aren't easily replaced. I won't. I'll be careful. About everything. That should be everything you need. Hop in. I'll be on the radio, and I'm sure you two will look after each other. We you. Let's go visit your home. Thanks, Professor. Good luck, you two, and have fun. For me. We will. This panel shows... What happens if I push this? Whoa! Too fast! This is fun! Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop swerving. 
Monroe will kill me if I dent her hobby project. like you're making it swim calmly now. Yeah. Whew. Getting so less light. Less light means bad distance. It's called dark. And yeah, getting very hard to see. <laughs> bad distance. I know. It's chilly. Say, how did you find your way to the fedora? Hmm. It wasn't easy. Dark and chilly, don't like either. But once I had started, I just wanted to see what there was. Had to keep going. Next thing I knew, very light. Less chilly, lots of owl. Then you, shouting at me. When you tell it like that, it doesn't sound like a great experience. Worth it. Well, I'm glad it was worth it, and that you kept going. On that note, how are we going to get to your place? No worry, I can see. What, in the dark? No, it's more like the right direction glows for me. Oh, everything on the fedora is signposted, so we don't even have to think about how to get somewhere. Glowing directions sound much more fun. So, you can direct me there? Yep, I can see the way clearly. And I'd better turn on the proximity sensors in the dark. I really don't want a lecture from Moreau. Okay, Wii U, you're the boss. Take us away. Cute. Am I gonna get to pilot this? We're <gasps> almost there now. Be careful. The entrance tunnel is very narrow. Okay, I think I see it. It's going to be a tight squeeze. Oh, I wonder if I could have piloted it that whole time. I just assumed it was a cutscene and was just enjoying it, so I just sat back. We're here? We're really here? Yep. This is the place. Good job, Howell. Now we just have a short swim. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Very short. It'll be fine. Let's go. Can he even swim? It's not like they have a swimming Come pool. Come on, there. Howell. It's not so hard. Ugh. Land. Finally. Land. Yeah. Oh, I'm on land. Real alien land. What do you mean? It's just a bit of rock. Come on up. So much rock. Uh, what you got? Real rock. Bumpy and slightly warm. And Friend? Yes. Rock is okay. Why did they disappear? It's rock. Ah, Wii U, it's just that the fedora, it's all metal. It's not real ground. I've never walked on anything made of real rock before. Okay. Would you like some? What? I mean, sure, but thanks. Walking on it is kind of... Then you could always have your foot on a rock. Thanks, Wii U. Soon. We'll get there. Wow. We're nearly there. I can't quite believe it. There. Where? Wherever there is. Where have they gone? Wow, what's gonna be there? <laughs> They're supposed to be next to me. It's so cool to finally be here. I still can't quite believe it. It's exciting not knowing what I'm gonna see next. It could be anything. And I'll be the first human to see whatever it is and what... Are you okay, Howell? This is your home? Well, not my. Our, our place. 
Come on, we're not there yet. More to see. The cave. So, this is the cave. It's... Whoa. Magical. So much space. Wheel. What is everything? Where do you get food? What are your jobs? How does everything work? You'll see. One thing at a time. It's like artwork everywhere, isn't it? Graffiti art. Mushrooms. It's like we're underwater, but not underwater. Is this our solar system? Uh, Howell, I've got to take care of something, but I'll be back soon. Oh, sure. Should I wait somewhere? Yes, at the waiting bench. Sounds cozy. Hello. That means hi there. I thought it might. Tell them I say hi back. Will do. Okay, let's go. Sit cozy, Howell. Back soon. <laughs> the snail. I wonder if it's polite to ignore people here. Maybe I should introduce myself. I don't want to get off on the wrong foot. So, uh, greetings. I offer you human greetings. <laughs> hmm. Is the translator not working? Let's see. Hello? <laughs> Maybe it needs more calibrating. Uh... Do you know Wii U? Gorp. Or Norp. I mean, I haven't known Wii U for that long, but I do feel like we get each other. Same wavelength, you know? Um, what's the latest news? What's the latest news in the cave, then? Not too talkative, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you. And like Moreau always said, never say more than you need to. Air and time are more precious than extra words. I'm Harold. Nice to meet you. Hi, Oopa. Ah, I'm sorry. It was an accident. I'm just clumsy sometimes. No, no. Ooh -ha. We're gonna play music. Oopa. This whole thing with the aliens. What's this one sound like? Get that one. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. 
My name is Harold. I really like fish. I would not put you guys on a dish, even with some chips, because I was British. That's how we could have in the fish. You can put a sausage and put it in some batter. That's when they say, let's have a natter. Putting it on some cheese and crackers and I'm playing some music with my alien... F friends. <laughs> Do we just play forever? What are we... What are we doing? <laughs> good, uh, good, good, good jamming. Good jamming. Hello, little broccoli. Can we say hi? Oh, hello. Data check. Ah, translator needs some more calibration, I think. <clears throat> Data chum. Hello. Oh, hello. What's this place? Hmm. Can't understand you. Oh, um, am I talking too fast? What, in the cave? <laughs> Loud and slow as you want. Still talking nonsense to me. Oh, right. Without an earpiece translator, it only works one way. I'll just be quiet, and maybe you'll happen to explain. Wonder if you understand me. It's unusual. Lumbly glue? Or anything else? Oh, so I can lumbly glue here. Or... Oh, you do know lumbly. Is he asking me for it? Or offering? Sorry, don't know what else to say. This booth is fascinating. But I think I better try it again with Wii U. Cute. Let's go this way. I know you told me to wait on the waiting bench, but... It's an alien world to be explored. What are these? Little baths? Hi. So, um, what are these things? Lupo. What do you say? Ah, uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to understand me. It's supposed to be quiet here anyway. Just sit and gloopo. Wonder what gloopo is, or art. Maybe the things in the nooks. I don't know why you're talking in gibberish, but please, shh. Oh, I guess it's important to be quiet here. Out of respect, maybe. Pyramid, a place for meditative thought. What's this? Hi there. Please be careful. It's all very sensitive still at the moment. Don't touch. I wonder if I'm supposed to find Wii U or just wait. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> Explore the cave. Take a look around instead of waiting here forever. Who knows what the rules are here? I hope that I, I don't break any. Okay, and then I've got lots of messages. Harold, I'm a man of science. Everything has an explanation. Have you experienced any ghost like phenomena in the lab district recently? The other day, I'm sure I felt a presence sneak behind me. Sunny. Harry, I was thinking about your alien fish friend. Clearly you really care about them. You tell me if it was more than a normal pet, right? Harold, my man, say my protein snacks from the TV lounge seem to have been snacked on. You know those things aren't very good for you unless you're pumping iron. Unless did you start working out? You need a training buddy. Harold, what's with all the brightly colored crumbs on the lab table? Did the two of you stay up late again? I can't work in this mess. Get with the cleaning. Hey, Harold, I know you must be busy, no worries. Wondered if you'd seen my message. Wanted to run my new book idea by you. So all of these messages we've been getting whilst um, bonding with our alien friend here. Oh, dear. I don't think I was meant to fall down there. <clears throat> okay, well, let's try going up 
from the way that we came down. Glip glop, gloop glarp, lip lop. Hi. Here. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Fish in a bubble. <laughs> um. Bubble guy. Oh, hello there, little ones. Uh, yes, no. <coughs> come on, this way. No. Follow us for tickety. Look at the look at uh, Harold, Camilla, um, um. Well, Harold. There you go. Stay in it. Am I... are they... is... is this... Is it... what? What do you think is happening? I'm... getting a greeting ritual... badly wrong? <laughs> no. You're just playing around with those cheeky kids. I think they love you now. What? So I'm not offending everyone? Well, you're not exactly being polite. But I think everyone is pleased to laugh at the funny alien. <laughs> Hang on. Do you remember Pineapple Helga? Of course. Such pointy hair. And lovely long shoes. Is it like when the mini yetis did the snowball dance? Yes. They would have kept on doing the tick tick -tick anyway, but they were glad to have someone new to show it to. Okay. I think I get it. I think I'm beginning to understand a bit about how you all think. Yes, you'll get there. Just like when Helga has to imitate a seal to get to the ice cave. Will you? Can I ask you something? Of course. 
I thought it was really a uh, interesting and sweet little scene. Um, how old are they? How old were they? <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier if I just show you around before trying to answer. Come on. All right, teach me your ways. Stop disappearing. In between scenes, huh? Hi there. Little chick. Hi. Could you give my friend here a little something? Sure. A blue will be okay. Here you go. Oh, uh, will you? Mm, no. Give him the blooper dupe. Thanks, will you? This one looks much better. Go on. Um, go on to do. Feed the crow up. Oh, man. Right there. Great. Come with. Come with. Uh, okay. Can't see you, so I'm going to assume. I just go wherever. Maybe you can explain this to me. No, it says the thing, but I'm clicking it and nothing's happening. Okay, let's try up here then. Can't sprint anymore. Hopefully I'm leading you and not the other way around. What does the to-do say? Nothing. And I can't see you. We you? Let's try the other place. The other shop. I guess I could reload, but I don't know if that would help. Also, I don't know where it saves. Last time I restarted, it went all the way to the beginning of the day. Let's try here. Nope. Mm. Wii U, where are you? What do you want to show me? I guess I may have to restart. Let's try just going back through and see if that fixes it or not. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Still DJing away. see where it is. Exploration with Wee Woo. Uh, it was three minutes ago. Let's see where the autosave is. Shouldn't be too bad. I like that there's just a bunch of different autosaves that you can go to. And, uh, weird in a game like this, you wouldn't even need that many. <gasps> oh, now I can see a few. Still can't jog though. So where did you go? You just... Over here. Oh, okay. I was never going to try here, was I? Now watch. Oh, trust me. I will. So we tie the uh, coisy like so, and then bubble fish. Wow. That's how you fish? Yep. Bubble fish. Oh, but I mean, isn't it a bit weird that you. What is weird? Oh, uh, never mind. So, we, I have a question. And I have an answer. But you don't know what the... It's Tidemo. Not this time it's not. I don't get the purpose of using a fish to make a rope to then catch another fish with? Aha. Uh -huh. You can see why, right? 
Yes, but things just work like that here. It's not always how it looks. So what is going on? Hmm, how to explain? Things work in cycles. Maybe having a fish isn't the same as getting a fish. When we turn something into something else, it's not just the old thing and the new thing. There is a thing that escapes. We call it the new men. It is a something that is nothing, but it's important to have. Right. So something is also nothing, and nothing can be a something? Tidemo. Just like I said. Awful philosophical is down here. Ain't ya? Fishy. Fishy we will. Listen, I took philosophy at college. I'd get on okay down here. I know a day card from a Hume. Probably. Ah, what's this one? Um, well, the Zoop Zoop, yes. Are you hungry? I'm a bit peckish, yeah. Is there somewhere nearby? A bit peckish. Yes, yes, you see. What's happening now? Well, it's... Uh, the result is Lumberly Gloob. Oh, right. Of course. <clears throat> Very tasty. Let's enjoy. Oh, I will. But shouldn't we pay or something? Dadachum. No, we don't really pay here. The food is free? It's not free. Because it's all free. We help each other. Ah. And eventually it all evens out. No one really keeps track anyway. Wow, that's such a simple system. Did a chick. Glad to see you enjoy. Always good to did a chick with a new limb. Oh, I'm not actually a fish. I'm human. By the way, he's saying he's a human. Fish, human, lumberly glue. <laughs> I see. Thanks. I can't wait to try it. Bye. It's kind of literally what I said at the start. Like, why would you charge to use the tube and stuff? Let's eat. Like, it's just looks we're here existing together. Delicious. You know? Yes, it's very healthy because of the minerals in the pond and the blah blah blah, blah and then <clears throat> uh, what? Yes, yum. It's good for you. How? Are you okay? Oh, sorry, were you? I zoned out, but I'm super okay. There's just so much that is so new. It's a bit overwhelming. Malgaraha. Was that a yawn or a fishy word? Oh. I thought you were watching the... Well, it's like the way the light reflects from the ripples in the clear water on the cave walls and reminds you of a good time with a friend. A bit like now? Precisely. I see what you mean. It's beautiful. I see something similar in the herbarium sometimes, but I never really had anyone to share it with. This is what friends are for. It's so crazy here, Wii U. Amazing, but so different. It's pretty cool that we can understand each other at least. Yes, I think so. But maybe you can't understand a lot of our things. Oh, and you understand everything human? Well, yes. Humans are so unpredictable and complicated. There is almost nothing to understand. You're like... The all-water tube system? I was going to say fizzy bubbles, but okay. And so, you really don't have money here? No. Okay, that's the one thing I really don't get about humans. Well, it's just a trade thing. But you can trade really easily with it. But some people have more than others. Why is that? Um, some people are more important. Remind me what is important. Um, take Moreau. She's cleverer than anyone. We all need her science. 
Ah, but her science wouldn't mean anything without everyone else to use it. Weeu, this is making my head hurt. Then let's go. Next part of the tour. Come on, Harold. It's not that complicated. Get with the program, man. Revolution. It's like... It's a way that would really work if there was as few of you as there is here. Okay, Wii U, so what is this place? But as many really as there is figure it out. in the world. It's a library. Different. What? There aren't any books. Not all books. Osmo's bone. Wii U, I'm going to need a bit more of a translation. Okay. It's just that... So, Osmo's is just knowing. That's the best I can do. And Osmosbo are those jellies. You can just know through them. Wow. So it's like a book you don't have to read. Yes, but I don't really know how they... I mean, how to explain how they work. Okay, cool. So... That's nothing for us to worry about. Come on. More to see. I want to Osmi and Osmo Bio Bobus. I want it to teach me Kung Fu in my brain. So, what are they doing? Aha. Uh -huh. Just wait. They're building something? Oh, or maybe it's going to be a kind of game. Very soon now. You will hear. Oh, okay. I think I get it. Amazing sound. It's nice, isn't it? I call it thrum. The, the song or the style of music? Well, neither really. The way we make music is more in the moment. So they don't practice? Is it a jam? Yeah, baby. I jam was for your toast. Yes, but it's also the word we use for when music is. Um, improvised, like made up there and then. Well then, yes. That, <laughs> with people watching, is thrum. Right. Well, whatever it is, I love it. And I love jam. I wish we'd brought some. Harold, are you there? Oh, used to be so fun hi, to Professor. jam with you, How are you doing? What? I'm fine. Where are you? Just had some lunch there's lots to see harold i'm quite sure there is but may i remind you you're not there on holiday ah i know the particles i'll get right on it speak to you soon professor good luck harold don't do anything i would do over and out we you that was moreau reminding us to check out the particles ah uh, yes right this way Just putting my candle on. Guess what my candle smells like? And I will tell you in three, two, it's two things, okay? Two food things, just in case you didn't think of a food thing. I, my, my candles always smell of food, pretty much. It is. Let's see how good your psychicness is. Pineapple. And maybe now that's a clue, see if you can guess the next one. Coconut. Pineapple and coconut, and it smells really nice. Two things I like a lot. Pineapple and coconut. I went through a phase of drinking coconut water, like, every day. Like, all the time. To the point where it was kind of a thing on stream that I was drinking coconut water, and it was like you should have a coconut water sponsorship because you have it all the time. And then I tweeted about coconut water at the coconut water company and they sent me like five plus boxes of coconut water. <laughs> and I remember like tweeting the picture being like, we got a, we got it happened. Sponsored by coconut water. It was sponsored literally just a gift. They send them to literally anyone that messages them and says, I love your water. I remember 
being like, oh, free coconut. I mean, coconut oil is pretty expensive, so it was a pretty nice gift. It's beautiful. So cool. I wonder how much they would send me now. Now I have so many followers. I mean, I was like, had nothing back then. So, what happened to the other flumalum that tried to go down there? Others? What do you mean? Well, hasn't anyone tried going down there before? No. It's just... there. We know the particles can be used for energy. They come up. Why would we go down? To find out what's down there. Maybe you could bring up loads of particles at once. But we don't need more particles at once. Wow, okay. So, it's never been explored? Well, I suppose there was that one Flemingham kid who explored it. What? And what did they say? Not much. He never came back. We assume he's happy down there. <laughs> what? And now that I think about it, there was one older Flemingham who went or fell down. Maybe they're still down there together. Okay. I think I'm going to call Moreau now. I hope they're not going to, like... How do you work this thing? Humans Harold? do human things and try and steal all of these oh, and ruin it. Hi, Professor. How are you doing? What? Don't ask me. Have you found the particles? Hi, Professor. Wii U says hi, by the way. And yes, we found them. They're coming from a giant hole in the ground. Can you get down there? Well, we used says a couple of flumalim have been down before, but they never came back. It looks kind of deep. Okay, don't try and go down there, Harold. Is there anyone or thing there with more information on the hole? There is a kind of library, but... There is or there isn't? What's the problem? She's so rude. It's just that the books are jelly. So, go to the library. I don't care if the books are jelly or custard. Find some information on it you can bring back. Okay, Professor. Wish me luck. I think. <laughs> like, I hope we're not a bit of a Trojan horse for messing up their world, you know? Go full avatar, all the humans will be down here like stealing all the particles. They seem so chill, although almost darkly so. They're just like, Yeah, a kid went down there, we assume they're happy, it's fine. They're basically just all stoic, as you know. <clears throat> Oh, we don't know. We'll just assume they're happy. Oh well, moving on with our life. Let's go make music and catch fish in a bubble. <laughs> Library time. Gonna hold on to a book and have it into my mind. Hello again, librarian. <sighs> I was wondering, do you have any jellies on the crack with the particles? Eh? Hey? What are you saying? Oh, he's new. He says, do we have any jellies about the glowing hole? Oh, well, I believe How many so. of you thought it might be a library I with the shushing? I to test a few. I've not really labeled them. Ah, great. So, uh, how do I read them? It's hard to explain. But just hold one close to your head and be calm. And not try too hard. A bit like how memories work. Okay. Is there any way to know what each jelly is about? Just give any of them a go. I'm sure they're all full of great stuff. Yeah! It didn't like being red. Wii U, can you show me? Uh... Um... It's definitely more fun if you figure it out for yourself. I'd love to, but Moreau is probably getting antsy. I think we'd better get back to her before she gets annoyed and puts me on shelf duty again. So, we, how do I read these things? How? Actually, I can't. If it's hard to explain, I'll just watch. 
Read. I can't understand the jellies. They can't read. But you explained it to me. Yes. Well, we all know the theory. Oh, that's okay. You know, I'm not great with human books. Half the time, the letters in a word seem to rearrange themselves. Can I just encourage you? Breathe deep. When your mind feels empty, stick your nose into it and remember what's in the jelly. Sure thing. We'll figure it out together. Let's give this a shot. Doesn't seem like this one tells us anything useful. Look like a recipe. Let's try this one. Um, fishies, aquarium, stock footage taken, lobster. This is all human stuff. What's this doing in your library? That's a human hand. was wild uh -uh. but it doesn't seem related to the crack at all yeah where the crack at let's give this one a sniff um, 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 um fisherman enemies little prawn shrimpies yeah finger gross fingers um, sushi fish sushi of stuff about anemone shrimps anemone but nothing about the crack no crack a lot of books on fish <gasps> evil humans cars deforestation power plants oil Destruction, destruction, environmental destruction, dumps. That was... That was... Wow. Don't let them But I don't think it's crack. what I'm looking for. Oh. A shark breaching. A horse This one definitely has some interesting stuff about the crack. It does? Um, sploosh. Wii U, do you want to try and explain? You should try. Practice. Ah, okay. Um, excuse me, librarian? Me? Could I possibly take a book? I mean, a jelly? He says he wants a jelly. You may, but you will have to treat it with utmost care and find a suitable vessel to transport it in. Oh, okay, and where might one... He asks where to find such a vessel. You could begin by asking around town in case... Oh, wait, never mind. Looks like I've got one for you here. Oh. Thanks. The fake out. I was thanks. literally like, I'm going to make me walk around everywhere and ask everyone. Art. Bye. I like his plastic bag. Thanks. Hello, Harold? Professor, I managed to find a jelly that... Harold! What did we discuss about you not being on holiday? No, no, Professor. The books here are jellies. You have to... Well, anyway, I found one, and I had to kind of sniff it. And I have info on the crack. Harold, 
I know you're excited, but please can you stop talking such nonsense? I'm not. Uh, the librarian says I can bring the jelly back to the fedora. Just bring the thing back and we'll try to make sense of it. And you. Will do, Professor. Back shortly. It's getting late. Let's go to my place to relax. That sounds fun, but how do you know what time it is? Can't you feel the magnetics? The, the what? Feel how? Oh, well, the slight changes in the glow combined with the slight heaviness we feel in our toes because of the lateness. Okay, I mean, that's crazy cool, but I don't think it's going to apply to us humans anytime soon. Shame. Well, I feel it's tea time. Come on. All right. Back to their place. Why do they have a plastic bag down here? That's my question. This is your place? Ahoy there, Nautilo. Meet Howell. Ahoy there, Nautilo. Nice flowers. He says hello, and he likes your flowers. Thanks. But they're not flowers. They're more, uh... They're more like sponges with a hard lower root. They need water, but if they're underwater, they're not sponge anymore. Um... They're very low. <laughs> the actual voice. Enjoy. He's impressed. And he says he hopes you continue to gain pleasure or satisfaction from your continued interactions with them. He said all that. Yes. Sorry, this translation business is confusing. <laughs> Thanks, Wii U. Anyway, come in. Come in. Nice place. Thanks. My home is your home. Take a look around. Is this coral? Yep. I found it when exploring outside the cave. Like they'd probably say I shouldn't. Why would they say that? We're supposed to be happy with everything here. And I am. It's really swell. But... I think that it's also swell to see other swell things outside of the cave. No one else ever leaves? I don't think so. An explorer. Wouldn't it be sad if we'd never met? Of course, it'd be. I don't even want to think about it. Mind you, I don't want to think about how we met either. <laughs> and what is this? That's Juna. It's a skull? It's a friend. Must make for a one-sided conversation, but okay. You should say hi. Hi there, Juna. Is that a sneaker? Sneaker? Is that what it's called? I've been wondering for ages. It's what made me want to explore further. I wanted to know where it came from. Yeah, it's a sneaker. You wear it on your... Well, not your feet. Human feet. Oh! Do you want it back? I don't mean it's mine. Did you show it to anyone else? No. They wouldn't even have cared. For them, nothing exists beyond the cave. But where did they come from? Maybe long ago, from far away. Sometimes we need to get into the waters just outside, but never to go far. They just sit around and stay happy. I mean, that doesn't sound so bad. I know. But once you know there's more, happy isn't the same, is it? Mm, true. I guess I haven't been happy for a while. But I guess I can be quite good at calm. Is calm nice? I think no calm is the reason I'm no good with the jellies. Yeah, I don't think about it too much. You just have to think, what does it matter? What does what matter? No matter, no what. Ah, 
Calm? I see. Calm is not all the time, but when you sit and forget about yourself. Oh. Hmm. Huh? So, I forget I'm real? But what if I don't remember again? <laughs> I can't say I've ever had that problem. Thanks, Harold. I think I can try calm much better now. <sighs> this has been a pretty crazy day. Yes. Let's end it and regain consciousness in a new one. Yeah. Sleep sounds good. Night, Wii U. They're kind of both out of place in their own worlds, aren't they? Both them and us. Imagine if it just went 30. It's been down there a Wakey, wakey, Howell. <sighs> morning, will you? Well, you probably don't have mornings, do you? Mm, not like on the fedora, but there is still a right time to get up. How long have you been awake? A little while, but then I had a wander around and a nap. Did you sleep well? Yeah, surprisingly well. Feels so peaceful here. Yes. Always something clanging on the ship. Anyway, come on. Submarine time. Submarine time indeed. And good morning to you, because I have just woken up. And we're continuing Harold Halibut. I'm trying to get this uh, in the back, you know? Thought I might got through it last night. I mean, you'll just be seeing this. You won't know that I've slept. There won't have been a break because it's going to be coming out all in one thing. But I have slept in between. Just in case you're like, why does Morph suddenly sound groggy? <laughs> just waking up. Got my cup of tea. Good morning. There's no... My jog button is broken in here, so... We just have to do a little bit of a slow walk back. I don't know if that's a bug or meant to happen. I feel like it might be a bug because they're so much faster than I am. One little more. Moing. The way they're sort of translucent. What do you call that? Like, that's not bioluminescent, but it's ir 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 iridescent, I think. They're um, kind of clothing slash cape. Wow, we're just bobbing, bobbing the head there. Okay. Little Harold. So tired of his life. Little Harold, no sign of a wife. He needs excitement. He met a fish. Was it a wish to meet a fish and go on a real dish of an adventure, Harold? <laughs> he I mean, just look at the way, the way, if you saw someone walking like Harold down the street, you, you would think... Your life's a bit boring. <laughs> Caves are scary. Really just try really just vamping for time here whilst we walk through the cave to get back to the submarine. What's your what's your go-to morning thing? I've I've moved away from coffee because I'm trying not to like have the coffee spike immediately. I'm trying to drink a lot less coffee now. So I have a cup of tea. I don't do breakfast. I'm one of those people. It's going to be strange getting back to the fedora. Yeah. It'll be nice to enter it not through a filter though. <laughs> yes. And we'll be back soon with the others. What do you think the others will think of it here? Huh. The others. 
Yeah. You're not really going to bring the other humans here, are you? I think we know where this is going to go. Professor. Professor. Yes, Harold. I know you're excited. It's more than that. It's wow. Everything. I mean, the jelly books, the beautiful lights. But we used it. And then there were his neighbors. Everyone was so friendly. They had this great way of making bubbles. You don't pay for anything. Please, my boy, you must. I know, I know. But they weren't freaked out by me at all. They were just content with whatever. You could easily just move straight in. Harold! Interesting. Interesting indeed, Harold. What? Who? When? That, Harold, is what I was trying to tell you. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't mean... Busted. Yes, <clears throat> indeed. I understand. Good work. Hello, yes. Put everything in motion. Don't spare the whip. Oh. What? No, of course I don't mean an actual whip. Now get cracking. Could just like how would they find the way? Because we needed um we would to show us. It's like sad, not in the context of the game necessarily, but just in the, that's what we do, you know? Like it's, it brings up all of the things humans have done like that through history where you're just like, oh, Okay, wow, here we awful. are. It's been a wild couple of weeks. And Wii U, it's so good to finally meet you. Hello. Oi. John, everything okay? Mm. Oh yes, it's nothing, carry on. Oh, if you say so. So, Wii U, I've heard so much about you. I'm Bridget, in case you didn't know. Oh, okay. Right, well, just so you're aware, I'm sometimes known as the energy bacteria lady. I think it's because I positively grow on you. Oh, I'm great. Uh, I can see we're gonna get along just fine. So is everyone as excited as I am? Sure. Um... Oh, you're wise to be a little circumspect, Wii U. What can you tell us about it, though? It's nice in there. Very Mawagaraha. Very what now? Could you be a bit more specific? You know, this could be the answer we've been looking for. It's like I said in my report, Professor. The Flumalim don't really seem to be curious about it at all. Harold, you wrote a report? Well, just a little one. Howell's right. We really don't know much about it. I think it's probably very nice down there. Right. Well, okay. Let me reiterate the purpose of this expedition. We know the particles are a source of energy, but they're unstable and decay too fast on their own. Expedition? Yes, Wii U. It's imperative we get down there and take some readings. If we can learn where they come from, and or how they're produced, we might be able to engineer a solution. I hope you have more luck than Cyrus is having. Indeed. In the meantime, Bridget will be leading the mission prep from here, while I continue research from back at my lab. And what shall we do? Oh, you're both essential to the plan. We just haven't quite figured out in what way yet. That's okay. Oh, okay. Just keep yourself available, Harold. We'll let you know as soon as we know something. 
If you're really at a loose end, I'm sure Cyrus would appreciate some moral support. Okay, well, we'll be around. Wii U, shall we take a walk, check on a few people? Sorry, I've got something else I need to do. Huh? Really? Uh, yes. Sorry. Oh, sure, it's just that... Yeah, sorry. I just got used to having you around. But you're right, I'm being silly. You go to your thing, I'll catch up with you soon. Yes, <clears throat> I'll come and find you as soon as I'm done. Okay, let's get to it, everyone. It's my goal Exciting in life times. to be as unbothered by everything Just as we Just one second, is. Harold. What's up? No easy way to say this. Buddy has moved on. You mean he's finally retired? Who will deliver all the... No. I mean, he's left us. He died, Harold. Oh. Oh, Buddy. You didn't really know him, but he was a ray of light, always running through the dark halls of the Fedora. There'll be a funeral and a memorial run in his honor back on the ship soon. I'll be there. See that you are. Buddy's funeral. I think Buddy was the post guy? Who I didn't talk to, because I just assumed a mission would send us there and... Now it's too late. Such is life. Can't talk, huh? Sort of like a campfire effect coming up from it. I feel like we're gonna go down there, discover the source, and the humans are gonna be like, yoink, we need this to like take off, you know? And they're gonna wanna steal it. Or just take it. I mean, they wouldn't even classify it as stealing, right? Humans are just like, this is ours now. You made this? I made this. Mother nature like, huh? Uh, what do we got to do? Oh, Buddy's funeral. So I guess I go back. Thank goodness my jog button is working again. I could never jog in real life. I walk. <gasps> We've got a... Oh, that's what this is. It's a tube. So we don't have to submarine every time. Wow, they built this quick. I think I would just look ridiculous jogging. You know? bit like why I haven't ridden a bike since I was a teenager. It's just giving Donkey Kong Mario Kart, like... Pretty tall and broad. Sorry, funeral. Wait, that's not the post guy. No, I ain't got no clue who that is, to be honest. Everyone. It's fallen to me to say a few words. Buddy and I would often share a jog together. Jogging? What? And despite his age, he would always give me a run for my money. On our jogs and often afterwards, over a refreshing fish soup and cold beer, I came to realize something. Buddy was like the lifeblood of this station, surging up and down its corridors. Delivering information, keeping everyone connected. Oh, maybe it it's wasn't. Be oh, a place without it's a him. young picture of him. But he left me instructions that I shouldn't ramble on at his funeral. Maybe. But instead, I should play a video that he prepared for the occasion. Is it running? Yep, you're good to go. Hi, everyone. It is him. If you're watching okay. this, uh, it means I'm not around to deliver your mail and whip you all into shape in person anymore. I didn't want to trouble anyone with writing a long eulogy, so I recorded my own. My life wasn't much to write home or to anywhere about. I grew up while we were still floating around in space. Life wasn't much different, really. If anything, there's more to see out of the windows now. After we crashed, 
I think people felt sad that we weren't going to see new worlds. But as I got older, I realized that each person aboard the ship was a world of their own. So I became a postman, and it meant I got to visit lots of new worlds every day. Of course, back then we didn't have the tube system, so I had to be a bit more creative with how I got around the ship. Especially the broken bits. That was actually so beautiful. It made me realize the importance of staying in shape and being flexible. Where the body goes, the mind follows after all. And so, I wanted to leave this little collection of personal fitness and mind healthiness tips. So that even when I'm gone, I keep delivering smiles to you all. Oh, one last thing. I've arranged for my ashes to be delivered to the seas of this planet that has become our home. That way, some little parts of me will always be moving. Yeah. Was that okay? Yep. <laughs> Just fine. Okay, now, let's get moving. Take a deep breath. It's time to shake off those cobwebs. That was actually so sweet and saying each person is like a world. Oh, why did that hit me? How to keep moving. Stay supple and flexible. Inhale, exhale, reach up, reach down. <laughs> oh man, you got some hips. They're staring and lost track of the time. To bed. Ah, that's what that one on the left is now to Flumlim. Cool. <laughs> my granddad on my mum's side was a postman. And then, like, a handyman and worked for this family and he kept bees. I think he originally kept bees for them. And then when he retired, he kept his own bees. It was a hobby. More than anything. Well, Harold, let's see what tomorrow brings. He's got, like, the art from there hanging up instead of what he had before. Almost like he felt more at home there than here. Like, he's got rocks from there, too. His environment is slowly becoming like that environment. gelatinous like substance contains knowledge but ambiently this is not how i expected learning an alien language to go oh ah professor perhaps if i liquefy i may imbibe the knowledge must test ingesting it won't be poisonous first professor that's not how 
Go, oh, Harold, what did you say? About the books. You don't really read them. They have something to do with your state of mind, not their physical state. Whatever do you mean? With these jellies, you have to be really calm, empty your mind. Then you can get a sense of what's inside. So, you're saying it's a transcendental, meditative sense memory absorption process? Sh sure. Here, let me show you. Fascinating. Assuming you're not pranking me. I'll try it. Hopefully, I'll be able to research them more thoroughly now that... Is there anything else you need help with? No, but I bet Cyrus would appreciate a helping hand. Awesome company, cooped up in that little room. Good idea. I'll go check on him. Enjoy the jellies. Okay. Task, find something to do. Everyone's busy at the moment. They also don't need any help. Gotta be useful. Check on Cyrus. Okay. Well, six hours in, you think I would remember where the door is? I like feel bad neglecting my duty to clean the graffiti, but I also don't want to clean the graffiti, you know? Conflicted. Sigh? Sigh. I guess I shouldn't distract him. Oh, hey, Harold. Sorry, didn't see you there. Oh, no worries. You must be concentrating. Yes, can't stop concentrating. Can't make a mistake. Well, there's still a mistake somewhere. The simulation still isn't 100% reliable and it's driving me nuts. Is there anything else I can do to help? You could give me a back rub. Sai, you know I would, but knowing my clumsiness, I'd give you a trapped nerve and you won't be able to work anymore. Yes. Yes. Probably for the best. Just wish me luck then. Good luck, Sai. See you soon. How was that done? So how else will I be useful? Does it mean to do... Oh, hang on, what do we got here? Stay tuned for future cultural liaison updates. If you're lucky enough to witness a Flumlin play performance, the correct way to show your appreciation is by gurgling. Clapping is considered noisome and will risk confusing performers. Flumlin way of life is wavy and relaxed. Hurrying and scurrying around is considered foolish and certainly won't help speed anything up. Fit in by going with the flow. When meeting a Flumlin, the preferred method of acknowledgement is waggling your fingers upright, palm facing outwards. On no account must you perform a side waggle. This is highly rude. New All Water Cultural Liaison Departments pleased to unveil our top tips for travelers. Mr. Halibut, All Water is pleased to invite you to the public opening of our newest tube route, Flumlin Cave. Time to come to our attention, you've erroneously received a dispute resolution invitation due to some routine database rejuvenation. If you've already made a deposit to the dispute settlement fund, get in touch. Your presence at a dispute resolution. Hmm. Harold, have you heard the one about the sad janitor? He's always moping around. Mopping. Mopping around. Have you considered Q... Q pill? All needs one pill. Yes, I could find my friend. And see what they're up to. Location nominated. Oh, Journey another sneeze. God. Hey, fever season kicking in. You. Thank you for traveling with oh. all water. They're visiting here. Hello there. Do you need any help with that? Hi. Yes. This picture shows lots of tubes. Where do they all go? They go to different places. Did you have somewhere specific in mind you wanted to go? We're just exploring. 
<laughs> but we don't want to end up anywhere bad. Ah, oh, well, some areas of the ship are more fun than others, but nowhere is bad. <laughs> What's over in that part? Oh, that's the Agora Arcades. Lots to do there. Have you checked it out already? I think so. Do we need a new ticket to go somewhere else? Which ticket do you have already? Oh, we done. So, how did you... We had one. So, what did you... I gave it to another limb. They said we should check out the Castle Chop tube line. Oh, to go to the Energy District? No, just to go through the tube line. Do you know if it's a fun line? I would just recommend asking someone else. I'm not much of an expert. Okay, thank you. See you around. Hmm. Let's see the Flumlin. I wonder if I should go to other places whilst I'm here. No, let's just go straight to the cave. I feel like this is the way. Ah, wrong button. Every day. Imagine getting to work by going in a tube that just then fills with water and you're just... We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Here we go. Ah, Mr. Halibut. Good to see you. Hello, Mr. Secretary. What brings you here? How are you finding the cave? It's very agreeable. And it's my new posting. I'm responsible for raising awareness and enthusiasm for the new tube station. Like tourism? Well, something like that. We've not had a new destination to tube to in quite some time after all. In fact, we're running an exciting promotion at the moment. If you buy a monthly ticket, you get a translator earpod for free. And at no extra cost, we'll throw in a personal tracker so you don't get lost in the cave. Oh. That sounds great and all, but I already have an earpod. Ah, but our earpod gathers valuable analytics about tube usage and cave exploration per person, which we can use to further enhance our cave offering and tourism Data packages. Data collection. Don't you want to contribute to a better cave tube experience for all? Um, I think I'll stick with the one I already have. Well, I'll throw in a guide if you buy a ticket. I'll take a ticket, but I don't think I need the guide. I kind of already know my way around. As you wish, Mr. Halibut. I'll throw yours into the next person's package as a buy one, get one free offer. Gross. Friend, friend, where is my friend? And so, if I understand correctly, I wonder if your concept of Beluga Luga Luga with that little to demo for good measure is equivalent to the human idea of existential humanism. No one knows how does that work. Are they Oh look, they're jamming with the guy that has the guitar down in the ship. Love that. Our friend's not here. Imagine jamming with some aliens, dude. Sounds pretty good. Harold, come and meet Frank. Hey, Major. Hey, Frank. Major, where did you get Frank from? Well, hmm. it's not like I was illegally harboring an exotic pet. However, now that my jurisdiction has extended to the cave in a nominal capacity, it was imperative to legitimize Fedoran interference with non-human and non-Fedora native life forms. And so, whether or not I was illegitimately harboring Frank, I can now proudly display him to the world. Isn't he the cutest? Yes, he is a lovely flounder. I'm sure he's glad to be out in the open. Halibut, I hope you're not implying I treated him unduly whilst I was, uh... Major, it's okay. I can see you take good care of him, and I'm glad you don't have to hide him anymore. Well... I appreciate that, Halibut. Maybe you're not such a delinquent after all. <laughs> Wasn't that our I friend tried. behind? I mean, I try not to be. You know what I mean. Very good. Very good. Well, 
We'd best be off. People to see. Places to go. Frank has some catching up to do. I feel like I just saw our friend walk behind, or is it just someone that looks like you? Oh, just the same sort of cape. I got confused. Well... Like, I feel like there's something in the fact that there's graffiti all over the cave, like graffiti, like art, right? And then we've had a graffiti issue on the ship. Sort of uh, similarities and such and such. Oh, I was wrong. There was less to do here than I thought. Let's go to the arcade. We get you where you're going. Ba, ba. Travel in style with all water. Harold's got to find something to do with himself. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will up, 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 up. make it up to you. through the right way for once. Hey, look who it is! Huh? Who's there? It's you, silly! You heard rumors of the irresistible new Soleil Sweets, eh? Hmm? You mean these cupcakes? Wow, they're really colorful. Yes, they're full of that sunny cheer. That's great, Sunny. I'll try one. What's your best seller? Um, well, that's very relative. What do you mean? So, I sold like 10 Starburst Royales at the start, but, uh... I'm sure it's just a matter of time until word of mouth gets around. <laughs> oh, I'm sure business will pick up. There's certainly eye-catching enough. I tell you what it is, Harry. It's water wieners. He's got the best spot, and I guess no one feels like a cupcake after a wiener. No? I suppose that doesn't sound like an appetizing combo. I just feel like, you know, the Does doors that? need a change and a little color in their lives. And I bet the Flumi Lim would love a chance to try water wieners. That's a good idea. Have you suggested it to him? Me? No, I mean, I don't want him to think the competition is unfriendly. But if a neutral third party was to suggest it to him, then who knows? Oh, oh. Oh, no, I I'm no good at... Come on, Harry, please. It'll be good for him. Good for me, the Flumi Lim will love it. Just plant the seed. For me, for, for old time's sake. Well, I am peckish, and if the topic comes up, I do like the cave, so... Ah, I knew I could count on you. Here, have complimentary Starburst Royale as a little thank you. Well, thanks, Sonny. I feel like asking for anything for old time's sake is like... bad. Manipulative. Hi there. Welcome to Warren's Water Wieners. What will we be wanting? Hmm. What do you recommend? Well, I'm personally partial to the toasted seaweed worst, but the sizzling tofu dog is amazing too. Oh, a person just walked great. between us mid conversation. I bet the flumalum loved the seaweed one, huh? <laughs> yes, I imagine they would. I'll take a seaweed worst, I think. Mm hmm, a fine choice. So, business is good? I certainly can't complain. Glad to hear it. You know, I've been looking forward to this. I've been in the cave, very hungry. Not much fast food there. Oh, really? Well, hope this is worth the wait. Sure it will be. I almost feel bad for those in the cave who can't easily have some worst. No, that's nice of you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the cave really would be a great business opportunity. If I could cook, 
I'd open a worse stand there myself. You should learn. It's very rewarding. Here, it's ready. Tuck in. Thanks. <sighs> By the way, have you been to the cave? I made a quick visit. It was great. Okay, okay. Well, I'll be getting back. Oh, could you do me a favor and try one of... Hang on. Did you say, do me a flavor? No, actually, I said... Do you a new flavor? I bet they have some pretty unique ingredients in the cave. I could even invent new relishes or entire new wiener recipes. You've given me a crazy idea. Really? Yes, I'll move to the cave. It's a great business and creative opportunity for water wieners. Maybe I'll finally be able to achieve my dream of a wiener that captures the essence of new horizons. You... you should totally go for it. Guess I'll see you there, Warren. Thank you again. I owe you a free wiener. Completely misses the point and then arrives there on his own steam. Oh, report back. Well, did you manage to convince him? Yeah, somehow. I actually did, I think. Either way, he'll be going to the cave soon. Ah, oh, you're the best! I just know that tomorrow these little beauties will be flying off the cart. I hope so. But don't worry, I'll save one for you. No. <coughs> I mean, no, that's okay. I've already got to try one. You should save them all for new customers. Oh, look at you being all noble. Thanks again, Harry. See you soon. So I feel for like... now, I've got to get started on the biggest batch of Moonlight Rainbow ever. <gasps> I feel like this part is kind of just to encourage you to go explore, see what's going on, do the side stuff, and wait for something to pop up. Gotta do something useful, you know? Our optional tasks are just meet Zoya at the arcade, talk with those people, and clean the graffiti, which I've done on both. I mean, Zoya's no longer at the arcade, so I guess that mission's timed out. Let's see what they make of human food. This dark liquid is so hot. Are you sure we're supposed to drink it? Yes, that's what they told me. They said it's not nice cold, but not to have too much at once. How much is too much? They didn't say. But I think this is our fifth cup, and I feel great. Yes, I do feel like it's giving me lots of energy. <laughs> this coffee tastes of minerals and steam. Well, don't recognize anyone else here, so on to the next. Still sad we didn't win the raffle. Let's go to the energy district. Chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water system Maybe our friend is working with Bridget, although she is on. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Maybe I should go to the cave area. To taste the disinfectant. You know. Um. Oh, hey, Harold! Everything okay? Oh, sure. Just putting the finishing touches to the all-important relaunch procedure. Basically, all on my own, with no one to help me, just like always. Old Slippy with the world on his shoulders. I'm sure you're doing great. Yeah, I'm making the coolant procedure more efficient than ever. It's going to be able to cover a lot of ground. Like me. <laughs> Gotta stay cool, given no one is ever around to help. How about I give you a hand? What? No, what are you doing? Don't touch that! But I, I thought you said... Never mind. I'll leave you to it. That would be really great. Okay. 
Yeah, maybe if I go back to the um Please halt for your Do not try to taste the disinfectant. Where the stuff's coming up. The, the, the like the hole, you know. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. Only place I can think that might have something. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Uh, yeah. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing. The real to tube in London today. is kind of like nasty, honestly. It's like that underground hot air. Where is the uh, place? Oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. Hang on. There we go. The sneeze led me here. Now oh, this looks like something. Kids, concentrate, please. I am, but this stuff is boring. Look, if you don't want to help, you can go right back to school and do your normal homework. That's fine by me. Hey there, Bridget. Right, uh, okay, yes. <laughs> Kids, don't let me down. Harold, let's go, lots to do. Uh, got, gotta do it, Harold. Yes, what? There's much to be done. The workstation is going to need a depth gauge. We'll probably need tubing of various sorts, sonar for the... And of course, thermometer. We'll need a barometer, naturally. And we'll need the computer components to tie it all together. You... you want me to find all of that? What? No, don't be silly. I'm not a monster. I've got the kids helping. It's all under control. Oh, so is there anything I can do? Gee, I mean... Uh... Hmm... I guess you could help me plug in the cables? Great. Let me take a look. Hey, are you working back there? I'm watching, you know. I've got eyes in the back of my head. I kind of feel like part of this is the meaning that when it comes down to it and there's like a, everyone suddenly has a task that's really important, that Harold doesn't actually have a purpose among his own people, you know? Um, in here. Okay, there's one done. Great, keep up the good work. Uh, that makes two. It's like the kids' toys, so if I got this wrong, that would sure be embarrassing, huh? All good so far? A little square? Thanks, Harold, you're saving my back. A s what was this one? Circle, where it go? It doesn't. Sorry, Bridget. One of the cables doesn't seem to fit properly. Oh, hey there, Tommy. Hey, Harold. Don't mind me. We won't. Anyway, what does that mean for us, Harold? Uh, it means we're missing an adapter. Uh, it means my inventory is inaccurate. Tommy, I really hope the adapter wasn't in that last lot of stuff you made me throw away. Bridge, I didn't make you throw anything away. I just gently suggested you might want to rationalize. Yes, but I'm not going to feel very rational if we can't find it because of your gentle suggestion. Look, I'm sure it's still lying around somewhere in the energy harvest. Harold, could you check there for me, please? It's where I packed everything up, so it's our best bet. Sure, I'll head over. Positive attitude, love it. Oh, while you're there, actually, we've been having some connection issues with the data transfers. Packet loss and the like. Could you look into setting up a better connection? I can try. It's not really my area of expertise. Where's that positive attitude gone? But, uh, maybe you're right. Perhaps you could get Rafi to help? I'll ask them. I'll let you know ASAP. Great. Good luck. Cool. See ya, Tommy. Laters. So I gotta go back to the two places that I just went to. Bum, bum, bum. No 
I wonder Harold's gonna probably end up wanting to stay here where it's all chill. No one asks him to run around back and forth, suffering from the human condition. I mean, the thing is, is you'd very quickly get bored, you know, perhaps in a world like this, in a society like this, but maybe we're meant to be bored. Maybe we are, oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong button. Maybe we are meant to just be laying in the grass, looking at the sky and being like, I have nothing to do today determined. and learning now, to be okay with that with all water. and not chasing dopamine and everything else and You're instead... Here. Finding happiness through connection with others in our little village, you know. And that's why I'm starting a cult. So hit the subscribe button and join the cult. At some point, we will be moving to an island together. And um, it'll just be us there living life. And it'll be a wonderful society. All great and awesome. Location nominated. Journey commencing. More water thanking you. I feel like if that really happened, right, and you went and lived in a society like this, Thank you it for would take with all water. a very long time to rewire your brain out of the dopamine chase, out of the scroll, out of the internet, out of everything that we do daily to, like, make life bearable. And then eventually you just hit a point where you're like, okay, I'm in the rhythm with nature. I'm able to lay in the grass and just enjoy it. It's like if you ever go on holiday, right? Like it takes days to even get into the holiday mindset sometimes, at least for me, because I'm go, 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 go all the time with work and making stuff. It's like five days and then I'm like, oh, okay, like I can actually chill now for a minute. And then it's like time to go home. Rafi? Hmm? Have you got a minute? Probably. Hang on. Um, I have a favor to ask you. We need a better connection in the cave. The workstation. It's really important. The cave? Yeah. We're trying to mount an expedition into the crack. Sounds fun, but <laughs> not for me. I know it sounds difficult, but uh, it'd behave. really be a big help to everyone. No, it'll just be like last time. What was the last time? Oh, he didn't tell you. Who, who tell me what? Slippy. He asked me to help him with this ski machine. And? I helped. Things didn't work fast enough. He got angry. Shouted. So now I don't do tech help. Oh, I'm sorry. It really won't be like that with Bridget, though. And- I'm happy here. Got my cabinets and tunes. Sorry. Okay, I tried. See you, Rafi. Well. Psst, Harold. Hey, Felix, what's up? The password is Flatfish. The, the password what? Don't tell anyone. Don't be late. Tell anyone what? L late for what? Where? Felix. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? Felix. Felix who? Felix my lolly. I'll be really annoyed. I should follow that up with the fact that a lolly is what you call like either an ice lolly or a lollipop here. So Felix, if he licks my lolly. Um, energy. All water. Moving people every day. Knock, knock. Who's there? Little man who can't reach the doorbell. Enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. welcome. Please submit to a gentle disinfecting. Close your eyes. Procedure will begin in three, two. <laughs> Is it in here? You said in here, right? Where everything was packed up? 
They said energy. Maybe I have to talk to that guy again. Harold, my boy, come here. How's it going, Slippy? Good, good. I'm nearly done. And it's looking great. Say, have you seen an adapter lying around? Harold, I'm sorry, but does it look like I have time to be looking for adapters? I suppose not. In fact, I could do with some help. Oh? I need to finish hooking up these tubes for some tests. Right. So, are you going to help me or just stand and watch me suffer? Sorry, sure, I'll help. Great. We need to connect both the tubes at the same time, okay? I love these little scenes. Say, say when. What do I just put it? Where do I put it? Nothing's happening. Huh? Where do you? What? Hello? Um, slip. Slippy. Slip my stuff. Oh, there we go. Um. Okay. Well, good job. Thanks, Harold. Glad to see I'm not totally in this alone. No problem, Slippy. Good luck with it all. Oh, and can you keep this little episode between you and me? I don't want Madam CEO breathing over my shoulder thinking I need help, okay? All right. Um. Filter Frankie. Kiddo, this is Filter Frankie. I know about the missing part. I might be able to help meet me at the filter station. Come alone. Meet Filter Frankie. Felix gave me a password. Find the missing adapter. Probably one in the energy harvest. Is this... And if not energy harvest, or... I don't see any adapter or anything. I guess I'll go meet this Frankie. Filter from the lab. Compliments you on your choice of destination. All water. We get you where you're going. Okay. But yeah, what what type are you? Are you um are you a like would you already get on quite well just laying in the grass every day for the rest of your life? Hanging out with a handful of people? What if you, like, get sick of the people, though, you know? Like, in your little village or whatever? Like, all you've got is 30 other people around and just... Ugh, oh, I've met everyone. I'm bored of you all. Hello? Filter Frankie? Are you there? It's me, Harold. I know who you are. We're the same, you and I. Oh, it's we you. We are? Yes. Drawn to the dark, the damp, where the outside world can leak into this place we call home. Who? And we both love digging around in filters. Hey, Harold. Tommy. But I know, I know, but you know what people would say if they knew what I did down here? I guess, but... They'd say, oh, that Tommy, what does he get from digging around in those filters when he could be minding his shop like a normal shop guy? Uh, I'm not sure they'd say those exact words. Anyway, I was torn, pal. Didn't want to cause you any moral dilemmas. 
But I'm always telling Bridget what a hoarder she is, like she said in our little argument in front of you. So when I realized how important that adapter thing was, I combed through the rubbish filters and found it. Oh, I see. So you didn't want to admit to her it was kind of your fault. But then, why not just give me the adapter as Tommy? I thought about it. But Filter Frankie can get lonely, you know? And then I realized who better to share his secret than you, a fellow Filter aficionado. I'm honored. You've kept his identity secret for so long. But it got quite tiring, sneaking around, acting shocked at the rumors. There were a few times you nearly discovered me, even. Still, our little secret, eh? Filter Frankie technically operates in the shady side of the law. Tommy, Frankie, your secret is safe with me. You're a good lad, Harold. Filter Frankie remembers his friends. Here's the adapter. Just don't tell Bridget where you really found it, huh? Thanks, Frankie. Tommy, I won't. See you around. <laughs> the fact he's just crouched behind me right now. Like, can I just... I can see you. You're right there. All right, we got the adapter. Certainly as someone that's doing a million things and always looking to do more, like, I barely had enough time as it was and then I started my new channel, the movie channel. And I'm like, still working on videos for that. They take longer, so that's why there's not been anything up there for a bit, but. I do find, I find it hard to Travel in style. Fully understand the mindset of people who don't want to do anything. I can get it when it's people embracing it in a spiritual way. Of like... They're just... It's like... I don't know. Like... Cabin in the woods. Taking care of nature. Like, they're busy with things that are nothing. Like, if you want to be busy with stuff that's not a side hustle, but it's like enriching to you, like... You are making progress either on yourself or on your environment every day. Like, I totally respect and understand that. I, d I find it hard to understand people who literally want to do nothing. But that nothing also includes not working on themselves and not doing anything that's for, like, a higher purpose, you know? That's just bed rot, I guess, just rotting away, like, which is fine every now and then, but if, if, if it's just that always, I just, I, I don't, you know, and I, 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 I don't mean to sound judgy on it, I'm just saying for, for me and my mindset, I find it hard to relate to that, you know, in a way of just, I, I would like people to at least better themselves. Maybe you're learning a language, maybe you're just working through some stuff, maybe you're trying to find what makes you happy. As long as you're trying, that's all that matters, you know, just to like, sometimes just getting up and being is enough every day and just making even the slightest, smallest progress towards a greater existence for yourself or for the people around you is kind of what it's all about to me. Just. Even if it's the tiniest step, that's all you got to do. Even if today you brushed your teeth and yesterday you didn't, you know? Even if today you hydrated properly and yesterday you didn't. All the way up to having a conversation with someone, checking in on someone, all the way up to, you know, working towards your dream position or where you want to be in life or what your goals are. It can be on any scale that you want. I just want... It's just like I I can't stand seeing people not attempt to reach their potential. It's like, it's tough for me. Because everyone has so much. Got the adapter for you, Bridget. Ah, oh, Harold, you found it. You see what a can-do attitude can do? So, where was it in the end? Oh, uh, just kind of lying around. Lying around, eh? Come on, tell me. My organizational pride depends on it. Um, a filing cabinet. It had somehow 
got into a drawer in a, in a filing cabinet in the a drawer. Chamber. Hmm. I don't remember packing up around there. Are you sure? Oh, great. The computer is all booted up. Finally, I can get going. You're a star. No worries. Man. Meet Felix secretly. Oh, I bet it's in the bathroom. I bet it's the, the light keepers. Probably should have gone there whilst I was in the lab area. I was rambling away. About life, the cosmos, and everything. But equally, you know, that's, I'm just sharing my mindset, you know, and if someone doesn't feel that way, that's also totally fine. Like, people probably look at the way I live my life and are like, dude, like, what are you doing? Slow down. Like, it's all not that deep. Like, you're giving your life to creating these things, you know? But, I mean, it's what I enjoy. Like, I was ill recently. And I literally decided. couldn't record stuff. <clears throat> My voice is still recovering now, as you can hear in this playthrough, but I was miserable you have <laughs> when I couldn't do stuff. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. And as much we as I already knew that, soon. even more, I really did think, wow, when I'm like not even able to make a little TikTok and like share something and feel useful and productive, I am unhappy, dude. Because as soon as I felt well enough to do a bit of work, I was like, oh, I feel a million times better. You may now exit the tube. We're all just Thank trying to solve our own depression daily. So, uh, you know, find your thing, man. That's, that's, all, that's all I ever wanted to encourage people to do. And what I don't understand, I think, is I want people to find their thing, even if that thing is, uh, well, whatever. It could be whatever. Wow, they're not here. Okay, where would Felix be? <sighs> not to be late or where to go. Told me not to be late, but not where or when to not be late to meet Felix secretly and we can't go in the bathroom and we can't go in the vents <clears throat> hmm missing that snap that sweet saucy sound. sweet saucy what i guess i just have to search everywhere Nursing them back to health. I don't really want to talk to the old woman. She's mean to me. But, you know, I, I, I totally get that I'm a bit of a, a workaholic and that comes with its own things that need unpacking, to be honest. I have made amazing steps in terms of just, now, relax. like, not streaming for a while has helped me rewire that part of my brain, because for the longest time that drove my life to such an extent where You're here. Thank you for choosing my day was tubes. always built around, oh, I've got to stream tonight, like, I've got to get on tonight. I wasn't taking holidays, I never took days off, I streamed every single day. And, uh... You know, it was nice, but I realize now that it's much better to not live that way. Damn, I thought it was going to be that place. Where are they? Where would a secret be? Could it be, like, the VIP? Like, somewhere we haven't been? What's this? Oh, this is a package of gentlemen's grooming essentials. Inspired by my grandpappy, who was always so well Maybe in the social district somewhere. A little bit too much, like... 
when the entire game is running around, we've now had two missions that are like location nominated. Time extenders of like run around the bunch to find Thank the next you. thing rather than just directing us to the next thing. Thank you for traveling. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it's a little bit of like let's extend the playtime in a way that's not quite meaningful. But maybe I'm just being dumb. Maybe I should. I should know where I'm meant to go. I thought it would have been the toilet, but doesn't look like it's here. He got tired. The band broke up. He came home. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. That's all. I could probably do those two. <laughs> but then I guess I wouldn't have seen that happen if it wasn't having me run around everywhere, so. All water. Swings and roundabouts. People, peaks and troughs. We hope you travel with us again soon. Alright, not gonna lie, I looked it up because I've been running around for ages and it's up here. I didn't even see these stairs or this doorway. I don't know, let me know in a comment if you've been seeing this through the playthrough anytime I've been here and been like, what's that door up there? And I get now looking at it that it's it's super lit up. Like they've done everything in terms of the environment to be like, come up and check this door. I did not spot it, okay? So I, I feel like I would have just run around forever. And not gone up here. I did not know that this existed. What's the password? Um, Flatfish? Bad luck, no dice. Wait, what? But Felix told me. What? I'm the password setter for today. I made it Flatfish just this morning. Well, you didn't tell me. Just let him in. It's Harold. I can't do that. It's protocol. Okay, well. As this week's password setter, I'm telling you, it's Flatfish. Okay, password updated. Uh, so what's the password? Flatfish. Nope. What? But... Ah, uh, just messing with you. Come on in. Welcome to the Lightkeeper's official headquarters. Huh. What? You're not the Lightkeepers. We are. All the ship's That's kids. Us. Pretty cool, huh? All the graffiti? The stuff with the rock? That was all you kids? Hey, we're not kids. We might not be quite as old or as tall as you, but we know what we're doing. Wow. Is this all of you? Pretty much. You're the first older member we've invited. Well then, thanks for inviting me to the club. Ahem, <clears throat> not a club. We're an anarcho syndicist hacktivism collective. Oh, of course. Anyway, how can I help? Well, whatever you do, just bear in mind it'll probably go unnoticed. Yava, what are you saying? That's no way to motivate the new blood. I'm just saying, that time in the toilet cubicle, I was there for hours and no one ever- Wait, that was you? Hey, 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 everyone, can we get back on track, please? Sure. I'll just suffer in silence as always. Yes, we've uncovered some pretty crazy facts recently. Normally, we'd handle it ourselves. But unfortunately, this time we require the help of an adult. One we can trust. Not one of them. That's you, Harold. Me? Yes, you. Uh... Our time has come. Too long have we been overlooked by the older yet no wiser of the Fedora. Yeah. So let's watch back the footage Harold helped us record. Everyone shush. Look, this is the important part, Harold. Freeze it there, Felix. Now, enhance. Uh, what? And begin the image. Zoom in. Uh, okay. Is that? Precisely. Well, it's not very precise, is it? Well, what's important is that we believe the time on the watch to reveal the true time. That is to say, all water time, as shown in the video, and true time do not agree. Hang on a sec. How do you know the watch on the shelf isn't just broken or something? Ha! Huh, we thought of that at first. But look at this. See? This one also shows a different time. 
It must be this watch she's looking for. Why do you even have that? My grandfather gave it to me. He hung on to it during the big watch exchange. He used to say, what's mine is mine. Ain't no corporation gonna take it away from me, whether they all part or no water. And here we have... Yeah, we really don't know what this bit means. But surely it has something to do with the whole conspiracy. We've been had. They've been pulling the wool over everyone's eyes this whole time. Well, now, let's not... What other conclusion is there, Harold? Come on, we thought you were cool. Don't side with the man. We need to reveal this betrayal for the greater good of the station. If we can uncover their motives too, even better. I reckon they're doing it for control. First they'll steal time, and then they'll steal... And then... Well, I think they're planning something at night. And they need more secret time to finish their dastardly plan. Or maybe they're just... Enough theories. Look, here's the plan. We'll split up into three groups. Due to our long-term relationship with Captain Zoya, it shouldn't be an issue to get him involved. Corey and Eve, you'll go up to the Captain's cockpit and take care of getting him on side. Roger! Roger! Your mission is to convince him to put out a diversionary message over the PA. We should get him to say that there's a giant meteoroid heading our way! What? An underwater one? Uh, yeah! I'll leave the detail to you two. The key is to get Miss CEO Busy Chops out of her office. Felix, you'll... Dash in, grab the package, slip past the... Felix? No, you'll be holding the secretary's door with Harold to stop him from getting involved. Me? I don't know if I should get involved. You're the only grown-up. You're stronger than us. It's a key part of the plan. Don't betray us now, Harold. Uh... Lise, you wait in front of the door to Castle Chop's office. When she steps out, do your where are my parents routine. I'll hide behind the plant by the door and slide through like a cool gust of wind while she's distracted by your cute misery. Yay! I haven't had a good tantrum in ages! Everyone clear? Roger. 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 Roger? But will this really work? You got any better ideas? I... Uh, I'd probably better not have. Then it's decided. Operation Trident of Truth is go. Okay, well here they play, for some reason, in full, the song that Bella Chow Chow Chow, like, as a heist song, and it's getting claimed, so I'm gonna have to put this over it, put my own music over it, and redo the entire video. Why have you done this to me? I really wish uh, games would stop doing this with songs that aren't their own. But, um, I'm just here to keep you company for a minute, just read what's on the screen, and it's just, you know, we'll be back with the audio in a second. I didn't want you to think, where's my sound gone? So, um, I will leave this in rather than cut it, since it's an important scene, I guess. And you can read the dialogue on the screen with this music, and then we'll be back in the game. Okay, okay, thank you, bye-bye.
do all show the same time. CEO Hasselchop, we hereby present our findings and let your conscience be the judge of their veracity. What? I know I promised to keep an open door policy, but I hardly think it extends to rambunctious children. We're not kids. Well, you're certainly not all water employees. Unless you'd like to be. No, we're here to say we know your plans. Here is our theory. Deny it if you can. Well, hurry up and get it over with then. I've got work to do. We know we were onto something when we noticed Yavi's watch wasn't slowing down, but didn't match up with the official time. So we made a secret recording of you in your office and realized how badly you wanted that watch back because you were trying to recover the last piece of evidence that all water is trying to steal time. <laughs> how fanciful. But I'm afraid, totally erroneous. I will, however, concede that you fabricated an entertaining story and you delivered with admirable panache. Just what do you suppose I'm doing with the stolen time? Maybe taking the time for yourself? Uh, Felix? I mean, how would that work? Don't defend her, Harold. Maybe all you adults are in on it. Try to regain your youth. I didn't know I'd lost it. What? How old are you anyway? I'm in my 20s. Wow, I'd really? never dig that. Come on, how old are you, really? But you're so grown up -y. Hey, I'm not... I would have thought you were more my age. Uh, could we not focus on my age, please? Yes, Miss Castlechop, stop trying to deflect our attention. Oh, you see right through me. Okay, you want to know how it really is. You children have totally misunderstood a fundamental principle. That is, that the Fedora is undergoing a ship-wide energy crisis. If you'd have stopped for a minute to consider that, you may have reasoned the following. The all-water tube system benefits the public. Everyone loves their individualized mobility and would never submit to having those liberties curtailed. So we can't balance the energy budget there. Shortening daylight hours was the next option. But even if people would theoretically agree to that, They'd keep the same routines and use even more energy by keeping their own lights on. So we had to shorten their routines. A few seconds. Just a few minutes every few years, you understand? But it adds up. And we had to keep it secret because it sounds like another curtailing of freedoms. Now we're slowly balancing the energy. People have a better work-life balance. And they're getting more sleep, thus being happier and healthier too. It's all in the name of making the ship and its citizens happier and ensuring maximum freedom of choice at all times. Oh, I see. But what about... I mean... Bah! When you put it like that... So now you know the importance of being grown up. I'll be taking this... and you'll all be leaving. But no, we know the truth. It will all come out. <laughs> Just try it. See what the grown-ups think of your absurd theories. But why don't you... Out now! Secretary 24? Whatever are you doing? Oh, nothing for you to worry about, Madam CEO. We had a small incident. It's all taken so care of. So that's why it always feels like we're going to bed. <sighs> we need to go back to the hideout, regroup, and, and figure out late. our next course of action. Yeah, and get some snacks maybe a nap but time is of the essence there's nothing we can do right now we can't all be seen together does this mean me too sure you're one of us now but i do have other things to do yeah let's split up for now see you all back there godspeed light keepers because so they've been sort of turning the being like order, turning the lights order. off and telling everyone to go to bed now that we're all here we need to decide on our next course of action. We've got to expose them. Whatever Castle Chop's explanation, people need to know. Yeah, man. Let the people make their own minds up. Information wants to be free, you dick. But what can we do? I'm not sure. It's not like people listen to me. We've got to go big. Bigger than ever before. No. From what I've read about such matters, a small, well-placed anonymous suggestion is more powerful. We need legitimacy. What if we mount another secret mission? Yeah, because our last one went so well. What about pamphlets? Oh, we could tell the truth through catchy bee poetry. 
Hello, Fedorans. Tonight we bring you an unscheduled but nonetheless timely announcement. Before I hand over to our All Water Press Secretary for the full details, I'd like to assure you that I very much feel, agree, and or condone what is about to tell you all. And I regret that it came to this. This, the following, which he'll follow up with now. Thank you, Madam CEO. It's my duty to announce that the All Water Corporation owes you all an apology. Certain details of the past watch and clock replacement scheme have since been discovered to have not met with our rigorous all-water public-facing customer contentment protocols. Those unfortunate past mistakes, which were mistakes at the time on our end but that no one probably noticed, but meant we could theoretically have handled it better, deserve to be made up to you. To prove our sincerity when it comes to taking responsibility for our past, accidental and good-natured mistakes, the person responsible has offered their own resignation, which we accepted only reluctantly and at their great insistence. We'd like to remind you that All Water continues to dedicate itself to your well-being and satisfaction 24-7. Or perhaps it would be simply better to say, always, no matter what the time technically is. We will do better in the future. That's a personal promise. Thank you all it's for your time. It's a cover-up. Until next time... Who even resigned? Enjoy All Water's efforts all of the time. Well, I guess that's that then. YouTuber what? apologies be like. Isn't that a good thing? We've got them running scared. What? What did half of that even mean? That's a jive talk. It was so vague that it kind of covered everything. Uh, it's very clever. It preempted and deflects anything we might do. Checkmate. Oh, well, you know, gang, we gave it our best shot. We kept on fighting. Yeah, and it was real swell of Harold to help. Yeah, we dig that, H-Man. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I need to sort something out. Anything we can help with? We kind of owe you one. Oh, thanks, but no, it's okay. I've just got to reply to Bridget. We're having connection problems. Did you ask Rafi? Yeah, but they said they couldn't help. Well, you know, we often find all sorts of strange things coming through this garbage chute. Even things that people like Rafi might not want the world to see, if you get my meaning. Yeah? But that sounds a bit mean. Oh, it's nothing personal. But we did find an official document showing Rafi's involvement in the all-water clock swap directive. Yeah, it was like, half shredded. Oh, yeah! And didn't the shredder come down the chute the day after? Just take it, Harold. Do with it what you will. We could give him the tape, too. I don't know if I want more sensitive materials. No, silly. It's a rock tape. The kind Rafi is always listening to. Maybe that'll convince him instead. Oh, okay, sure. Thanks, everyone. It's been fun. Keep up the good fight, Harold. Yeah. And we'll be watching. No, we won't be. <clears throat> Peace out. <laughs> I feel like that'll be a choice as to whether we, um... Like, choose blackmail or to be nice and be like, I'll give you some rock music. It's time to sleep. Okay. Out of order. Can't go there anymore. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You're here. Thank you for choosing All Water Tube. Good evening, Fedorans. The All Water Tube system will shortly be closed. Get home safe. Destination determined. Now, relax. It all makes sense with the curfew water. and everything. Thank you for traveling with All Water. We were trying to save energy. Well, time to tuck in.
bed. That was a wild ride. Madam CEO just wasn't phased, but I've got to give it to those kids. They're really switched on. Anyway, thanks to them, I can hopefully convince Rafi. And another important day tomorrow. I'm beat. Which again is like a comparison with the alien life, how they just feel when it's tea time, when it's late, when it's bedtime, and when to get up, and the humans are told, and everything is shut down, and it's like, it's time for bed. Harold, at last. Professor, you're never going to believe what I discovered about- Harold, I hate to interrupt you, but I have serious matters to discuss. I know, but really, this is cool. I mean, important. If you hadn't overslept, perhaps I'd have time to listen to your stories. I came as fast as I could, Professor, honestly. Yes, yes, as fast as only you could be. Anyway, our preliminary external readings and evaluation is complete. Oh, about the crack. What are they? The crack looks promising. Is... Uh, is that it? Of course that's it. It's an alien origin source of a potentially miraculous energy. What more do you want me to tell you by just looking at it? Now we need cold, hard data. Oh, I suppose we need someone to go down. I know I'm not that technical, but I've always wondered what it'd be like to explore an alien world. Wasn't it you that made contact and saw the habitat of the first sentient alien race humankind has encountered? Well, yes, but it's really just a cave, and the Flumalim are so nice, I don't really see them as aliens. It could be really alien down the crack. What is it? Nothing, my boy. I'd love to send you down there. I think you deserve it, even. But not without a probe going first. I don't want you to come back as gas, or some other state you shouldn't be in. And... if I know you... Here is a probe, would you do me the honors? Definitely. Can't wait to find out what it tells us. Hmm. Why is there some sort of like... Uh, is it just me? Like an underlying... sinisterness of... Oh yeah, let's send you down there. I can't wait to send you down, you know? It's just like a slight thing of Harold being expendable or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way the lines are being delivered and I'm looking into it too much. I've. We have an observatory. Can't go down there yet for some reason. I went the wrong way again. So, to Rafi. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. I wonder if you added up how many tube trips you take and how much time is spent taking tube trips. Tube, tube, tube on a Tuesday. You know. Look at, um... The guy from the shop having a drink with the, that long-legged broccoli alien. Rafi? Uh, yes? I've got a little something that I think might persuade you to help. Harold, I'm sorry, but... Didn't I tell you I wasn't interested at all? You did, but that was before I got this. Is that... is... Yep. The famous live recording of Mega Twitch at Werribee Sewage by the one, the only, Kutsu Hong Shiny Prize. The only record of it on the station. How did you get this? Let's just say with a little help from my friends. 
Uh, I guess one of the original Fedora crew also had friends in high places to get this on board. Come on, Rafi. You get the record, and Bridget is cool. I promise she won't shout at you. <sighs> okay. Fine. Okay, my sweet. I'll be back for you soon. If you were, like, stuck here where there's no new stuff, no new music, like, no new games, things like that would be, um, very important. Hold it right there, Halibut. Ah, hey, Major. Frank isn't with you? This is official business, and I haven't yet deputized him, so he's sitting this one out. Anyway, I need to issue you a fine. What? But I've definitely not been on the wrong tube. Not tube related. It's come to my attention that you were part of some rabble-rousing in the Old Water District recently. Oh, that. But surely it wasn't actually breaking any rules. Are rules all you care about? You should be a good role model to those innocent children, not filling their head with tales of adventure and rebelliousness. So I should really fine you for improper supervision of a group of minors. But Major, it was their well, idea. That sounds terrible. Don't try to pass the buck. But still, given the CEO chose not to press any charges, and given how busy I am, perhaps I can let you off with a warning. That would be great. I promise to be a better influence on them in the future. See that you do, Halibut. I don't want to hear another troublesome peep out of you, especially with all our new guests around. Thank you, Major. Best behavior. You have my word. Very good. And tell Frank I say hi. I will. Troublesome peeps, my Carry rip, on, rap name. Before I change my mind. Please, welcome to the stage, Troublesome Peep. Hey, yo. My name Troublesome Peep. I talk in my sleep. I'm always doing some mumble rap. Beep. I'd have been a great rapper. Okay. Let's let Bridget know that we're good to go. We get you where you're going. Because even this guy's announcements, I'm starting to be like, oh my god. You know, but again, that could be, it could be designed. We could be feeling the monotony of Harold's life here to the point where he's going to want to stay Water with the aliens, right? That has to be where it's going. But I feel like we've got surely another twist in this tale, another, like, building up to some sort of Unsatisfactory journey beat for some here. Reason. Just contact your nearest, uh, uh, and all water will make it up to you. Like, how many times have we heard that? I feel like it's part of the art, it's part of the design, it's this thing of just Harold's monotonous life, right? It has to be. It's such a gorgeous game, honestly. Like, the art style and everything else really holds it together. If this had just been a simple point and click drawn style, I think I would have not played it and I probably would have tuned out from it. But the way that it's done is um, it works so well. Bridget, good news. I spoke <clears throat> to Rafi and they're happy to help, more or less. Oh, great. I knew we could rely on that silver tongue of yours. Well, it was touch and go for a while, but they should be working on it right now. Good work, Harold. Oh, and Moreau gave me this probe. Ah, lovely. She mentioned she'd be working on it. As soon as we've got everything up and running here, we can let it down. Leave it with me. <laughs> Et voila! Now we're cooking with gas. Great. So, what's next? We can let the probe down. Ah, oh, Harold, just think what wonders await us down there. What new marvels of alien life and power. Power? Did I say power? I meant, you know, energy. Power, juice, gas, zoom, zoom, pep, get up and... Okay, I see. Yeah, I hope we find something that can help with the troubles we're having. We'll soon see. Or the probe will. Hmm. I feel like we should give it a name. This could be a momentous occasion, so the probe should have a momentous name. 
Uh, Proby McProberson. Proby McProberson. Okay, you... Really? No, it's fine. That sounds lovely. Is there anything else I can do? Nope. It's gonna take a while to gather enough data for a better picture. Tell you what, though. I imagine Cyrus wouldn't say no to a bit of company. Poor guy is really struggling, I think. Okay, maybe I'll drop in on him. Bye, Bridget. <laughs> All right. Check on Cyrus back at the office. Cyrus? Ah! Oh, oh Cy, what's up? I'm trying everything I can think of, but for weeks, the answer has eluded me. The answer to... What's wrong with my simulation and what's throwing off the calculations? It's like a going around in circles because my formulae somehow can't reconcile the timings of each step and without the proper timing, sploosh. You've got this, Sai. If it was easy, it'd me they'd got to figure it out, not you. <sighs> Look, I know I'm not an expert, but sometimes you just need an extra set of eyes. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I'm out of options at this point. You've got the Herald option. Now, where should we start? If the timing is off, is that to do with them changing everyone's time, maybe, and lying to everyone? Something else. <clears throat> Sometimes all you need is a friend to take a look and help you get to the end. Literally sometimes saying something out loud, right? To another person, you go, Oh, that's it. That's what I need to do. Or sometimes you go, Oh, it's a terrible idea. It's so funny how when stuff's just in your head, it can get a bit twisted and hard to get through it sort of thing. Or just realize the potential or the failure of something. And then you say it and you go, Oh, that's it. Although other times, if you have a really good idea, I believe in the power of keeping it to yourself and working on it. Because sometimes if you say it out loud, you get that little bit of dopamine from someone going, that's a great idea, and then you don't actually do it. So it depends on what your issue is, really. Did we fix it? 37 days left. I wonder if we're going to end up staying here. I was thinking about it, and if the ship does take off, if something works, none of these people will see Earth. It's going to be another 200 years to get home. Like, none of them will see Earth. They'll all pass on. Or, another thought I had is maybe they've been on Earth this entire time. What if we're in a human ocean? And that's why, that's where, like, the sneaker and stuff came from. Hello, Professor. Any chance there's been some news? Harold, come <coughs> here. Did you find something down there? Oh, yes. We found particles, non-normative, with fascinating variegation of valency and all sorts. Thing is, deeper you go, denser the particles get, and with enough density, something starts to warp the video feed and probe data recording. Oh, their combined energy gets strong enough to mess with the sensors. Precisely. We can only see past a certain point by measuring the velocity of the energy spikes, but it doesn't tell us much. Uh, what does it tell us? Get this. The particles lower down, in their original individual form, before they interact and bond, are utterly unlike anything we've seen before. And when looked at as a group, they resemble the particle structure of pollen. Oh, Cyrus will be pleased. Yes, you're right, actually. Cyrus might be just the right man for the job. He's always been good with flower stuff. Also, 
Do you think he maybe needs a bit of a change of scenery? Perhaps a change would be as good as a rest for him. A rest he can't have, I must add. So, did we find anything else down there? Harold? What's gotten into you? Not like you to be so interested in my scientific observations. <sighs> well, this stuff seems real. <clears throat> well, since you ask, it seems as though the atmosphere down there contains a number of elements that we've never encountered. Alien elements? Well, yes. From what I can tell, they wouldn't kill you, but there's no telling what other effects they'd have on human physiology or neurology. Is it weird that I want to try some? Yes, very odd. Anyway, we must all get together again near the crack to discuss next steps. Go on, boy. I'll see you shortly. We're going to go in the hole. Join the gang. I guess at the, uh, the crack. Off to the crack I go. Mm -hmm. Not gonna wash that graffiti off. Never, never, never. <clears throat> uh, I went the wrong way. God damn it. Why is it? I was just thinking about why is it like, what's, what's a, what, WC? What's WC stand for? Is it toilet? A toilet or a bathroom? Why would you call it a WC? Wash. Cabin. Washing cubicle. Destination decided. We enjoy the view. Place. Hang on, let's learn something. You may now exit the tube. Welcome Thank to you on behalf of the Learning with Corporation Morph. for choosing to travel with us today. Why is it called WC? WC, isn't it? Water closet? A name used in the 1900s for a toilet due to most being fitted in a spare closet or cupboard. Over time, WC has been used instead of bathroom to describe a room with a toilet but no bath. Oh. Oh. I mean, I guess that makes sense that it's not a bathroom. There is no bath in there. Water closet? Dude, like if someone said, I'm going to, I'm going to use the WC, I would think that sounded classy. If they said, I'm going to use the water closet, I'd be like, sorry. Destination selected. What is wrong with you? Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. That means in the 1900s, people were, were saying, ah, You're here. where's your water closet? Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Frankly, my dear, I'll be in the water closet. Baths are overrated anyway, if you ask me. I just shower all the time. Literally the only time I take a bath is if I'm on holiday. And there's a really nice bath and I'm like, I'm gonna chill in here for a bit. Like a really nice hotel room bath. Shower power. How about you? I mean, I like a bath. I just a don't have the time. Thanks B, for coming, everyone. So There's long. Much to discuss. Effort. Yes, much, and plans must be made. We've got to do this by the book. Measure everything. The calculations must be exact. I mean, sure, but isn't time of the essence? We'll never get anything done unless we just start and see what happens. If you let me just, oh, Cyrus, always with the if you let me just. Well, maybe, if you ever did let me... Um, I was just thinking, if these particles really are alien, then we won't be able to properly measure everything anyway, right? And... If these particles really are alien, like you say, Professor, then we're never going to be able to properly measure everything anyway. Yeah. But if we don't make sure we've measured what we can... Don't let can be the enemy of is. What? That isn't how the saying goes. Anyway, look, let's start again. Evaluate our first principles. We think the particles will be the solution to our energy issue. The books were a dead end, sadly. 
little more than some poetic interpretations. Jeanne, did the probe data reveal anything new? I'll send you the full data set. This is only a vague hypothesis, but I believe the particles might have some plant-like properties. Mm. But the probe couldn't tell us much about what it's like down the cave itself, right? Correct. There may be hazards we're unaware of, and we have only the most basic idea of the cave and the connecting tunnel's formation. So, what can we do next that will be a reliable investment of time? Hello, all. Sorry I'm late. We you. We were just recapping everything we know. Everything? Won't that take a while? Oh, <laughs> no, just about the cave and stuff. Oh. <laughs> Anywho, if we want a closer look, we're going to need to get down there somehow. That will involve measurements, a platform, or a hoist. It's systems thinking. Sounds like a job for me. You sure you're happy taking all that on? Sure. Oh, Bridget, we'll need a rope or cable that's durable enough to withstand whatever the particles might do to it, and cope with lots of weight either way. Got it. How hard can it be? Well, we're going to need a certain amount of flexibility in it. Ha, huh, no, I mean, don't worry, it'll be fine. Cyrus, you take over the probe data. With your botanical expertise, Maybe you'll find some details I missed. It'll have big implications for the equipment for capturing and keeping the particles safe. That's what I'll work on. Definitely. Won't whoever goes down need keeping safe too? Yes, that is a sticking point. Let's all bear in mind and come back to it when we have more data. Maybe the Flummelin will remember something useful in the meantime. What if I go down? What? Harry? I think we can all agree that isn't going to happen. Why? Yes, Harold, it's too dangerous. Lots of other fun things to do instead, Howell. Yeah, come on, buddy. Don't be crazy. Okay, people. Then we're agreed. To your stations. We've got our work cut out for us. Uh, let me help. With something. Harold, why don't you help me? You're good with the flummy limb. You can liaise with Wii U and find out if there is anything they can think of to help us. Okay, sure. Let's go, Wii U. Wii U? Where did they go? Oh, I see Wii U is by the crack. By the crack? Just let us go in the hole, man. Honestly, I tuned out through some of that. I was what like, are you doing? Oh, I'm just Science watching them. speak. They're uh, gurpa gurping with the noodle boop. It looks fun. Is Gurpuruku... Are they trying to do something? Well, yes, but only for themselves. Oh, fun, you'd say. Oh, they're playing. Yes, they are. I noticed the fish in the Ubel boots can go further down and still have fun. Oh, the fish is fine when it comes back up in an Ubel boot. Ubel? Down further? And then safe? Wii U, what do you know? Um, <clears throat> what do you know about how they work? How are they made? Not much, but I could probably get a few for you. It's worth trying. I'm gonna go in a bubble. If we take a couple to Moreau, she might be able to analyze the particle bonding properties and ascertain whether... Mm. Or what if we just test them now? What do you mean? No fish has ever cared before, but we could just put one mill fish in an oobal, leave one out... <gasps> Put them both down and see You're a how scientist. they're both doing when we pull them back up. Will you, how would you feel if I kissed you? You don't have to answer that. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a field test right Unless... now. Unless. Well, okay. I'll rustle up some oobal boops and a couple of little fish. Oh, I hope the other little fish is okay. What if one comes up all skeletal and the other one's like, and it's bubble, you know? Be sad. What if we unwittingly put down, like, a married couple of fish and one has to watch one be in a bubble and the other one in the vacuum of the crack, you know? Like, these are the questions, the ethical questions we need to ask ourselves as scientists, we, 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 you know? Anything could happen. What if, what if there's cosmic rays down there and 
one one of them or both of them get special superpowers like the Fantastic Four in space. What then? You know? Anyway. Let's get a couple of Nargle blooples. I'm so good at vamping for time, dude. Can we have two little fish, please? Of course. Here you go. That's what happens when you stream for like eight hours and a day. Could we please have one years. Oogle Boop? Sure. Got your Oogle Pops right here. Knock yourself out. Uh, no, sorry. Not the Pops, the Boops. Ah, uh, okay. One Oogle Boop coming right up. The Oogle Pops are good these days too, though. That was easy. Yes, apart from the misunderstanding. An Oobble Pop, when we needed an Oobble Boop, could really have complicated things. Close one then, I guess. So, time to experiment. What could possibly go wrong? Now that we've got an Oobble Boop and not an Oobble Pop, nothing. So, what's the difference? That would take a lot of explaining. I'll tell you when we have more time. Okay, I look forward to it, probably. Where am I keeping those oobble boobas? Okay, I'm pretty curious to see what happens here. And we put the fish down. Hopefully it moves things along and we can go down in the hole. I'm feeling like we need another beat here, you know? I feel like we're probably on the same page. You probably agree with me. We're kind of in this, like, middle third... Uh, like, elongated section here and it's like time time for the next bit i kind of thought when the humans came down we were going to hit like an emotional apex and that would be like the start of a third act but i mean just a lot of hanging around this crack and crack 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 a lot of chat about a crack going on and i'm ready for us to get in the crack right in the crack and see what's next you know I don't know. For me, I am. But, you know, it's okay. We're here together and we're going to get through it together, okay? I know it's been a little bit of a flat section, but the next part's coming right up, okay? You've done so well. Bridget, we've got the bubble fish. Fantastic. Wait. Four. Hang on. What's wrong? Why do you have an extra bubble and no naked fish? Isn't the point to have one of them unprotected? No. Exactly. But we, you, I mean, forgive me for being obtuse, but... I forgive you. Both of them are protected. What? Look. Oh. Ooh. One plus one equals zero? Um. Don't worry, we, you. That's rhetorical. Anyway, shall we tie the ropes? Good luck, little fishy. Okay, let's pull them out and check the results. Is it okay? Oh no, that one doesn't look so good. Oh dear, oh, no. poor fish. I really didn't think the effects of exposure would be so severe, but we had to test. One second. Little fish is pretty dazed, but I don't think it's unfish. Yes, it's coming around. <laughs> Unalived. Ah. Good news. Well, like Moreau and Wiiu said, going down there doesn't look like it kills. A fish, but at we least. don't really know how fishy feels right now. True. I suppose we should keep a close eye on it. But it means the experiment was mostly a success, right? I'm happy. So now we can create bigger bubbles that we can go in. Huh, that would be awesome. But we, present company excluded, can't breathe underwater. Cyrus is going to be the best person to make use of these new findings on that front, I think. But then there's the mobility issue. We need to be able to get, stay, and maneuver down there. How about our ropes? Ooh, that would be great. Can you work with me on creating the right stuff? Of course. Great. I suppose I'll start construction of the hoist at the same time. Things are really happening. 
Are they, Howell? Are they? Right. What's next? Tell Cyrus. Run back to... Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's just a cute little go. I'm not going to get too annoyed at how many times it makes me go A to B to A to B to B to A to A to B. It's fine. Do you know what? I'm in a good mood because I'm having my first... I'm having a little Diet Coke right now. And it's my first soda of the week. Because I don't have any groceries. Um, and I got my groceries in today. Groceries delivered. Sometimes I go to the shop and I buy them. Other times I get them delivered if I if I need to get more stuff. If I'm like out out of stuff, you know. Destination determined. And um, now, relax with all water. I get glass bottles of Diet Coke. I don't buy the cans. If I do buy the cans, I buy the thin Thank cans, not the 330 mils, the ones that are like skinny. I feel like it tastes better from those. But if they don't have those skinny cans, then I get the bottles because, let's be real, Coke tastes best out of a bottle and yet a glass bottle. And yes, I drink Diet Coke, not full red fat Coke. Um, Location but yeah, I haven't had a soda this week, so I'm having a little Diet Coke. Commencing. All water thanking you. And it tastes good. It's nice. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. But the best Diet Coke is definitely fast food Diet Coke. Like a burger place in a cardboard cup. I don't know why, it just is. Through a straw. Where is Cyrus? Bubble technology is amazing. I need to tell Cyrus. Don't tell me he's in the. He told me I came all this way, and he's like, was probably literally right there. Did I? Did I like run past him because I was busy complaining and then talking about my coke? God damn it! <laughs> classic me, eh, guys? Oh, that's just classic me. That is, isn't it? Don't leave, don't leave. <coughs> All water. We get you where you're going. Mm -mm -mm. It's fine, it was worth it to learn about my soda drinking habits, right? All water compliments you on your choice of destination. That's kinda like my treat, is I like a beverage, man. I like a Unsatisfactory soda. journey for some reason. Like a good lemonade Just or something. Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. My fave. Used to get Dr. Pepper and stuff quite often, but I have tried to like cut out all of the full sugar sodas. Just cuz trying to get fit fit, you know. I kind of like just one time in my life like I'm trying to just get like really healthy. And just to be... It doesn't look like he's in here. Where is he? Um, you know, just want to be, like... Really, like, super fit for once. So I'm, like, doing a lot to kind of work towards that. Because mm -mm -mm, I've never really bothered. And I feel like it'd be cool just to do it once. Because it's only going to get harder the older I get. It's already bloody hard, let me tell you. And then, uh... We can... Wait, where are you, Cyrus? And then whatever. But just for once in my life, you know? Because I've, I've never bothered to do that, to get, like, shredded. And I feel like I have a pretty good frame for it. And it would just kind of be a waste to, like, have never done that. You're not going to be all the way back here, surely. Okay, well, I mean... <sighs> Have you messaged me where you are? We need more coffee. Bring snacks, something salty. Like, I went to where you're supposed to be. And you weren't there, so I thought, okay, you must be here. And you're not here. 
maybe you're just like in the upstairs of the lab. This is ridiculous. Travel in style. It should just say where they are. Water. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Chosen. Honestly, they probably said where they were going in that whole like sciency talk bit where I like tuned out because it was just like talking about flabber globals attached to globally blocks, and it's like. We hope you travel with us again soon. Sorry. Hey, Cyrus. Just me. We've got a great idea for the helmets. Shh. Do you hear that? I, uh, hear a lot of fuzzy static? Yes, sure. But below that. Cy, what should I be hearing? Just let me listen and follow my instructions. We'll get to the bottom of this in no time. Mm hmm? Do you hear that? Ah, ah, too far. Ah, too, I feel no. like I'm back at uh, uni. Oh, nearly, sounding good. Playing with the Just synths. A little, oh, nearly. Ah, so close. Ah, bet. Nope. Too. Ah, so close. Ah, so close. Dude, ah, chill. I'm far. trying to pay attention, ah, man. Just a little. Oh, nearly. Just. Ah, better. Just. A, oh, nearly. Just a little more. Ah, better. Getting better again. This is. Starting to sound oh, inappropriate. Nearly. Just. Oh, nearly. Nope. Tuning. Just. A little. Oh, nearly. Do you hear that? Ah, better. <laughs> oh, nearly. Just. I mean, that's almost nope. there, ain't it? Tuning. Ah, better. Just. Oh, nearly. Sounding good. Ah, better. Getting better again. Ah, so close. Careful now. It's. It's beautiful. You hear it now? Like those particles are singing together, harmonizing. It's choral. I've discovered the choral particles. Particle choir, particulars. Do you know what this means, Harold? Whatever is down there, that's the evidence that it has lots of similarities with the plant that I researched in my youth. Didn't you read the book I gave you? You gave me a book? The one I wrote. Phonetic Identities in Adolescent Seedlings. A yeah, provisional title, by the way. Uh, just ended up sticking. So, you know that by hearing this choir sound? How does that relate to... It's all connected. This very specific sound pattern. This melody. Music is math. Math is nature. John will be happy about these results. <laughs> awesome. I can't wait to tell her. Oh, hi, Professor. Hello, you two. What's going on? We were just talking about Cyrus's new findings. The music is plant math. What? Marrow. Yes, I discovered that the audio samples actually reveal an even greater affinity between the particles and sentient plant life. It vindicates my earlier theory, too. The one in my book. That is interesting. So, what's your opinion on the energy container's necessary properties? Hmm, well, it makes me think the container will need the option for water flow and or some kind of nutrition bed. Might need light control and something to attract the particles into it, too. And, hmm, given that we don't know the energy potential and given that pollen can... Sigh! Sigh! That's enough to go on for for now, I think. Good thinking, though. I'll handle it from here. Maybe asbestos will do the trick. Say, Harold, didn't you want to tell me something earlier? Uh, before we got swept up in the excitement. Oh, it's the water bubbles. Our experiment was great. We found the bubbles to have protective qualities. The bubblefish came back totally happy. Oh, that is interesting. But did you have a control group? <laughs> what? Yes. One fish went down without a bubble. I'll tell you all the details later. Sai, can you work with those bubbles? Find a way to adapt them for human usage? I mean, it's not like I don't have anything else to do, but... Sure, I'll figure it out. Maybe some kind of double hoop glaze with bubble film. Hey, what happened to the other fish, by the way? It was a bit confused by the whole thing. 
I should see if we can thank it somehow. You always did have a soft spot for fishy friends, huh, Harold? I guess so. Nice to have one that can talk back. Okay, let's get back to it. Good work, you two. Go team. It's like, what if plants were really singing? Like in my bathroom right now, if they were just there going, beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, beep, boop. I'd be pretty chill. Like those singing sunflower plants you used to get. What was it they used to sing? You know, like how those Christmas trees are like rocking around the Christmas tree. What was it the sunflower plants used to sing? Start rapping, man. Rude. All right, come on, Harold. Get in the crack, mate. Drink every time Morph says crack. Thank you for joining me, everyone. And well done on your efforts in getting to this point. Yeah, at least I could help with this stuff. No time for sulking. We're this close to figuring out whether what's down there can really help us get up there. So, we finally decide on who gets to go down there, right? I might be the first Plumilim to even care what's down there. Yes, well... That is to say... Oh, Harold, it was nothing personal, but we already met to discuss that. You decided without me? Oh, without me too, Howell. Yeah, it just kind of came up during one of our standard peer reviews. We are going down as a given, right? And then we decided it made most sense for Bridget to go with. She has the mixture of observational prowess and energy understanding. Oh, I see. Damn. But I'm actually acutely claustrophobic, so I had to pass. Oh. I wouldn't have been able to trust myself not to freak out down there. Oh, so... Cyrus was the next natural candidate, with his expertise in botany and molecular biology. Oh, it makes sense, I guess. But, just as I was about to accept, I kept thinking of Sunny. And, you know, my responsibility. To my fish, too. If anything should happen to me down there, Sunny would never forgive me. I'm sure your fish would forgive you, though. Oh. Uh, Professor, you're next in line, then. You're the most experienced, after all. Sure I am, but... Harold, are you fooling me? I've only got one hand. Wait. So, if not you, then... We did consider the astronaut, but we weren't sure he'd actually fit. So... So... We're sorry to put the burden on you, Harold. But you're the next best man for the job. I... Yes! <laughs> I mean... Yes. I... It'll be okay. No need to worry. We'll all be here looking out for you. I know. You don't have to con... And you have a great rapport with Wii U, so it makes sense. And you've proven recently that you're more responsible than maybe we gave you credit for. Plus, you've developed a real affinity for flumilin processes and mental models. I'll look after you, Howell. Don't worry. I accept! This is this the first rash, time we've seen him excited? It over. Wait, are you kidding with me now? Harold, you know I don't jape in times of scientific urgency. I meant about telling me, not going down there. 
We'll give you some extra training before you go, of course. Thank you, everyone. We'll do you all proud, I promise. No doubt that you will. Now, let's get going. Time is still short. Nice. It's on you, Harold. I'm going to use the uber loops for the helmet. Analysis showed they appear to be even more durable than the uber loops. <clears throat> I've tried to pass the, all the sorts of linguistic models. What's the difference between an uber pop and a boop? Uber pop and a poop. A boop. <laughs> Harold, just so you know, I beat your high score on Blastosaurus. Harold, I'm running out of, asp out of asbestos. It's a crucial... Com Oh, I can. T I didn't realize I could turn these pages. Just accidentally pushed the controller. Cute. Right, are we, are we, are we going to the crack then? Um, Cyrus, I'm right here. And you messaged me. Report to the school for mandatory green thumb final preparation class. Uh, make sure you've tied up loose ends. Who knows how long you'll be away? <gasps> a point of no return? It's got a school. Oh, it's been a while since. Nope, can't hold it in any longer. Bathroom time. Huh? He doesn't know when he needs to go and then he's just like oh it's been a while um. mm -hmm. <laughs> sounds like the shower is playing up <laughs> is that a hello are you okay in there? Hey, it's okay if you're sad, but just tell me if you need medical attention. No, I'm not ill. Secretary? Is that you? Or one of you? <laughs> it's me, Secretary 24. <laughs> no, I'm not Secretary 24 anymore. I'm no one. Oh no, what happened? I've... <laughs> After clock gate, all water needed <laughs> to show culpability. <laughs> and so I was fired. Hmm. I've been scapegoated. What? What? But for what? Surely you didn't have anything to do with anything. I know, but, but it's happened anyway. They used that one disciplinary action I had on my file from years ago as an excuse. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Was my career a total waste? All that time, and then just discarded like a used tube ticket. It makes me realize the only people who are really there for you, who are truly loyal, are your family. Well, you have a lot of that at least, right? Yes, that's true, but me and my brothers aren't as close as we used to be. We used to do so much together. Such fun stuff. Well, maybe now you have the time. Yes. Yes, you're right. We should get our a cappella group back together. Mend the rift at last. Warren was right. There is more to life than a steady job. You should do it. Use this new lease of life to solve the feud. I will. You'll see. It's time for a new me. Great. So, now you're no longer a secretary. What should we call you? I'll just stick to 24. Why fix what isn't broken, right? Oh, right. Okay. Go get him, 24. Thank you for listening. Whoever you are. It's me, Mr. Halib... I mean, Harold. Well then, thank you, Harold. You'll always be a bathroom buddy to me now. I don't want any bathroom buddies, thank you. Are you just holding it that whole time, Harold? That's some mad kegels right there.
That made me feel really uncomfy, like I was hearing something I shouldn't hear. I don't, don't want to hear someone in the bathroom. Mm -hmm, message from that guy. Thanks for hearing us out and understanding, Harold. The brothers are at peace with one another again. In fact, we're going to put on a concert in the Agora Arcades to celebrate. Be the uh, destination decided. Goodbye concert Enjoy or something. Will Harold survive entering the crack? You may now exit the tube. Find Thank out whenever we get to this next bit. For choosing to travel with us today. Okay, everyone, listen up. School. Welcome to Green Thumb Class. You may be wondering what Green Thumb Class is and why you're here <clears throat> at Green Thumb Class. Well, this was originally going to be a private seminar to discuss safe handling of the particles that make up the energy source based on our findings, most of which were my findings, may I add, especially the sound wave element, which... Go on with it, Sai. Yes, yes, sorry. But then we decided it might be fun to open it to the public as a kind of general botany 101. So here you all are, and thank you for coming. Here are some tips for all of you on handling things with green thumb status which includes the energy particles as well as general flora around the cave. Number one, exert minimum pressure. The cells of these particles and anything else you encounter down there could be incredibly sensitive. Number two, check for root-like material. If taking any samples, keep them as intact as possible, taking care not to sever anything. If you must take a sample, take it from as close to the end of the route as possible. Number three, keep well lit and warm. We still don't know exactly what combinations of environmental factors is preferred by whatever is down there, but we can surmise it's similar to how it already is. For example, if you find something in the dark, don't shine a bright light on it. Any questions? Um, what happens if you eat them? Sai, what happens if you eat the particles? Um, we don't know. Ingesting or inhaling anything down there is not advised. Oh. Do plants think? Can plants think? Can plants, uh, uh, not in the way we can. They don't have nervous systems, of course. But then what does it mean to think? After all, it's just a- Get on with it! Oh, okay. Follow these basics, and I'm sure we won't have any green thumbs falling off. Harold, those are the essentials but I'll be staying here to discuss the specifics of boron deficiency in cruciferous veg if anyone is interested in sticking around. Right. For those of you who stuck around, this is going to be a wild ride. Oh, I suppose the house party has started. The concert. Well, I'm sure it won't be more fun than my lecture, but it'd be a shame to miss it. Well, this is a party. This isn't the concept for the dudes. Can I dance? Dance with uh, Wee Woo. Wee you. Howl. Are you enjoying the party? Yes. 
I think so. But I don't really understand what makes it a party. Well, you know, uh, people have gathered for a special occasion to celebrate. But we haven't gone anywhere yet. No, but it's for good luck and to raise our spirits. I'm not sure I really get it, especially the strange movements people are making. They don't usually move like that. Movements? Huh. Oh, you mean dancing. It's, hmm, I guess an expression of letting go, enjoying a rhythm. Ah, I like it. But only an outside musical rhythm? Yes, at least when other people are watching anyway. Well, I don't totally understand the rules, but it's nice to see everyone smiling. Literally yes, me at a party. It is. It'll be even nicer when we come back with a magical new energy source and everyone treats us as heroes. Heroes? Yeah, it's a, a person who's admired and treated with a lot of respect. We're um, not heroes already. Heck, you're my hero, buddy. Um, it's all very weird, but I'm excited if you are. I'm sure we'll have lots of stories to tell at the next party. I'm sure we will. Oh my god, nothing better happen to one of us. Make sure to get some rest. It suddenly just okay. hit me when, when they said party that. Time. Oh. That kid's really busting a move. Professor, hey. Oh, my boy. How are you, you, you know, feeling? Oh, fine. I'm not worried about a thing. You know, I kind of wish I could go with you. Wouldn't it be fun? Oh, well, you, you shouldn't let only great. having one hand stop Are you, you sure you can't? <laughs> with this age and my arm, <laughs> can do I anything. not. Oh, I'm sure we could. We, you and I, would... You're not that old. Yada, yada, blah, blah. <laughs> not trying to make me feel better. I'm just happy we get to experience this. Even if I don't actually get to see it. Even if I don't actually get to see it. Yeah. And we wouldn't even be getting to see it if it wasn't for you. Hmm. Can I get you another drink? <laughs> I'd probably better not. Okay. Well... It's okay, Harry. I'm okay. Go have fun. But not too much fun. We've got a real slip tomorrow. Thanks, Maron. See you later, then. But it just ended after I talked to everyone. I didn't get to go to the concert. Carol. Oh, well. We don't really understand why you're going down the crack with Wii U. But we think we appreciate it. So, we got a few things together for you. Hopefully you'll find them useful and or delightful. As a human. Yes. We're still not really sure how your kind thinks, but we've tried our best. Oh, wow. You all... I'm so flattered. You shouldn't have. No, oh, go on. Open it. Oh, okay. Let's have a look-see. Oh, this looks great. A nice little fish. Is the fish not big enough for you? No, no, no. It's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Up next. Some hairpins? Yes. We were told by Chris that these things come in very useful. Where are you now? I mean, thank you. Oh, there's something else in here. I think you're gonna love this one. A rubber hammer. In case I see any moles I need to whack. I'll have it if you don't want it. No, no, no. It's all great. Thank you. Now I'm prepared for anything. Good luck, Harold. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Finally going down. Hey.
Hey, will you? How? How? What is the difference between Ubel Pops and Ubla Boops? Hmm. You see, Ubel Boops and Ubel Pops are actually not similar at all. One is like a bubble, and the other is like a bubble made to pop. More for fun, uh, not useful. last are we Wait. there how did i get here i don't remember and i don't remember leaving it like this has someone been in here it wasn't me felix what are you doing here i could ask you the same thing bub this is my room but how do you really know that felix i don't have time for your shenanigans right now I feel like there's something important I should be doing. I need some space to think, okay? Sorry. Nah, it's okay. You're right, Harold. There is something important you should be doing. I'm glad you agree. Wait, what? D do you know what it is? Nope, that's for you to find out. All I can do is point you in the right direction. The right direction isn't through a load of ducts, is it? No, no ducts. Just go through there. And follow your heart. Okay. Yeah. Don't feel sleepy anyway. Thanks, Felix. Good luck, Harold. Hope I never see you again. Oh. Cool. stuff.
does it mean? Who Harold's parents are. We don't know any of that, do we? We you do you ever wonder about more? Uh, no, it's stupid. I shouldn't even bother you with it. You can tell me anything. It's just... Are you sure you want to tell me? No. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm? I just wonder... Have I been useful? At all? What have I really done? This whole time, people have only given me stuff to do when they haven't been bothered to do it themselves. Has there been anything that only I was able to do? So you're helpful. What's bad about that? You make the lives of everyone around you easier. But anyone could do that. I don't think they would give you things to do if they didn't trust you. Maybe. I suppose. But what if we're all doing the wrong thing anyway? Like what? Eating jam instead of wieners? <laughs> no, I mean, that's just personal taste. So, what can be a wrong or a right thing? I don't know. Where's home? Is there a wrong or right place for home? Maybe the fedora is fine down here. What if taking off is the worst thing that we could do? How do you decide anything? It's all so complicated with you humans. Unless... Are we too simple? How does anyone trust they're making the right decision? About anything? I don't know. Maybe we can't know. So why think? But if we don't worry at all... Hmm... Ah... Uh, it's nice. You can do it just like that? Hmm... Unless... Maybe... Maybe the whole point of not being sure is that it keeps your options open. If we were sure about everything straight away, we'd never change our minds. No. We would just be a fish swimming in one direction, following the current, happy, but probably missing out on most of the ocean. That's Blugalugalugal. I see now. So, true Blugalugal is <laughs> being happy within uncertainty. Oh. I didn't think of it like that before, but I like it. So, have you tried jam on a wiener? Sorry? It's like each one is a different experience. So that was the jam on a wiener room. What's up here? Different dreams. Cool. I'm glad they're doing this. This is what I needed more of, like, in the last couple of hours, honestly. Like, just get super weird, man. Like, with this animation style. Let's get wild. So we're gonna like look at the watches.
doing? I don't know. I should know. Maybe someone should just tell me like they always do, whatever and whenever they want. Are you being... what is it you call it? Scartastic? It's just so pointless, isn't it? All these crazy ideas for takeoff? What do any of them think it will achieve? Why can't we just be happy here? Yes. Some of you humans seem to have no blugalugalugal. Blugalugal. Ah! I wouldn't even be sad if the mission to find an energy source failed. Then we'd have to stay here. Have to? Couldn't you stay anyway? It's complicated. That's why the mission failing would make things simple. But wouldn't it make all of you sad? Everyone treats me like I'm just daydreaming. I mean, what else am I supposed to do when I was born onto a spaceship? The same one I'll die on with no options. A mission that is probably pointless. Decided on by people I never knew before I was born. Who could have spent the money and energy on staying and helping instead? Who probably made half the problems on Earth? Who made my parents... Who... I'm angry too! I'm angry with myself. I didn't consider that. Sorry, will you... What are you angry about? It's okay. I I'm not sure. I just feel your anger, and it makes me angry that things are making you upset. And I really hate the tube system. The access card is a dumb shape, it smells weird, and it doesn't work properly half the time. Howell, if you had a fish for a long time, and then another fish came to visit, and you could only keep one fish, which fish would you choose? What? Why? Why can't I have both fish? Just because. One fish is going to swim away. Out of your control. I don't know. Which fish is nicer? Maybe one fish can speak. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Maybe you don't even have a choice. Doesn't matter. No choice. These are weird feelings. Is one of the fish going to leave because they're angry at the other fish? Or maybe it's that one of them... sense in a minute. Go and have a little lay down, Harold. Have another weird dream, love. Cheese dream. Just eat cheese before you go to bed. Feta will give you some bonkers dreams. <gasps> Breathe. Breathing deep in the nose, all of the positivity and the fresh air. Fill your lungs, fill your ribs, expand and exhale through the mouth. And breathe in. <laughs> Coming to Patreon, digital download. Breathing with Morph. fish. One fish and then another. Which would you take? Which 
which would you leave behind? Cute. I have a great feeling too. Everything is bubbly. <laughs> wow. I know what you mean. Like, we're being carried along by loads of tiny floating little bubbles and anything is possible. <clears throat> like I'm just going to float along. A gentle tide that only wants what's best for us. We've come this far. And all we can do is be us and see what happens, right? Don't you worry about where Fedora will go. Yeah, but since all this, I've learned that worrying just makes you get less done. This feeling that things will work out, it helps. Yeah, we've taught each other lots. Humans are funny, but I think life will be more interesting now we've met you. Yeah, and we saved each other. Yes. Wait, it was only me that was hurt. Now there's an exciting future for both of us. Lots of plans. If we explore and find new things, wonderful. If there is nothing else, wonderful too. Definitely. Good things ahead. But something bad might happen mm. one day. True. I hope no bad things even happen to start with. <laughs> me too. But it'll be okay if they do. We'll deal with them together. I want to try even more strange human things. And I'll get good at Caracle and the arty performances. We could make a garden. Like size. Yes, and make new kinds of jam. Ooh. I hope so. I really hope so. Whatever happens to the fedora and everyone, I just know it'll work out okay. And I think okay is enough. Okay is enough. Lost room. That was a really cute conversation. The truth is, we all know that something bad will happen at some point. Like, that's life, right? You just gotta enjoy now. This too shall pass. Good and bad. We are... Whoa, that is crazy. you're here. Where else would I be? We're in this together, Howell. I know, but sometimes I stop what I'm doing and I think no one ever truly knows how I feel, how anyone feels. So what actually connects us? Growing up on the ship, I thought <clears throat> with so many people, I'd never be alone. But then it's only a few people you want around you and... I wasn't expecting to be alone. You weren't alone. I'm scared of being alone. Mm. But at the same time, not being alone is scary too. Everyone... What about everyone? Everything. 
everyone wants something different from me, or I need something from them. It's so exhausting keeping track of it all. Oh, I don't really think about the other Flumilim. Wii U is Wii U, to me and to them. So, you do what you want? Whatever anyone else thinks or expects? No, I think about them, but we are not tied together. But what about your responsibilities? I mean, I can't just run away from it all. Are your legs hurt? No, oh, I mean, I'd feel bad. Guilty. They've been good to me. So what are you worried about? Are you going somewhere? Well, yeah, somewhere. I mean, we all are, right? Together? We're all bound up in everything together. Then there's you and me? Oh, look. Is that... Are they... I think they're the two Flumilim that came down here before. They do look happy, don't they? Wow. Huh. Anyway, we are all connected, but you shouldn't be dragged along by someone. True. I affect them too, right? But you also can't do everything alone. True. True. These combos so deep. Wii U? Wii U, are you there? Powell. Ah, oh, it's you. What is going on here? I was so worried. Me too. But I also somehow knew I'd find you. Looks like the dream team is back together. But where are we? Not sure. But I have a feeling this is the right way to go. Lead the way. We don't have much else to go on. Nervous that something's gonna happen. Do you think we are somewhere? I don't know. I don't think we're nowhere. Wherever we are, we're together. And this will make a good story. I hope so. Let's find out how it ends first. Are we genuinely at the bottom you of the You still feel like this is the right way? Yep. Don't you? Actually, yes. It's strange, but something does seem to be pulling me along. Go with the tide. I'm going. really beautiful sets and environments and conversations now. Whoa. Okay. It's not what I was expecting. See that? You mean the giant floating flower bee? Ah, uh, yeah, more or less. It's beautiful. It's making me feel sparkly. Powell, take my hand. Sure. Are you scared? <laughs> no. Come on, with me. What's interesting is this is like the arcade games that you can play on the ship. Exact same gameplay mechanic of the So pretty. 
like Sky Children of the Light ending feels. I don't want to miss any, but it's hard to see where they're coming from. Now that we're so close. How are you doing? Oh, phew. We came back. And you've got the energy source? Oh, this thing. I... Yeah, I think so. This is... You know... How am I doing? Do you realize how much of a scare you've given us? We didn't want to think the worst, but... What were you doing down there? We chased a dragon. Oh, this is going to be pretty hard to explain. <laughs> Hey, how long were we gone anyway? Oh, not very long. It's another oh, meaning to that. That's good. Just about two weeks. Two weeks? Two weeks? It felt just like a few hours, didn't it, were you? I wasn't really keeping track. Sometimes it felt like I'd been down there for a long time, and others it was all new, like we just arrived. Look, I'd love to hear all about this, but it's going to have to wait. Me and a few of the others have been stranded since the tube system and the broadband connection just stopped the fedora is silent what we're on our own out here oh no what are we gonna do we could go to my place for tea thanks will you but i have other ideas i'm sure we'll figure something out if we just work together and harold do you think i've been just twiddling my thumbs the flumi limb rafi and i have built a new submarine it just needs an energy source what kind of energy how about the one you're holding Follow me. Let's head to the entrance lake. I'm very, very curious to see how this is going to end. I hope it's got a satisfying voila. ending. Our new ride. Super. It looks great. I never knew you were good with machines, too. I think it will. I had some help from Raffi, but this old gal has some surprises left up her sleeve yet. Mind if I drive? Sure. I'll handle the systems and help you navigate from the back. What can I do? Oh, you get the fun job. Sit in the middle and man the grabby arm. Is that... Uh, the technical term for it? Oh, loosen up a bit, Harold. This is going to be fun! So, we think this vessel will be enough to power it? Let's find out. Slot it in and let's rev her up! It worked! Listen to my baby purr! Okay, I nice. see. What do we have here? It should all be pretty intuitive. Just don't press the eject button. Okay. Navigation lever. Got the sonar display here. Throttle handle. Depth adjuster. And... Oh. What's this button do? Oh, that must be the... Yep. The wriggle control. Buckle up, everyone. Let's dive. <laughs> The new sub is so much fun. Great work, Bridget. Thanks. Well done on bringing back the power source. I want to go down there again. 
was so weird and pretty. I think once was enough for me. I'd just like to see the underwater rainbow that smelled of jam one more time. The what now? Uh, still nothing on the radio from Fedora. Why do you think they've gone silent? Could be anything. I'd say it was just all water cutting costs again, but it was so sudden. Something bad happened? Could be. Yeah, trying not to think about it. Maybe we should take our minds off it. Oh, can we play fish impressions? I'd love to, but now probably isn't the time. Oh, hang on. We've got a tape back here. Hi, it's me. This bit gets muted because it plays a copyright song, so I'm just going to put some of my own music over it. This happens a couple of times in this playthrough, but look at me making the extra effort to come and keep you company whilst uh, rather than just have a quiet screen, you know. The visual's really beautiful. It was kind of a funky track. It was like... Uh, you know, like it was kind of stuff that was happening. Um, and just like sailing, piloting the submarine back to the thing, you know? A little musical interlude, but they used copyright music, so we can't play it. Um, hope you're enjoying the show so far. Please do, you know, hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. Get yourself some popcorn or a chalk ice. Is it hot where you are? Get some ice cream or something. Um... You know, not long to go now, so well done. Stick with it. You're doing amazing. You're doing so well. All right. Uh, let's get back to the show. That was super cool. Oh, that was nice. Do we have any more tapes? Afraid not. So let's play Spot the Fish. Oh, oh. look at that one. Oh. Where? Harold, watch out! Where? I can't see the fish. Ah! Oh, no. <gasps> poor, poor fishy. Why is it frozen? The ice. Is the cockpit glass okay? I can't see any cracks. Well, there are some in the fish. Oh, this isn't good at all. For the ambient temperature anywhere near the fedora to have dropped far enough for this. They tried to do the thing. Source right about now. Looks like a big crowd at the arcades. Yes, but for what? Can you take us closer? They see us. But what's going on in there? Not sure. Do you think they look stuck in there? Stuck? Or trapped? Get us to the submarine dock. We've got to find out what's going on. It seemed like such a good plan. Oh no! The ice is spread here too. There's no way we're going to be able to dock. We'll have to find somewhere else. Uh, let me think. Yeah, that should work. Okay, we need to make a detour. We'll try docking at Biosphere 4. There's a hole breach from the crash there. Maybe the ice hasn't reached it yet. Where to? I'll direct you. Just keep going around. Okay. Say, I don't think I've ever been to that part of the ship. Well, as you know, the core consisted of two main sections. The engine modules and the agricultural district. Bio 4 was the name of the latter. Apparently, it even had living fields and livestock during transit. Imagine having all those real animals around. Yeah. But like I said, it was damaged in the crash and deemed too expensive to maintain. I just hope it's still connected to the rest of the modules. Hang on, will you? We'll get you warmed up soon. Okay, keep going this way. It won't be too long now. Oh, I wish I knew what's going on in there. Me too. It's starting to feel pretty strange. What'll we do once we get in? Our best bet will be to try and find a security monitor station, so we can get more perspective on what's going on. Gosh, I hope everyone is okay. When you see the core from out here, it's pretty impressive. They never 
realized how huge the core was. It's like it's a cave. It really is a shame we couldn't do more with it. Super sci-fi vibes and stuff now. just enjoying the pace that it's doing at it rather than wobbling it around. <laughs> Hashtag no context. Just let Why it do its thing. made it into somewhere more useful? I think they tried a few times, but it's such a big space full of super energy hungry stuff. Remember, when the fedora was actually flying, it was able to generate way more energy from the solar sails and, ah, I think I see the breach. Yep, that's it. Oh, and it's free of ice. Perfect. Take us in. Could get a bit bumpy. Yeah. No one's been in here for a long time. Wait. You hear that? Is it a ghost? Ha! <laughs> I doubt it. But it does sound like what I imagine an animal to sound like. But that's a silly thought. Anyway... Look down on the light. Looks like the power's out. Harold, can you get this hooked up to the energy vessel? There should be some jumper cables in the engine compartment. Sure, I'll get to it. Righto, power is showing up. Just need to flick the master switch and... Wow. Oh. It really is huge in here. Oh look, we have company. Who are they? Ooh, what are those? I guess now we know where the ghost animal sounds came from. Amazing! I can't believe they adapted to survive down here. Do you think they bite? It must have been so peaceful for them here. I'm sure they're relaxed. They look so funny and nice. Well, much as I'd love to get to know them better, we should really try and get access to the arcade security cameras. Yes, let's see. Oh. I recognize these controls. They're like the ones in the filter station. I guess this used to handle water drainage and filtering. Fantastic. So you can operate it? I think so. It would have been used to monitor the filters and stuff. So if I can just get to the monitor root directory, ask it to change the camera feed, that should do it. Okay, let's see what we can see. Keep cycling through. Ah! There's the Agora Arcade! We should be able to talk to them through the Tannoy system, too. Professor! Everyone! You can hear us, right? We can see you! We're in the abandoned core! What's going on? Hang on. Let me see if I can turn on the security cam's mic, too. Harold? Is that you? Can you hear us? Harold, are you okay? Thank goodness! Where have you been? Long story, Professor. But we came back in Bridget's new submarine. The fedora is all iced up. We? Is we all with you too? We use here too. Nice to see you again, Professor. You three have got a lot of hoods for making us all worry and they're just turning up unannounced like this. Professor, are you all okay? Are you trapped in the arcades? What's going on? Oh, Faye. Yes, we're stuck here thanks to Schlippmeyer. He's had us all fooled from the get-go. Playing us for real schmucks. All along, he's been planning to freeze not just the area around the ship, but the entire ocean. He told you all this? Yes. Over the Tannoy, Why? once he'd hidden himself away somewhere, he said it's always been his dream to create the largest winter sport amusement park in the universe. 
raise the what? sea. Winter sports? From the get-go? All along? <laughs> so, Slippy is here. He's rootling around, asking me all kinds of questions I don't want to answer. Slipmire, will you please present Flo and Go to the audience, please? Like some sort of please insane supervillain. of Fedora. Like all the best things in life, it seems simple at first. Then the more you know about it, the more ingenious and brilliant it becomes. It's all a lot of hot air. I'm gonna freeze the water directly under the fedora. Even water bodies usually freeze from the top down. I don't know. It all seems a bit fishy to me. I thought you said it wasn't a vote. It's not. I just happen to agree with them. I'm making the coolant procedure more efficient than ever. It's going to be able to cover a lot of ground. How does your AC technology work? Maybe I shouldn't tell you every part of it, eh? I need to finish hooking up these tubes for some tests. Are you going to help me or just stand and watch me suffer? Please witness the future of Fedora. So you see, that's the slippy difference. Con, 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 con. <laughs> Oh my god, what? Why? Where is he now? Not sure. When we all got together here for an urgent launch update, he disappeared and activated the security locks. <sighs> you okay, Howell? You went dreamy for a minute there. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Wii U. So, Moreau, what was the urgent launch update? Harold, please. The update was a ruse to get us out of the way. We were never meant to take off with his procedure. He babbles something about how we'd just die in traveling through space. We may as well have fun in our lifetimes. My God, can he really do it? Well, he's been developing the tech under our nose, of course, and we've got the raw materials all around us. He said we'd all thank him once the slippy ice paradise was ready. Can you believe it? Okay, we'll get you out of there somehow. Just hold on. Hold on, Harold. Really? That slippery little... I guess you've tried breaking through the revolving door? Yes, you nincompoop! Chris tried already! Even though I warned him, it's security glass, and no amount of handsome muscle would get through it. Listen, you two. You should be able to access the security shutters and the door's control mechanism through the terminal computer. Okay, let me see. Um, okay, so I want to push different I'm getting there. buttons until Any joy? we get, Just get well? a minute. Sorry, Professor. The door control interface is weird on this terminal. It's like you click one thing and it does the opposite. Then there's a pop-up. And you have to click again. Weird, Harold. You're looking at classic quality tech. The newer consoles might be fancier, but you have less manual control. And because everything is integrated, it's a nightmare if anything needs replacing. Sorry, Rafi. Can you help talk me through it? Uh, fine. Now what are you seeing? Ah! Pop-ups! It's okay. Just close them. Now what are you seeing? Lots of buttons. Of many kinds. That's the wrong tab. Go to the middle tab. Now what are you seeing? There are two big circles. Looks like a cassette. Okay, great. There should be a small box in a circle connected by an arc in the lower left-hand corner. Click them to control the big circles on the right-hand side. Oh, looks like the bar in the middle is filling up. Good. 
Keep clicking the box. And the it's finally fully filled. Now. I feel like I'm playing an escape okay, room game so click with someone. The small circle on the left until the box underneath the big circles on the right is highlighted. Why do they sound like they're okay, an AI? So click the small circle on the left until the box underneath the big circles on the right is highlighted. The big circles. Click. Okay, so click the small circle on the left right. until the box underneath the big circle. When I click the little circle, the big circles move. Okay, so click the small circle on the left. The box is highlighted now. What are you seeing now? A screen with the diamond shape on the left. Great, nearly there. Okay. Click the top of the two buttons on the right. Click the top of the two buttons on the right. Do you mean the box with the key? No, you're on the wrong what? tab. The box Click on the and then? buttons on the right. The box in the middle of the screen should be active now. Okay. Click the slim switch in the very center. Clicked. The door segments on the left should be animated now. Open. They are. Did I do it? Go to the rightmost tab on the top of the screen. What are you seeing now? K. A screen with a key on one side. Great. Choose the REM cup rads around the 50 range. Huh? Harold, click on the box that- Done. Click go eight. Click section W7 and open it. Done. But nothing is happening. Aha! You did it! Finally. Good job, Harold. Uh, that was Has that done interesting. It? Well done, Harold. My pleasure. Okay, everyone. Let's get to the energy district. If Slippy is doing nefarious science, he's bound to be doing it there. Oi, the tube isn't working, of course. Doesn't look like they're having much luck with the tube. Harold, can you still hear us? We're going to need you to look into why the tube is down. Trot. Now that isn't going to be something we can fix from here. You two, do you think you can take the sub and try and see what the problem is from the outside? Yep, we know how it handles now, right, Wii U? Yeah, sure, let's rev her up. Great, I'll stay here on the radio and help liaise. Okay. Let's go. I'll do the grabby arm. Good luck, you two. Be careful out there. Right. Sorry, can I kind of? <clears throat> All right. Okay. <laughs> You're going to do the grabby arm, huh? There's gir like giraffes, aren't they? Asking. No, I'm not. Maybe I used to be. How 
I'll be sad if we can't stop Slippy. I think all the Gummilim would be sad. I'm going to do my best with the grabby arm, though. It's going to be fine. We'll figure something out now that everyone is working together. That's the spirit, you two. Hey, even Raffi is helping. I am still listening, you know. Well, good. But once this is all over, you all definitely owe me some peace and quiet. It's a deal, Roth. Okay, looks like we're approaching the tube exterior. Bridget, we'll check out what's wrong first. Great, keep me posted. Okay, Bridget, you reading us? Loud and clear. What's the situation? We've arrived outside the Agora Arcades. It looks like the actual transportation tube is disconnected. Maybe the ice broke it somehow. Drat! I guess the sudden change in pressure from the ice must have displaced or warped some of the connections. How bad is it? Well, the good news is the tube itself is in one piece. So, if we can get a good grip with the grabber, we should be able to reattach the main tube and lock it back in place. And the bad news? Oh, well, there isn't any extra bad news. Oh, good. Well, get going. But be careful, Wheel. If the tube cracks, the whole thing will be unusable. I'll take super care of it. Okay, let's do this. I'll get us into position now. Oh, I gotta, like... Am I... I'm not in control. Okay, I'm just chilling. I wonder how Team Moreau is doing. Well, from what I can see, they're starting to get into the tube, one by one. Chris is doing push-ups while he waits for his turn. Where are they going? Well, now they're telling me that the direct connection isn't working for some reason. Oh, no. What do you think is wrong? I'm not sure. Could be a few things. Plus, there's the potential side effects of all the ice to consider. Hmm. Seems like it was only the direct path to the energy district that was down. Maybe a malfunction in the tube's control panel? Oh. So, what now? They're en route to the central station now. They'll try again from there. Okay. Keep us posted, Bridget. Wew, that was really impressive grabby arm work, by the way. Oh, thanks. I just thought about holding on to a slippery fish. Oh, it seems like the route via central station is working out for them. They're on their way now. All this makes you realize how reliant we are on those tubes to get around now, huh? What did you do before them? Well, we didn't move around as often, and I suppose we only went to places we really needed to. So you built tubes to move more often to places you didn't really need to go to? Uh, yes. It is fun zipping through them, though. The whoosh sound, it takes no effort. Uh, yes. I think I'm glad to have them even with the fines and all the delays. Ah, uh, good timing, you two. Team Moreau has arrived now. So, what was the problem with the tube? Maybe it was just the electronics being affected by the ice? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to be affecting the whole system, which is a relief. It's just weird that this guy is suddenly like, I'm gonna freeze the ocean. You know? <clears throat> These scenes are pretty, but some of them are really drawn out. Like, I have to be real with you, but... Especially because I'm trying not to talk over them. Yeah! The door to the energy harvest is locked, too! Seems like Slippy has barricaded himself using the lockdown routine. Yes. And the door can't be controlled over the computer system. Due to the all-water emergency protocols we baked in. So, it can only be opened from the inside? If he's in there, doing something slippery, we've got to stop it. What are we going to do? Did we ask him? Even if we wanted to, the emergency protocols block out the security cans and tannoy. To protect potentially sensitive all-water corporation activity, he totally isolated himself. Oh, must be nice. No interruptions. Wait a sec. Bridget, didn't you tell me the agricultural district and the energy harvests were connected? Ooh, good thinking. Yep, by the retractable conveyors. If memory serves, the one that connects energy to agricultural is near the back of the core. 
Rafi, what do we do next? You'll need to lower them first from their rooftop storage, then power them up. How do you know all this stuff, Rafi? I did have a life before the arcade, you know. Anyway, ask me about that later. You're going to need to align the belts in a continuous path so you can reach the opening that leads to the harvest. Okay, doesn't sound too hard. Let's go, Wii U. Such teamwork. I'm like a proud mother hen. Okay, you two, it's time you got going to the energy harvest. You going to be okay here? Yep, I'll stay here to monitor the security cameras and oversee the situation. I hope it's better to watch than those videos Howell showed me. Everyone shouting and then kissing straight after. We hope. Shh. Just stay on your guard. And when you see Slippy, tell him I always knew he'd slip up. Uh, okay, we'll do. going to find at the end of this what are we going to do at the end of this you're going to get slippy that's one way of putting it well i'll think of something it's always me who has to get his hands dirty slippy we're here it's sit maya I can't even count how many regulations you've breached. Halibut? The door? Harold! Wee! Everyone! Look, let's not be hasty. If I could just show you my plans, I was only trying to. I'll show you a plan! Oh! That was a slap. Well, that settles it, I suppose. Thanks, Chris. Is he okay? Gosh, I was overcome with emotion thinking of the children. I hope I didn't overdo it. Please no one tell them about this. Chris, relax. It's over. And so is our chance at launching after wasting all this time. Oh well, may as well spice things up a bit in the meantime. Relaunch chance over? Whatever do you mean, Professor? I mean that the solar winds are due to begin again, and soon. Too soon. After these shenanigans, we simply won't have the requisite preparation complete in order to meet the safe launch window. To say nothing of repairing the damage, Slippy's icy debacle probably caused our sensitive instruments. Well, can't we risk it? What's the worst that would happen? Well, if we launch late, we run the risk of the solar flares crippling the ship, like last time, and tumbling back into the ocean. And there's no telling if our next landing will be so lucky. And if we launch on time? My calculations are nearly complete, but if we time it just a second wrong, we might sink deeper or use up our remaining fuel just to move a few miles away. Hmm. And even if your calculations were already done, what with the all-water time theft, it'll probably be late by now anyway. Time theft? Speak sense, Harold. I tried to tell you that day in your lab, but we got distracted with the probe. Me and the light keepers... I was gonna tell you I joined them. They're a bunch of teenagers and found proof that all water were shaving a bit off every hour to help with the energy crisis. So we had even less time than we thought all along. What are you talking about? How and why do you shave an hour? So we have to do less work and to save energy. And well, actually not every hour, only the ones in daytime. By now, apparently it adds up to two full hours each day. How? But we would have noticed. Ah, but we didn't because of the introduction of all water digital time and they controlled the time in tiny little bits so it would always feel normal. So, all water fooled us more than Slippy and we must have... Wait, saving on daytime? Ah! Harold, 
You wonderful, beautiful schmuck. If what you say is true, and these days the truth is stranger than one of your little head stories, then it's exactly the opposite of what you think. We have more time than ever. We do? Oh. How does that work? Think, Harold. If what we perceived as a day of 24 hours was actually only 22, that means that we haven't actually reached today's date yet. Now, let's see. All water digital time was introduced eight years ago. Cyrus, check my math. Well, even if they were shaved up to one, then two hours after a few years, we should have more than four months left until the launch window ends. Ha! Much as I love it when you're wrong, that means... My calculations were correct, but time was wrong. That's what I said earlier. That explains why we thought the space bacteria would degenerate faster than modeled. Oh, if we had just done the experiment at night time. Oh, wait. Then... And that means... And I was so blind. Time. All along. It's about time, right, Rose? It's true. This is a matter of urgency. Time is of the essence. We know we were onto something when we noticed Yava's watch didn't match up with the official time. And what time do you call this? Party time. The time is... I know what the time is. Time is of the essence. First time's the hardest. At the same time, a stitch in time saves nine. Four at the same time is quite a feat. And time is running out. In the meantime... We don't have time to put you on a proper routine. But maybe this whole time... All water is trying to steal time. Just what do you suppose I'm doing with the stolen time? Maybe taking the time for yourself? Now, if and when the time is right... We might even have some time for ice skating. Why not give them all the time? Your first time at Quick Soup Colorfish? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. Time, There's time, no time, 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 we're going to need a few words with the Madam CEO if we're to get the exact numbers of when and how much time they've stolen. Speaking of which, has anyone seen her? We didn't see her on any of the cameras. Nor Zoya. Do you think they escaped being trapped? Unlikely. They were probably incapacitated by Slippy as part of his plan. They could be anywhere. We'd better split up and find them. Maybe we should start in the Allwater District. Why don't we just ask him? I, uh, don't think he's an A. <laughs> Look, I'm he slapped sorry, the life okay? out of him. I was just so overwhelmed. How was I supposed to know he'd take it so badly? It's okay, Chris. At least he didn't get away. Cyrus, let's go with Harold and Wii U to the All Water District. Major, I imagine you'll want to stay with Slippy. Everyone keep in touch via PDA and don't leave any stone unturned. Let's go. Oh, and Bridget, can you tell the others over the Tannoy system to search whichever area they're in? This game's so much longer than I thought it would be, but this must be the ending now. Man, we haven't been in control it's for them. ages. They look fine, and not at all hungry. Do I look fine? Well, I mean, it could have been worse. Those snacks are tasty. Yes, I could have been tied up with you. Can someone please tell me what is going on? Slippy engineered this whole hoax. He was never really working on a relaunch procedure. His plan was to freeze the planet into a giant ski resort. How absurd. Professor, I expected better from you. So, so there's no relaunch plan after all? I can't believe it. I'll never fly this thing. Madam CEO, I could say the same about you. We know all about the time hoax, but it's still imperative you clear up a few things. What good will it do? Still, I suppose it can't hurt at this point. And you did untie me. Fire away. Firstly, when did you start the time skimming process? About eight years ago. For the good of the ship, of course. And how much did you shorten the days? Well. We started with 30 minutes, just letting the clocks run a tiny bit faster during the daytime. Every two years since then, we made gradual transition to another half an hour shorter. And I thought it was my fault those plants were growing slowly. 
Cyrus, stop blathering about plants and run the math for me, please. Okay, so that means 365 hours in the first two years, 730 to two years after that, then 1,095 hours, and then 1,460 hours, which adds up to 3,650 hours. So we have 152 Whoa. days left. Or what we think of as today is in fact 152 days away. What? <laughs> no way. Whoa. That's a lot of time. But how come none of us noticed? Aha. Uh -huh. This is the clever part. We tacked the shifts to the summer winter time changes. People's circadian rhythms always go a bit haywire around then anyway. Subtle. Hmm? So we have time, but no procedure after all. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Yes, we kind of worked on a thing. A thing? Kinda. A secret backup relaunch procedure. We were never taken in by Slippy's showmanship, and sorry to say, Madam CEO, your blind trust in him. So it took me a while, but I got a little something theoretically up and running. But I was stymied by the time theft messing with my calculations of velocity. That's why my simulation failed that day, you know. We even double-checked, triple even, in everything. Well, I won't forget your flagrant distrust in me anytime soon. But I suppose your rebellious streak has borne some interesting fruits. You must explain this procedure to me so we can work on the press release. So we really might still launch after all? Yes, yes. Funnily enough, there'll be plenty of time for all that. But now, I need tea and a nap. Yeah, it's been a crazy day. Tea nap sounds good to me. Spicy tea. Spicy tea? Uh, come on you two. Let's leave Zoya and the CEO to get some rest. I'm sure it was exhausting eating all those snacks. We can all meet in the morning to go over next steps. Okay, I suppose we can postpone the agenda until then. I imagine there will be much that needs doing, including some serious PR damage control. A montage time. Medal for bravery for slapping that boy, you know? They have so much time. God, what in the time skip was that? No way. Well, let's find out. Such a crazy time skip. It's almost time. Ah, 
Ah, hello, my boy. Hey, Professor. How are you holding up? Just fine, just fine. Preparations for the relaunch have gone swimmingly. Ah, oh, great. So they're nearly done? Yes, we're really just putting the finishing touches on now. Wow. Can you believe we're about to try and take off after everything? I knew we'd figure out a procedure. But I would never have guessed at what it took to get there. Are you excited to see space again? Yes. But that's not to say I won't miss this place. It had a certain watery charm and plenty of scientific curiosity. But you know, I'm getting old. My real wish is to step foot on real ground. Yeah. It was nice to be outside of the fedora in the cave, but I suppose that's not what you're thinking of. Hmm. Indeed. I'd like to see the sky. But enough about me. How are you feeling about leaving Wii U and the Flimmelim? I know you grew close to it all. Yeah. I'm gonna miss Wii U. I'll miss it all. But this is our path, right? I think so, my boy. You'll always cherish the time you had with them. But don't you want to continue the mission? Get back to finding a real home? Yeah, it makes sense, I suppose. Do you think we will? I'm not sure. But what do we stand to lose? True. True. Have you said goodbye to Wii U and the Flimmelim yet? Not really, no. Well, no point putting it off. Uh -uh. Saying goodbye only gets harder the longer you leave it. And so send them all my regards. Yeah, I know. I know. And Harold? Yeah? You'll miss Wii U, but over time, it does get easier. You'll be busy once we're back on course. It'll feel like a whole different life. I know. I know. Support him. Tell him to stay. Really? Say goodbye to Wii U. Surely you're not gonna, Harold. I mean... It's been... Six weeks? It's been... 159 days or whatever it was? Think about how much bonding you would have done in that time. With these aliens. With everyone. That's like half a year. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. Can't just leave. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Wonder what that VIP one is that we never get into. Destination determined. Now relax with all water. Thank you for traveling with all water. Let's see, where are you? Are we saying goodbye to everyone? Hey there. Hello, Harold. Enjoying the atmosphere? Sure. Very normal and nice. What are you up to? Just on my way to water some moss. You want to join? Oh, thank you. But I can't. I'm... Well, I'm leaving, actually. That's okay. Have a nice time. Because they don't care about anything, they're all just like, Yeah, sure. Cool. Have, have a good one. Dito chick. Hi, I'm just going to the Mawagaraha. Oh, lovely. Is it good right now? I will know when I get there. I'm gonna miss it. It's okay. I think it will still be there for a while. No, I mean, uh, when I leave. Ha, huh. yes, silly. You can't be in two places at once. See you there soon, maybe. Yeah, enjoy it. See ya. They're all just living in the moment. And super, like, stoic. Ah, oh, they're up there in their house. Hi, hi. Hey there. How's Caragle? I'm getting the hang of it. How's yours? Good. It's jelly time. Oh, cool. Any new ones recently? I'm working on one, actually. Okay, so how are they actually made? 
Come on, I'll show you. Ah, I'd love to see. But I'm pretty much about to leave. Oh, anywhere nice? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Good luck with your jelly. Thanks. Have fun with your next place. It's all the things that he could have time to learn if he stays, you know? And as for her being like, you'll be busy, it'll be another life. Like, all we've seen from Harold is him going back and forth, back and forth, and not being busy, being busy for others and not having a life. Were you? Hey, Howell. How's Fedora doing? Yeah, nearly there. Are you excited? I mean, it is exciting, but it's gonna be so hard leaving you behind. And this place, just... Yeah, maybe we'll find a new home out there, but also, maybe not. At least, not in my lifetime. You know? I don't know. You will, or you won't, but at least you will have the chance. Mm. And of course, I will miss you. We have true Simbo. We all will. But we're just happy we could help with the energy and everything. Yes, we couldn't have done it without you all. And I couldn't have done it without you, Wii U. And I would probably be a cold non-Wii U if you hadn't helped me get better. Everything has changed since knowing you. It will be hard to remember Tidomo now. Maybe I'll go exploring a new part of the ocean. <sighs> Can you believe how lucky we were to even meet? I always thought this luck you all have is a very strange thing. You do a thing, or you don't. But what if a thing happens to you that has nothing to do with your own actions? I don't understand. Life is like a tide, you know? It's not always obvious where a tide comes from or is going, or how it connects to other tides. But if you are you, you go with the tide, or you go against it. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you try not to go with it, sometimes it does. Wii U, the fedora is nearly ready to launch. This is going to be the last time we see each other. I know, Howell. I don't know what to say. It's okay. Remember, Simba. We'll always have it. Thanks, Wii U. We will. Hope you have good tides. And you, Wii U. And you. All right, so here I have to interject because there is copyright music playing, which means this gets muted. So preemptively in the edit, I'm just going to cut that out, throw some of my own music over it. It's that song that goes, um, The running away is easy, it's to live in this hard. You know that one? Bow, bow, bow. And that's like playing whilst this is all nice and slow motion. But, um... You're not really missing much. It's just a really, really slow scene of us walking and seeing all of the aliens walking away. And so what I was saying during this scene, I was like, it feels like, you know, maybe we're being pulled with the tide here and everything that they were just saying, and maybe I'm meant to stop and go back, but it wouldn't let me turn around and go back. It just kept us moving. So then I was like, all right, I keep moving. And it's like a four minute walk, quite a drawn out scene actually as we go in slow motion and just see the aliens and kind of say goodbye to this place. So that's what's going on. And I didn't want it to just be mute for five minutes. So I'm just going to throw this little bit in and uh, then we'll get back to the show, you know? Hope you're enjoying the ending. on the ship. You don't want to miss it taking off. Yes, I do. Oh, you mean... I want to stay. I know it sounds crazy, and I'll be the only human here, but... No, it's not crazy. It's just you. I would love it. But are you really sure? 
what point you miss everyone else more than you want to stay here. I'm sure. I've always gone with the tide, but now I want to break out of it. Choose a tide for myself, and not the one that leads up into cold, empty space. It's the first time I've ever really been sure of anything. I believe you. You found your Blugalugalugu. Yeah. Blugalugu Simbo. Blugalugalugu Simbo. Staying. Either way is hard. A lot of friends on that ship. So what now? Hey, Professor. There's something I need. Ah, Harold. How did it go? Well, fine, but... Great. We don't have much time. I could do with some help sorting the final, final preparations. Jeanne. I'm not coming. Okay. It's only natural you're emotional. I suppose I can finish things up by myself. No. Professor, I mean, I'm staying with Wii U. Oh. I'm sorry. Can you understand? Harold, I've grown terribly fond of you. But if I've learned anything about you, it's that you always defy expectations one way or another. So, you're not angry? Angry? Dear mm. boy, I'm delighted. I will miss you like I miss my left hand. But if you finally found something you feel strongly enough to shout Jeanne at me, then I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm gonna miss you too, Maron. You've always been there for me. I wouldn't be making this decision if it wasn't for you. In a nice way, I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. Have you thought it all through? Do you need any help with the, uh, practicalities? Not really, but what is there? I'll just take a few of my things. The Fluolim have all the materials I'll need there. I'll get settled in no time, I'm sure. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, guess it is. Be safe, Harold. Wish us luck. I'll do one better. I'll wish you good times. <laughs> Very funny. Beautiful. a big plug. Guess they didn't really need any other goodbyes. It's the right thing for Harold. Surprised no one else wants to stay.
I just imagine seeing everyone you know and everything you've ever known just shoot into space, dude. Sky? Wow. Nice. I'm glad he stayed. And this was a lovely game. Nice to get through. Slight sag in the final act. Could have used a heavier ending, more emo I was ready to like get emotional if it took us there, but it didn't. Um, it was nice though, you know, decided to stay, but it wasn't anything we didn't see coming, I guess is my point. And um, other than like the that guy being a total villain, no twist or anything, but otherwise a very nice game. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more full playthroughs, indie games, cozy games, games you've never heard of. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I was just really taken by the art style. Wanted to do a full playthrough. Be some videos on the screen right now if you want to go on another adventure with me. Or check out my podcast of bedtime stories and I'll tuck you in and read you a story and help you sleep. Find all of the links that you need below this video. Until next time. Good tides.